Yo, all right, so this video is gonna be a mains tier list for 2024. We looked at classes in their entirety. It is not, absolutely not a tier list based off of just end game performance. We looked at everything from early game, mid game, late game, end game, solo bossing, party bossing, funding, how OP the class is, how shit the class is, the future of the class, stuff like that. For right now in 2024, as of new age and a little bit past new age, what every single class is doing right now and what your experience is going to be like if you were to main this class to be fair most of the time spent on this game is in between mid game to end game right like most players will spend most of their time at that point but it is very important to talk about the early game because a lot of players don't even get past the early game so their experience of the game and their experience of that class will only be limited to that part of the game so we factored that in as well in the tier list ranking so again i want to say this is not a tier list based off of just end game performance of the classes it's a tier list based off of everything. So with that being said, I really, really hope you enjoy this video. I know I haven't made videos in a long time. I have been having a lot of problems recently, but you know, things are better now and I hope to get back into video making. Please enjoy the video. Uh, shout out to Phil, shout out to Tommy, shout out to Lawrence for helping me with this. They're very, very knowledgeable and I hope you can learn something from this. And of course, if you ever have any questions or comments or thoughts, please leave a comment. I always read every single comment. So enjoy the video. I'm Tommy, but I go by many other names you probably see me as stummy on twitch or maybe santo on youtube uh you can call me whatever it doesn't really bother me you can call me jay as well uh i am a dual blade main at the moment currently level 288 um yeah that's 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 me you're forgetting something important bro number one dual blade not just dual blade bro Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 I got first place in season one of Punch King. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Number one, big dog. Also, hashtag FixTB and follow Tummy on Twitch. I shouted him out. <laughs> All right, should I go next? <laughs> I think um, everyone's gonna know you here already, though. <laughs> yeah, I play Hayato. Uh, don't ask me about my other Hayato, or my Shadower, or my other other Hayato. Um, that's it. Uh, I can go next. Uh, I'm Lawrence. My uh, in game, I'm Mafoil. I don't I don't stream at all or anything, but I I do upload YouTube videos about some of the content I do. And uh, yeah, I also. Second main a shitload of classes, but no, no, none of them are nowhere near as 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 much investment as my Demon Slayer. He also beat Black Mage with a with a with a stick, right? One club, or a club, wooden, a club. Wooden, yeah. Yes, <laughs> that was that was a pretty long time ago. If I we ran that now, I'd probably clear in like under twenty minutes or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. Did you clear one in four minutes? Uh, yeah, it was like what four, four, four well, it was like four fifty or something like that. Yeah, he's a super huge Demon Slayer. You're the highest level one, right? Uh, in reboot, yeah. There's there's a one guy in Reg server who's higher exp than me, but uh, I see. I mean, they have frenzy totem, so it's a little Wait, difficult there... for us to keep uh, up. Is there yeah. anyone reboot higher level than you? Uh, Crane is like almost 293. He's like oh. way further ahead of me than he gets people. Though we are the same level, I guess. Yeah. I think it's just Crane. Yeah, but he's the second highest level person in all of Kronos and, and Heroic at large, which is crazy. <laughs> Crane took a long ass break from the game, too. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why he came back. He just started farming without Totem, though, when Totem was still a thing back then. Yeah, the thing was like, but the thing was before he took his break, he was like. Like one and a half levels ahead of anyone else, so it just took yeah. way too long for anyone to catch up. That he could take a really long break and it just wouldn't matter. I think at that time, like we we didn't have that much of an incentive to farm. It was still in Hotel Arcus at the highest uh, area. Yeah, we were grinding in Arcus and honestly, no getting better, well, honestly getting better rates than we are right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Phil. Oh, yeah, I'm Phil. Prelim in chat. Pi Dimensions. Stop calling me P Dimensions. Um, I play Night Lord, but 
I basically think every other class is more fun than Night Lord. Like, this guy's a Night Lord through and through. Like, don't listen to him. He is a Night Lord through and through. Like, he is a Night Lord, bro. Yeah, find For me sure. a Night Lord player who doesn't complain about their class. That's you what can. I'm saying. Like, he is a Night Lord. Like, through and through. Like, don't matter what this guy says, don't believe him, bro. He does. He's not a Buck main. He's not a Shad main. The, the, don't let him like fucking gaslight you, bro. He's a Night Lord, bro. He pops Kerr. Anyways, that was a good intro. Thank you guys for being here, of course. I appreciate that a lot. I guess I wanted to ask you guys a couple questions. To So to you guys, like, what is the most valuable thing to a main? Like, what would you say? Like, first thing off the top of your head. When I come by a the comfort of mobbing because that's like yep, 90 by farming yeah i agree i think that's really important like you have to be like you have to enjoy mobbing in your class i think that's the most important thing don't never mind it being like lazy or active like you just have to enjoy it because that's a large part of the game it's where you get your resources it's where you get most of your progression done yeah i mean it's mobbing is very critical especially with six job now but at least it's uh once streamer hits, mobbing becomes like actually extremely normalized between classes. But until then, there's pretty big differences for sure. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh, I guess another thing that's very important to me is when does the class really start to like become online, basically? Because like, if you take FP for example, right? I'm sure many of us agree that FP is like a good a good class. But like for most players, like when they first start playing. If they were to play FP, like, they're just going to think it's shit for, like, a long time. Yeah, I think so, classes that are reliant on either Inner Ability or Legion or Cooldown Hat, which FP is all of the above, <laughs> definitely is uh, hurts a lot in the early game. Yeah. It also comes down to, like, how much knowledge you have to have. Like, you have to reach a certain point where you actually know how to play the class, right? Like, so everyone's going to have a different, like, timeline of how, how long it takes for them to get to that point where they know, oh, yeah, this is how I'm supposed to time infinity on this Explorer Mage, right? Or, uh, oh, I should be bursting like this, or I shouldn't be using this skill off cooldown. Like, it, they, I think just... I think most classes, there are, like, sufficient resources in, like, the class discords or whatnot that, like, teach you how to do these things. So I, I don't feel like that should be, like... A major limiting factor so to speak like you're at, at this point if you don't know this kind of stuff it's like because of your own laziness to look up resources rather than like the class is genuinely hard most of the time yeah true. well that's true uh a lot of a lot of the information on this game is uh standardized like we have all the class discord set up everyone's got their faq even if they don't read it but it's there it's all there um there's a lot more streamers nowadays. You can ask people questions. There's so much more content on YouTube. So all the information is there. There's uh, no shortage of people who ask questions who uh, can easily be answered in the in the class Discord fact, though. Yeah. But I don't. I don't think that part's ever going to change. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um. I guess here's the other thing. So. Party bossing and solo bossing for a main, what would you consider is more important? They're both important, right? Because you do both. But Depending on the cycle of the game, like which yeah. part of the cycle of the game that we're in. Yeah, right yeah. Right now, the meta game is that in the extreme end game, solo bossing is just completely irrelevant because yeah. every class one bursts every single bo boss up to C10E. And then. Uh, every boss higher than C10E, there's always some higher difficulty to run. So it's, uh, at, at least in the current meta, solo bossing is basically useless in the extreme end game. But then, but obviously this changed a lot over time. So I think it's kind of, I mean, I, I think that, that the current trend, the way the game is going, where they're adding like, extreme difficulty to a lot of bosses, we're probably going to stay in this state for like a really, really long time. Where mm -hmm. just solo bossing is just not very important. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. So for this tier list, since it's right now, I'd say we'd, we'd probably weigh more on party bossing performance. 
in general. You know, if a class have like, has like very specific, like noteworthy solo bossing performance or really good solo DPS, or whatever, then I'm sure we'd mention it. But the party bossing is the most important thing right now in the meta. And like you said, it's going to stay that way until everybody similar to Black Mage, right? Until we got to the point where like, you know, everybody's just doing BM and we're just waiting on new bosses, then then the party, the party meta is going to stay that way. I think a large part, a large driving force for the importance of party bossing is also like the new loot that's been added to the game that makes it so it's like, you know, not, not to say like it's whale bait, but like here's like the next thing that you can chase, right? Mm -hmm. Like uh, from 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 my history of playing reboot, it's always been like, oh, you basically party up with people to these bosses up until the point you were you're just strong enough to solo it yourself, but. Obviously, there's added context to that, right? Added context to that, right? Like, I'm still working on Eternals, so it wouldn't really make sense for me to just stop running C Carlos to go do normal call solos instead. Uh, uh huh. So, so because I'm I'm effectively doubling the speed of which I get Eternals now if I'm still doing C Carlos, right? That's true. Yeah. Normal, these... normal call solo is one of the only boss, like difficult boss solos that's still relevant. Pretty much everything else is kind of just for fun at this point. Yeah, 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 that's true. Now, before we get into the video, I do want to say shout out to Gamer Subs. Real quick, they just released their Gamer Soups, which I will be trying on my stream live. If you guys know me, I am a soup and noodle expert. So I'll tell you if it's ass or not. I unironically do drink Gamer Subs. I have it right here. I think it just tastes really good, like straight up outside of everything else. There are energy drinks. There's the ones with caffeine, without caffeine. It's zero calories, all the drinks. They have a bunch of shakers. They have a bunch of different food and stuff like that. So please consider checking it out. If you use my affiliate code, uh, D-U-K-Y, at uh, checkout, it does support me directly. Full transparency there. And yeah, why not? Check it out. I use it. A lot of people in my chat use it, and I like it. With that being said, let's get into the tier list. Random would be Let, more fun. Go, go, go get a wheel. <laughs> I'm not going to put the shot on a wheel, bro. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to... Uh... See, a wheel is better. Thunderbreaker. Okay, Thunderbreaker. Let's start with Thunderbreaker. <laughs> Any opinions? <laughs> I, I literally Any don't opinions? know anything about how they are right now. As a main? Well, I okay, so... When I, when, when I was, like, first looking at the, the origin, I was like, this, this is, like, the longest iframe I've ever seen. Uh, I've ever seen. Like, so in the cutscene. I, I, because I, I thought there was... Wait, wait. It, it, is the origin cussing actually longer than the other classes for Thunderbreaker, or is it also eight seconds? I think it's 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 one of the longest. I don't know if it's the actual longest, but it is like it's 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 like top five slowest. Yeah, because I I, I remember it was taking like I, I legit thought it was taking like ten ten and a half seconds when I was like when 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 uh it was first released on KMS. Like yeah, there there there, there are some origins that were around like ten seconds long, but they all got shortened down to like eight seconds at most. So nothing is slower than like eight seconds ish. Yeah. Okay. No, at this point. Then, then, then it's probably just the eight second one. Yeah. The the thing about Thunderbreaker though is like I don't even think its origin is relevant to be honest. At the end of the day, this is just a DPS class. Well, if we're talking about damage, it's just a DPS through and through class. It offers like almost no support. Who the fuck cares about uh, speed infusion? Um, and that's it. I mean, there's it's it's a very basic class. Uh, it has a really 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 good movement and comboing though. So. You have an option for almost any situation on this class, which is good. That's a good thing. But it's it's a very high APM class. You got to keep that in mind if you're going to main this class. You're going to be pressing a lot of buttons all the time. Like, all the fucking time. So. They only got half their main attack boosted, right? With Master Core, I remember. Yeah, they, didn't, they need two because they use two skills. Yeah, so. The Shark and the, the Wave. Right. I I don't need like Thunderbreaker has seen so many different metas where it's like you do shark and anchor and then now it's shark and like the, the spin the spinny one yeah yeah the the, 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 the typhoon or something yeah 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 like mm -hmm. I, I don't even know which one it is now <laughs> I just, I, I just I, don't really watch Thunderbreaker content to know yeah they uh I think they still use the shark and anchor 
But then you can pop a buff uh, that makes the Typhoon no cooldown, and you uh, and you use that. Um, yeah. That's how it works. Okay. Yes. yes. That's that so annoying, annoying, though. It is. It is annoying. <laughs> it is annoying. I recently just strained one. So, like, I mean... It was just whatever. Like, there's nothing spectacular about this class. I'll just say I don't think this this, this thing this thing uh, stand out even with six job is because it, it got very default basic origin skill with a very default mastery core. At, yeah, in, on, yeah, in that's the first pack. that's the thing, right? Like, so like that, like, and the class was already at like not a very great state, like with a just like a normal average. Um, first patch of a hexa with not even everything they needed boosted it's i don't think it's that good uh-huh and then in the current end game meta of uh of burst uh party burst fd stacking this is just not ideal it's not an ideal class for that so i had like to me at best it has like good solo bossing performance but in reality it's party bossing is whatever it's just not an ideal pick it's a two minute class, right? Uh, I'll bring it three. Yes. I thought two it was... minute classes. Two minute class is also pretty disadvantageous in the current boss meta. Yeah, th the thing with two minute is at the end of the day, if uh, I mean we still have Kana's domain first of all, and then the Oz rings, like you, you still roar is still three minute. So I think that the bigger issue is the current meta of bosses is not very friendly towards two minute classes. Yeah, that too doesn't even line up. Doesn't even line up. Yo, this might be straight up a tier four class. Like, it's just a not ideal pick in current meta in today's today's Maple story. I also understand two minutes more attractive on on Hyperion than Chronos. I mean, well, two, two, that... two minutes is very solid for solo bossing, and most party bosses it's fine as well. It just only falls off in like very specific bosses that it's not like in particular like Alos and Saren. Two minutes can be problematic, which are two yeah. of the most important bosses right now. But I think like most bosses, there's nothing wrong with two minutes. Yeah, yeah. But Hyperion, you got you got to understand that Hyperion is just like a, it, it's just a premature Chronos. Like, eventually, like it'll be the exact same thing where <laughs> the meta is the same. Right now, two minutes good on Hyperion just because like we're doing baby shit like Black Mage or like H Saren. Like, or it doesn't it doesn't yeah, matter probably, how much what we're doing. No one play Kana and. There's I no Kanas. There's like zero. <laughs> There's legit zero. There's no Kanas. Everybody just every like the distribution in Hyperion is crazy. Like it's all just meta classes. It's all just like Nightwalker, Dawn Warrior, Bishop. Like it's just those three. Like everybody plays those three. Does this class use um This this is a continuous class, right? I think most definitely, yeah. Yeah, okay. for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're not thinking I, whether it had the same issue with Arc where Ark's weapon job is just bad. Yeah, I mean, wait, but like, for these classes that were what were continuous is good. Like, do they still use it in party play, or do you, they just go roar for? Uh, so I know for Hayato, like you would switch to roar, for your burst. It also depends on your or your origin skill. If you have a long ass origin skill, it's like, it doesn't matter yep. as much. But uh. Well, Hayato's burst is is kind of big now though. That, yeah, Hayato's burst is good, so you switch to roar. Well, I'll be. I'll oh, go ahead. I think this class is comparable in burst, to be honest. How, how exactly does Thunderbreaker's origin even works? Is not like is there an after effect like like nope. a like? It's, it's just, just a nuke. nuke. It's just oh. a nuke. Oh. See, that's probably what makes the class like not as great. Like, if there was like an after effect after the nuke, like. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like if it was anything like Paladin or like even Night Lord or Mercedes, where it's just like a persistent thing afterwards, like. That yeah, would like make they could spam their cycle. Better. I think this is yeah. going to tier four. Dude, I think it's the first tier four class. Like, it's just not ideal. Like, what what's the best case scenario for this class, right? You just you're just hitting a wall the whole time. Okay, there's a million other classes that could do that better, right? And uh -huh. it doesn't even it doesn't even make up for anything with support. Um, it's high APM, so like even if you're a noob, like it's just not attractive either way. Um, it has really good movement. That's like the one thing that I can say that this class excels in like a lot. Is it has really good movement. <laughs> but like, what, what's okay. the what's the iframe situation on this class? Does it have like? Oh, it's, 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 it's hyper. Yeah, it's hyper. It's hyper as an iframe.
Oh, the big like whales. The big yeah, whale. The, the, yeah. no, no, no. that that comes out. Why is Thank you, David. Thank you. The rest of its kid is sharks. Yeah. <laughs> True. Yeah, that's lucky. Another negative. Inconsistent theme. Like, what is this? Why would you play this? Should we move on? Yeah. The well, I, okay. Well, one more thing to say on. is, this this is just like on the current state of the game. Like, we don't have the entire six job out yet. We don't know. Yeah. What 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 each class will look like until all the skills are out, and even oh, yeah, then, yeah. like. It's still going to be shaped around like what bosses exist too. I already time. said yeah. this class only. This class has many skill, many skill that's important in in in, in the the full kit, and only one that's boosted at this point. So, yeah. Or I mean, who, who knows what the future of this is, bro? Just right now, it's just not. It's just incomplete, and it's not good for the current meta. That, that's about it. It's important to know that. Like, we're just going to preference this once. This is for right now. Oh. I'm probably gonna have to keep saying this, but I also want to keep in mind that at the end of the day, you just play what you find fun. <laughs> like at the end of the day, that's more important than anything. But uh, it's important to just face the reality. If your class is not ideal right now, then that's it. You, that, that's just how it is. You gotta deal with it. Thank you so much, oh, people in here. Thank you. All right, is everyone fine with putting this in tier four? Any other comments? Yeah. We yeah. Can always move it around later. Yeah. It was actually something that's like that shit afterwards. I, I, okay. I want to talk about Mihail. <laughs> okay. Right now? Like, yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. I want to talk about Mihail because like Mihail was one of those classes where it got memed on for a long ass time. It did, yeah. It right, did. but then it just it just rose from the ashes like a fucking <laughs> phoenix, and it just True. became this this Giga Chad that just cannot die and yep. does like pretty decent damage. So it's just about like if you know what the boss does, you're basically unkillable. And as yep. long as you have enough damage, like you can do like a min, like min thirty minute clear solo. <laughs> like if mm -hmm. if you guys have been like watching Kobe play his Mihal, like he's just been soloing. Like I think recently he slowed the normal Saren, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> this, this class is like, I, this class is basically the perfect scenario where if your class has a good kit and the only thing it could possibly be lacking is damage, then like you know, one day your patch will come where your class just gets the damage to do what it needs yeah. to get done, right? I, com oh, I, I, am a complete, I completely agree with you on that. First of all, it was h turn, but I completely agree with you. Um, the class's kit, it's so important to factor that in because you will get damage eventually. Like, eventually. The, the chances of your class getting, like, a kit rework is way less than your chance getting, than your, than your class just getting stronger. So, Mihai was just waiting for that buff, and I got it, so. I also I remember uh, when everyone, when, when it was, like, a year ago from now, like a, a little over a year ago from now, when everyone was like 240 sack pushing for uh normal callus clear at a time. Remember mm -hmm. back then was stacking bombs. Yeah. <laughs> and like everyone basically just had to to Jenny during even when when the boss is bomb uh bound. And mm -hmm. I remember uh Maha's party, Maha, Maha's first party had had Miha in it. They didn't have to do that. And they're they're the their damage overall damage is, is is lower than like most of the first, first clearing parties but they they could they can do it just because they can save the save, save jenny after the bind ends because they have mihail yeah so yeah but i think the damage. issue is the uh the mihail party shield has is like it's it's it, the, the sort of value it has has gone down a lot over time where like obviously they remove the kyle stacking bombs yeah uh origin bind makes the binds longer and also, uh, most of the, well, not most, but like a lot of the in-game bosses right now, like the concern from getting hit is not necessarily damage. It's like some other mechanic. Like in Calling, there's balancing the gauges, or in Saren, there's not gauging out. So like the actual party shield has lost a lot of value over time. Yep. Since compared to that time. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. I mean, you could even take it as far as Black Mage, like. It doesn't prevent you from getting cursed, right? So that's true as well. Where does this go? You guys' opinion? I mean, there's other things to talk about. Like this class has also very again, Soul Janus is coming out, so everything is going to be standardized. But this class does have its own class summon, similar to Dark Flare. So it just makes mobbing even easier on this class. Like this class's mobbing is brain dead as fuck. Um, it's also oh, yeah. easy no, to no, one shot no. with this class too. It, yeah, yeah. Ever since like, uh, they they revamped this class, like mobbing on it is really chill now, because like you basically have royal guard every wave, and also like mm -hmm. the the 
the hitbox of World Guard is like massive now when you fully stack it. So like you, you have like I think it's called Sword of Light, which is another FMA, which is basically like a, 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 a it's like a sudden raid almost, mm -hmm. except like I think maybe maybe larger. So you you I think every wave you can roll guard, and then every other wave you can sort of light. I think. Yeah. So the, the, the mobbing in this class is just like super super chill, like it's it's like not very active. Like the only active part is just like make sure you put you you actually roll guard something when the monsters spawn. And like yeah, and as, as you said in the future, like when we do get Solianus, like every class is mobbing is just going to get significantly better, um, either because of like the extra summons or like the little the fake little rune of thunder effect that has. Yeah. Little baby rune of thunder, but like this this Miha basically the only thing that Miha really lacks, I think, is just like mobility options. But you yeah. kind of cover those options with just the fact that you have an iframe every five seconds. <laughs> yeah, as long as you exactly. parry, right? You're right. You're right. There's really nothing that this class can't do. Like what I've like, what I've heard from Mihao players is their their burst is a bit lacking, which is mm -hmm. sort of compensated by their high, uh, like off burst damage through high uptime and just good raw uh, numbers. Well, so it's like, yeah. It's, but it's I've, 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 I've I've heard people say their burst is lacking. I don't I don't actually know. The the, the burst is lacking. The, but another issue is that it, it, it's offers actually that good right now when when Royal Guard's not even boosted. I, I I don't know. I don't. This is just what I've heard. Yeah, but I haven't actually looked at the numbers. That that's fine though. It, it's uptime matters a lot though. Like because it can have like almost 100 percent uptime, it doesn't need to have the highest DPS. Like you can you can hit the boss way more than other people. I think its burst is pretty long too, right? Like, like when you thirty seconds. Yeah, it's thirty yeah. seconds long. Is, is, I mean, 30 seconds I, is pretty standard for for burst window right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, makes sense. But also, like, if if its burst isn't that great, is it like a continuous class? It's three minutes though, so like, I feel like it's if I don't I don't know if you use it in party bossing, but in solo bossing, you definitely use continuous ring. Yeah. Yeah. One hundred percent solo bossing continuous ring bossing. You probably could use roar. Uh, that's what I've seen Mihaels do. They still use Roar in a party, so... I mean... Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Like, with bosses like Kalos and Saren, where just, like, the, the, the extra burst is much more appreciated. Yeah. And Saren, you also get a charge continuous ring for free, which is makes it a lot better, actually. Yeah, that's true, actually. Yeah. Hold on, I gotta fix my audio one second. Oh, dude, I forgot to send you this. I was going to say you should set this, you should set this up. <laughs> what just that? Uh, it's like a image reaction for Discord, but you can make it, you put it in the OBS. Oh. All right, I fixed it. Will you send me this? What is this? Oh, yeah, does we so, have this on his videos? Yeah, I think so. Okay, okay, yeah, that's I. That's what I figured. Yo, I'm gonna try it. Fuck it. Well, I don't know if he's using the same one, but it's like the same concept. He has like PNGs of like the maple characters, and they like light up every time someone talks on Discord. Yeah, it's it doesn't take long to set up. You just log in with Discord, and then you you copy the 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 browser source, and you add it as a a thingy i don't remember what it's called on, on obs but i see that's cool <laughs> you um, do it right now yeah i'm doing it right now i'm doing it right now authorize oh what the fuck this yo this is crazy <laughs> is oh, it working is already yeah, you can also it's, change it's really it. Cool. You also like add like your custom pictures you want, or if, if you don't add it, it just uses the, the whatever we're using on Discord right now. Wait, is that on stream already? I'm, I'm blind. No, no, no. One second. <laughs> All right, it should be on stream now. Yeah, look at this shit. <laughs> huh? Okay, there you oh. go. Yeah. <laughs> this is kind of cool. <laughs> you can you make it so that our names show up too. Oh.
But I should probably crop all my backgrounds as well. <laughs> oh, now he cares about this shit all of a sudden. <laughs> This is really cool, bro. Thank you for showing me this. This is sick, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. It's good. But anyways, yeah, Mihai. Um, yeah. I think it's... it's. <laughs> I think with the current state of the meta, I don't think it belongs in Tier 0 or Tier 1. But, oh, I was going to say Tier 2 as well. Yeah, I think, I think it, it sits comfortably at Tier 2. Yeah, I agree with you. I think it's good. It has a lot of... It has play. Like, people play it and they perform... Uh, there's only really it's really bad bad at but it's not op right now uh just based off of what the bosses are are requiring right now so it's not op I, everything that i think is tier one or two zero is like tier zero is like broken as fuck borderline like can't play without it and tier one is just like ideal like very very good and then tier two is just like you're playing a really good class and that's it that's the way i see it I think okay 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 the way i think about it this is like when you're, when you're making whenever you're making like a uh a, a push party like tier one tier zero and tier tier zero is like basically the must-haves like you 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 definitely have to choose the one or the other from the tier zeros and tier one is like what you would like to have to fill up your party with like the, the, those like damage dealer classes and tier two is like you you wouldn't normally think about it like actually seeking for them but like it if there ha happens to be people that, that you'll know play, play, those, play those classes and then you have like slots open in your party, you'll reach out. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really good, good way to put it. But again, like, you know, the party play is a, is a big a big portion, but we should consider the other things. Like, what's the person's experience playing this class, right? Yeah. Like, should we consider the fact that uh, ignorant people are going to say that Mihail sucks and they're going to gaslight you into thinking uh, your shit's ass? No, I'm just joking. I'm Any pretty sure most of the Mihail players are pretty happy with the rework. Yeah. Oh, actually, another very important thing with this class is if you don't like having to press Royal Guard every so often, you're not going to like this class. That That's the whole class. Like, you're going to have to keep pressing it over and over and over and over again. And if that's something you don't want to do and it gets repetitive, you're not going to like this. That's very important. This class plays similar to like if you guys play like like other MMORPGs where there's like a traditional tank role or they're, they're yeah. holding aggro the entire time. It's like for tank, it's important to know the entire boss fight, right? Because then you know how to divide your cooldowns of what you can tank. Like if there's a fucking tank buster, you got to know which cooldowns to pop and like whatever what other mitigation you need to pop. So for Miha, it's the same concept where you. It's really beneficial for you to understand the timing of the attacks that come out and like how often they can appear so that you know the timing of Royal Guard. Because the Royal Guard timing is like, it's not that forgiving. Like, you still gotta like press it within a reasonable amount of time. Um, so, so mm -hmm. like, uh, let's just say, for example, like, let's just say you're in Kalos, like, and you're only out to get to the safe spot. Is to just royal guard the fma like that's in a situation where it really it's really helpful to know when the fma attack actually does the damage right when it mm -hmm. actually resolves the damage like it, it's 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 a class where it's rewarding to not only just be good at your own class of course but it's it's even more rewarding when you actually know how the boss's attack patterns work true He's getting ganked right now for a phone call. What is this? Is he? <laughs> what, me? No, no, no. Oh. No, no, I... I'm about to tilt, bro. I'm about to tilt. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, you know, the world needs fucking Superman when he's busy, bro. Like... Yeah, okay, dude. <laughs> I'm kidding, bro. Okay, we'll probably don't want to take this long at every single class, though. <laughs> yeah, dude, I probably I, speed up a little bit. Okay, we we should, but I think it's important to uh, give every class like it's uh, it's fair fair stage. Oh, forget where it's taking like ten minutes per class. This is gonna take like seven hours. That sounds <laughs> like too long. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's moving on. All right, pick pick something because I gotta go carry something for one second. So fix. 
Aron. How about we talk about Aron? Tommy's really good at Aron, right? Uh, Ayer? Sure, okay. Right, I'll be yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll speed run this. Okay, Aron, I'm not too sure of its damage distribution, but it has a pretty decent burst. And then it's off burst damage, like, it's. It doesn't seem that bad, honestly. Um, but it's like not Aron's amazing. Mastery Core is unique in that it buffs their off burst, like, super, super hard while affecting their burst, like, a decent amount, but comparatively much less. Like, I remember mm -hmm. seeing some numbers where, like, when your Master Core is maxed, it improves your burst by, like, maybe, like, 30-40%, but it increases your off burst by, like, 200%, which seems kind of crazy. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I I don't really know what the damage distribution is like, because, I mean, I just, I have one. It's, like, liberated. It's, like, 261. I solo up, I solo C10 on it, and... All right, I'm back. It's It has a really solid kit. And the class just like, the class feels really smooth to play, especially on zero attack speed. I don't think I would like playing the class on two attack speed, honestly. <laughs> like that does not it, sound fun, bro. It feels really, really bad on two attack speed. Understandable. But that's oh, that's because, only yeah. because it feels really good to play on zero attack speed, right? It, it's it's probably similar to Night Lord, where it's like you can still play play that class on two attack speed, but after experiencing zero attack speed, like you just can't go back. Like, it just feels awful. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Especially since you're comboing literally all the time. It's not like... It's not like... Um, what's in a class that you like attack here and there or whatever. It's like, no. This class you're attacking literally the whole fucking time. It's... I would say it's similar to Mihal in the gameplay. Like, current Mihal where you're just ride blading And then every now and then, you'll pull out some kind of evasive uh, maneuvers, you know? Like, you'll you'll... You'll use your sudden strike for super stance here and there. Oh, you're talking or, about Hayato. You no, know, yeah, I, I, I was saying like it's similar to Hayato where. Oh, you said Mihao. Just... My bad, bro. I got confused. Oh, I said Mihao. Oh, I meant to say yeah. Hayato. Uh, sorry, sorry. So like for for like Aran, you're just spamming Beyond Blade, but then every now and then like you'll your animation cancel some skills or you'll need to up jump or use some skill to move. Similar to Hayato where you're just wide blade spamming, but then here and there you'll like you'll use like I don't even know what the skills are called, but. You mm -hmm. have a lot of movement options when you need to use them. So like, yeah. you're not exactly comboing, but like there are some combos available. Yeah, yeah. Um, this class is. I, mean, I don't know if you, you mentioned this. Choose, choose oh, when your bind happens on on your origin is really good. Like a lot yeah. of classes that have like like duration based. Uh, uh, origin that that have like a big burst at the end. Around is the only one that you can choose whether the the bind happens at, at the beginning or at the end. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I was gonna mention that their origin is insane. Like not not only is it uh <laughs> modular, um, its burst is so stupid. Like its origin is so strong, bro. Oh, yeah, Wait, its origin is crazy. Origin, I think the issue is even though the origin does so much damage, it. It's like a, it's it's definitely up there as one of the most annoying origins to execute because oh, yeah, yeah. it takes also, a long time. It's like pretty punishing if you have poor uptime during it, like if the boss disappears or something like that. Yep. And yes. Yeah. Also, you just have to have a roar five. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> yeah. just like the, the the nature of the origin makes it pretty annoying to work with. Even like the the payoff is high, but it's sometimes not up to your control to make sure that you can hit for long enough to fully stack it. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm just gonna say, like, if you're if you're force class, I like when I make a party, Freud's, I'm not yeah. thinking about you. <laughs> I was gonna well, the, th way. the thing was with Freud's is um, the Freud's player should know this though. Like, they should know when to Freud's, when is when how to set it up and everything. Yeah, but it's just. Annoying. I think that I think the issue is it's when you're when you're like. Running a boss weekly, it's pretty easy to do Freud's. But if you're like crawling the boss, so you're like still shit at the boss and dying a lot, you're gonna lose Freud's pretty often when you're progging. It's um, it's just yeah, gonna happen when you're not as familiar with the boss mechanics. Mhm. Mm yeah, that's true. That's true. Do you think you guys think this class belongs to tier one? I think uh, that, that's what I'm debating too. That's what I'm debating. I, I could see it as a tier one class because it is really strong in burst and DPS if you play it properly. But the only thing that's uh, holding me back on it is 
I don't think this class is that like I don't think it's a brain dead enough. You know what I mean? Like it requires a lot, not not, not necessarily a lot, but it requires pr a certain level of practice to be really, really, really good. Whereas you could play another class that can perform just as good with zero effort. I don't think this class requires that much effort to play, honestly. <laughs> you, don't, you don't think so? Okay. I think the because only like learning curve is like, there are some skills. So like Aran has skills where you can key bind it. But you mm -hmm. also have access to that skill by just using the arrow key combinations with the basic attack, right? So, uh, outside of like that learning curve where you have to, you basically have almost not many skills that you key bind, and you have a, a, a library of skills to use depending on which key, uh, combination you use. It's it's the, the 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 one pain point that it does have is that you need to reach certain combo thresholds by a certain time, right? Mm -hmm. So you can't like just like after bursting, you can't just like chill. Like so, so something for like uh, Kalos, right? Where most people like they'll 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 get off the boss around the one percent mark, right? Or they'll leave it at point three percent. For a run, like you, for your party, you would need to communicate with them that oh, leave the HP higher so I can stack combo. Yeah, yeah, I party with an Aran, and that that's always the case. Yeah, it's always the case that he he still needs to combo up, and uh, that's just how it is. That's just how it is with Aran. What do you so what do you feel about the movement? You think the movement adds a, a level of complexity to the class? Like that's worth mentioning, or it's just brain dead? I, no, I don't think the movement's brain dead. I think it's like, I think it has a high skill ceiling. Like you can you can pull off some really fancy maneuvers if you just know how to move around in the class. Like uh, like for example, like Hayato, like you can get, you can get around just fine, just only using like the the triple dash yeah. slash or just doing the double tap. Like you, you can get a lot done with just only using those two things. But if you actually know how to like go up into the sky and like spam that aerial to just like basically just like never touching the ground, like knowing how to do that would evolve your gameplay for certain scenarios, right? Mm -hmm. Like like Carlos just like Carlos, if you're able to just stay in the air the entire time, you're pretty much safe from the boss. <laughs> Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. That I abuse that Shane Callus all the time. Every dive, you just go up in the air, and then you're safe. So, Aran definitely has that advantage too. But yeah, party bossing, it's great. Solo bossing, it's great. Mobbing, Soul Janus Waiting Worm. Yeah, that. Oh, that's another thing. Aran's mobbing, it's not that spectacular right now, isn't it? Because like they just have that one uh, fifth job FMA, right? That's like on twelve seconds or something, and then like it's... that's it. I think it's either yeah. twenty or ten, right? It's 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 a it's like a portal farm slash like circle class. Like you go in a circle or your portal farm, like Yeah. It's it's it doesn't have like the like super lazy options. Or even lazier options rather. It's it's pretty active. I see. Okay. It's pretty active. Okay. Well, I think at the start we, we, we valued mobbing a lot. So for me, like knowing that about this class uh, I don't know if I'd be willing to put up with it to main it, even though it's really good at everything else. But with Soul Janus coming around around the corner, like it's not really an issue anymore. So it's like whatever. I'm okay with putting this in tier one. By the way, I'm okay with that. Two. Like I think this class is really good. Yeah, I, I think we break. can move it around later if we need to. But uh, I, was, I definitely I see a, it being better than. I was on the on the fence between one and two, and I heard mobbing's bad. And that's a two. It's not bad. It's just not brain dead. Like, even, for example, actually, if you really think about Nothing it, like, what's, what's, a, what's, can, a, what's a bad mobber? Like, well, what's a bad mobber? Every then? class can hit Nothing is bad. If it's high effort, then that's bad. Okay. I hear you. Yeah, I think I, hear I you. think Kadena and, like, Kane are, like, the active classes. But like even like I, I've seen some kinetic rotations where it's just like portal farming. So yeah, I would say if 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 you're portal farming and you have to do even more than that while you're portal farming, then that's probably like quote unquote bad mobber. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense then. I'm I'm okay with that as a as a metric. I'm okay with that. I guess since it's mobbing isn't that great, I guess we can knock it down to tier two. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm okay with that. I think it's better than Mihail though, for sure. Yeah. You good with that, Lawrence? 
Yeah, I mean, we were considering putting it between Tier 1 and Tier 2, so I think by default it would be higher than Mihal in Tier 2. Okay. And Mihal is like a solid 2. Alright, let's move on. Let's talk about... Mm, ice Lightning. Let's talk about Ice Lightning. Okay. Let's talk about our mage. We didn't talk about our mage. Warrior, Warrior, this patch? Pirate. Yeah, IL. This patch, right now. I think it's the worst spot out of the three. This patch. Uh, Ice Lightning is just waiting for Dreamer at this point. The yeah, it's just a, a Dreamer waiting room. Getting the, class. the class is in a pretty bad spot. Like, yep. uh, it's fucking awkward that if you don't burst on a wall, you lose so much damage. Yep. Um, and also, your main burst is not masteried. Yeah, yeah, your your lightning your orb main, still doesn't have it. Yeah, your yeah your main key down burst is, is not boosted yet by six drop, which is also really bad. Um, it does have one thing going for it though that it's the class is fairly burst heavy, and yep. the current meta of bosses is actually surprisingly quite friendly to that. Where like in Kalos, you get a wall for free, and your Ice Age multi hits. In Saren, you're bursting on a wall at noon, so you get that for free. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I guess calling isn't too great, but at least the bosses are big. So wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! It depends, cause like on P phase three, there's a little lip above the ground where you. Oh, I guess that's true. You there. could. You, oh, I guess that's true. You get the free wall and calling as well. That's. Uh, I mean, that's wait, in Kalos, doesn't your Ice Age do like triple damage in Kalos? Yeah, your your yeah. Ice Age. Yeah, Ice insane. Age hits super hard. Yeah. So, so I think that like even though the class is kind of overall bad, the. The current meta of bosses is actually quite friendly to Ice Lightning. That's true. Despite the <laughs> that's, yeah. that, that's terrain so diff. Like, <laughs> yeah, like actual all, terrain all, diff. All three of the endgame bosses right now, this class can do well. In. Even though I still think the class is shit overall. I mean, even in Kaling, Kaling has multiple platforms too. It's not as much as Kalos, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, even like, P2, you're basically, you know... Well, P2, you whatever. just one-shot it. Yeah, P2 doesn't exist. Yeah, yeah. P1, I guess it depends. If you're in Wolf, you probably are going to be in Wolf because you're TP, right? So, yeah, um, you're, you can't you can't get that boss up against the wall. That's impossible. Yeah. yeah. Can those bosses be slowed? No, they actually no. can't. Okay. Okay. Interesting. I thought That's they crazy. could, but no. It's uh, it's yeah. the fact they can't be slowed is kind of funny because uh, I need to apply a slow to get a, some damage. But I can't slow them, so I have to use oh, a different. I mean, Kaiser is the same way. Kaiser also yeah, has, it's has a, that. It's a very, it's a very strange issue. <laughs> I don't mm. know why they implemented that they couldn't be slowed. Because that's one of the big IL like features. Is it just perm slows the target, and it's really they good. They turn blue. But, yeah, <laughs> they mean, literally they just turn blue. They're frozen. But like, that that uh, feature yeah, think, falls think, off though. The positioning has sort of become a lot less important with bosses over time. Like because. Yeah. Kind of nice in Black Mage, but like in other bosses, like it past that, it's just not very relevant to slow bosses anymore, because their yeah. their main movement is through attacks rather than walking. So because of that, like slowing their actual movement just doesn't really impede their movement at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thoughts on it's uh it's bind, thirteen seconds. Yeah, it's a three minute cooldown though. It's three and minutes. It's also, and it's also their iframe, so it's pretty awkward. You. I mean, it's it's nice for party bossing, but like, not not that nice overall in reality. Isn't it also their debuff? And the debuff is like some PDR debuff, so it's not. Oh. I mean, it's nice, but it's not. It's not that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess a pro to this class is it's mobbing, right? It's mobbing is crazy. <laughs> I've, 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 yeah, I've heard that it's mobbing is actually not very good. It's, it's the worst out of three. Other experiences. Yeah, because the other two are so fucking broken too. But at large, though, we're not just comparing to the other other oh, yeah, ages. Yeah. At we're large, talking about at it, large. It, like it's it, mobbing it is like good in the game. Water, out of water. Yeah, I think. I don't, yeah, I don't know. it has it has good summons and 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 like large AOE like full map attacks. It's it's V skills are are like pretty much all FMA Spirit of Snow. Bolt Barrage, uh, Jupiter Thunder, like they all, uh, Ice Age, like they all fucking just hit the whole map. It's not even just Chain Lightning we're talking about here. It's like everything. Like it, it just has options for everything. Blizzard. Mm. 
Like, I think mobbing on this class is is good for most people. Like, you'll get the job done. I know the other two are better, though. Like, I get that. But it's not like this class can't pull rates and pull the rates yeah. easily. Um, I mean, another thing to mention, I guess, with, like, all the other Explorer Mages is if you're a new player to this game, this class is shit until you're, like... 6k legion and like 260 yeah if you're new player you're probably running like legendary buff duration line until isn't isn't this yeah okay so if, if you if you if you're a new player right like you if you're choosing if you're a new player choosing between the three mages isn't this one already better than the other two in terms of like early game yeah because you don't need cooldown hat or you, you like cooldown chain lightning has base crit too chain lightning yeah, has like 35 percent bonus crit rate so it's like you, you that you don't even have to worry about that that also helps. Do you guys think this is a tier one, given the, the how it no. performs in the current end game bosses? Tier one? No. I think no. it would be. No way. I think it would be near like it'd be an upper tier two, just because of like even though the class is kind of overall bad, it it has some strong points of like good burst and yeah, uh, the terrain in the current end game bosses is favorable towards it. So it's like the class is like okay. But not not that impressive. Yeah. No, I don't think it's tier one at all. Definitely anyways. not. I think next patch just... it could be. Lightning Orb is yeah, crazy. Yeah, and Dreamer, they get the standalone. The uh... Much, much better. But for now, mm -hmm. it's kind of it's just kind of okay. Okay. They changed like, I, I uh, Bolt Barrage it, it and Dreamer for too. The current bosses. It weren't for the fact that it's advantaging current bosses. I've straight up put it in tier three, but I think that's reasonable. Okay. We'll yeah, tier two is fine. I mean, yeah, Fuck, man, it's, it's just, like, once it gets the mastery core for the, the key down, like, it's probably going to, I don't know if it'll go up a whole new tier, but it'll definitely be higher up of its current tier. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I agree. But, and I then agree. again, like, every other class is getting more stuff, too, so. We'll but see. what about the Shad oh, yeah. Origin nerf? Okay, we'll talk about that when we get to that. <laughs> yeah, this guy's angry now. <laughs> All right. Let's move on. <laughs> let's let's do an archer. Let's do an archer? Okay, let's talk about Marksman. Let's talk about Marksman. Okay. <laughs> so I think Marksman's really interesting because of the upcoming two minute Jenny change, bro. Like I think it makes this class like kinda OP. And with the A B link. But it's unfair oh, though. True. I can't really like can't really like that's not right now though right like a b link and jenny like yeah, yeah, so broken for this right shit yeah, right what if they what if they lose the origin cancel man then that's uh <laughs> okay that's, that's, I, I was gonna say it, but than, that's a bigger deal than everything upcoming <laughs> i was gonna say it but now you put it out there i, I guess mean, we're gonna talk about it literally any marksman video you look up they're using it like this shit is not even close to secret everyone knows about yeah. it yeah <laughs> i don't know man like the the, the class discord is whatever Bro, fuck the class Discord. If you're listing this and you're in a class Discord, fuck you, bro. Unless your IGN is <laughs> A-U-R-O-A. -A. Okay. <laughs> um, It's mobbing is... I think it's mobbing is good just because split shot lasts so long. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think... Uh, bro, this shit, the split shot's uptime is crazy. 72 over seconds? Did, over the years, they did a lot to improve... Uh, it's off split shot mobbing as well. Like they they added a lot to piercing shot, even when like split shot is down. So yeah, I mean they're they have like fucking veins, fucking passive in league, like with their uh, with their sniper or whatever. Uh, it just gets the big one, and that thing's hitbox is huge. Mm -hmm. Oh, another thing with this class is it's really easy to one shot with too. So for if you're like early game, not only does it have high crit rate, it also mobs really, really well, like and easily too. So that's like a big, big up on this class too. Does it still have that passive where it's like, if you hit, if you're, if you hit more no. mobs, it does more damage yes. or something? Yes. Oh, that one. oh, it still has that. Wow. The 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 later mobs, like the later mobs that you, that you hit with the piercing shot, there there's an FD stack. Like. Oh damn. Okay. Okay. I don't know if it's relevant, but... Oh, it's because he was talking about early game, like, you know, just... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Damn. Okay. I mean, they have. You know, they're like, their TP portal thing is broken as fuck too. That thing is OP. They have yeah, a perm yeah. reposition at any time, 100% uptime. Like that's so crazy. I, I, I have a marksman boss mule. Like I, I, I do like normal. I do up to like normal lucid will, and then the hardest boss I do on it is basically just hard lotus, and it definitely makes <laughs> oh like that boss like a joke. Yeah. yeah. Like the the so the the the, the things that are good about it is obviously the dummy you have like the teleporter so you can get out of a sticky situation it's the um, dummy he wishes dual blade had yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> anyways but uh it's 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 super long range too so if like even when there's platforms and like the platforms are segmented in a way where it's like it's very far from you from between you and lotus like you can still hit them like i think it when you're if we were to look at the this the map even if you're slightly past a halfway point like he's in the corner you can still hit him i think like the, mm. the range of marksman is insane. Yeah, it is. It's huge. Yeah. And they, they also changed the iframe to be one minute cooldown now. So you actually just, mm -hmm. you can use it for damage if you really want to. But for my remember, like, damage, so. like, I, I it does a lot of damage. damage. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so you could save it for, 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 for an iframe, but you know, if you want more damage, you use it off cooldown, especially I for say, though, the annoying thing. Okay. I don't know if mm, I'm going to say it. The, the the thing about its iframe is that it it just ends fatal, just because. Oh just yeah. yeah, yeah. Iframe. I mean, a lot of classes have that issue, but yes. Um, the the pain points about the class, and from what I've like found out, like just from my experience of playing it, is I I play a lot of classes where you attack, and you can just start moving almost immediately. But for marksman, it's noticeably longer. Like yeah. Even at zero attack speed, like you were locked in animation for a long ass time, comparatively yeah. to the other classes that I play. Yeah. Like, I, I play, Blade, zero attack I play speed. Kana. Like, so like for for marksmen, like your animations are really really long, even with zero attack speed. So you, it's 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 also a class where it's like you really want to just keep holding down your attack key too, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Because you, you you know like like what uh, Hamza said earlier, but like the vein passive, like you get stronger snipes every other snipe or whatever, or like every few snipes you get a stronger one. Mm -hmm. Um, so it, it kind of locks you into like just being a bot holding down the button, <laughs> you know, from afar. But then you get you get punished, right? Because if, if, for example, I was using Lotus, like you get hit by debris, and sometimes you get you get chained hit by debris, and you just die from just actual damage. Um, and then because you're locked in animation for a long time, your movement options are pretty limited too. They they lost a hook shot, which is something very interesting that they decided to do, right? You guys remember, mm -hmm. like, old Marksman had I the like hook the shot? Hook shot. I yeah, like I like the hook shot. was yeah. sick. You could swing around and shit, yeah. But cool. in, in, as compensation, or I don't even know if it's compensation, but they got the teleport as a result of that. But that means, like, their their instantaneous movement is just basically locked to that teleporter. Mm -hmm. Using, like, the recall shot, or whatever it's called, like, that thing sucks ass. Cause the the one that holds you in the air? Yeah, yeah. If, oh, covering yeah. fire. It's called covering fire. Covering if, fire. If you tap it once... Also. If you tap it once, it just sends you backwards, but it's not like immediately. It's it's it also sends you uh, at an angle too, mm -hmm. right? Like you go up and then right. It's not immediately going right or left, right? It is good so, in Aerostall, I think. Oh yeah, for Aerostall. Yeah, of it's course, good. Yeah, for whole thing, yeah. But but you could also just CP out of the way in Kalos. There's other options. True, true. But that, yeah, that, that was one of the pain points where, like, you don't have instantaneous movement outside of teleporter. So if you're locked in animation, like, you're out is the teleport or iframe. Assuming, like, you're not locked in animation for that long, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But well, it's I damage seems really solid, though. Is better. I think that uh, this class is really, really good for, like, new players, like, early, mid-game or whatever. But when, it, when you get to the end game, I don't think it stacks up. Really, I yeah, mean, I don't think it, it is a two minute class. Game. But it's I, two minute. I think... It's burst. It's burst is fine, but because it's two minute, you're gonna be either waiting, or or like you're desynced. Um, and the fact that it doesn't have like instantan the movement that that you that you just talked about, I think other classes movement is just better in end game bosses. Like you don't want to just be standing there holding that one button. Mm -hmm. Well, I think everything. And then the dummy just doesn't do shit in game. What'd you say, Phil? I said I think everything I would put in tier two is just better. 
I think everything in tier two is better. Yo, yep. I don't know, bro. I feel like Markson's better than IL, bro. In like current right game now. bosses? No way. All right, how about we both I'm... fund one to end game and see who does better? No. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm not too sure if Ice Lightning is better or Marksman's better. Because they're both two minute classes. They both also have like. Well, I mean, Ice. They both have pretty condensed burst too. Mm hmm. But then they like. Like, while really? Marksman has split shot. While Marksman has yeah, split shot, Ice long. Lightning still has like. The summons. Oh, right? split shots, whatever. We're talking about the cartridges. Yeah, the cartridges is pretty fast, but then the issue is split shot takes a pretty long time. I would not really consider the classes burst as very condensed. Split shot is so split strong. The cartridges not that much damage. I don't. I don't know. You, you can tell. Literally half the damage is cartridge is, is coming from the fact that split shot applies to it. Yeah. I see. Nice. The cartridge just isn't doing enough damage. To yeah, I, uh, this just, class just is like, up against ice I, I don't, this this class is burst. It's well, I guess there's the caveat that the the burst is quite good because of the cancel. But, yeah, but that's that's <laughs> only that's only. I mean, with burst that burst without burst. cancel, like the the damage is literally like twenty percent more doing roar. It's, it's it's such a big difference. It's insane. Yeah. Do we know if the cancel's in KMS? I'm pretty sure it's not. But I okay, that shit know. is not lasting then. Yeah, rest in peace, Marksman, bro. I mean, no, no, no. Like, if it's not even in KMS, how are they going to fix it? Bro. <laughs> okay. Like, you bro. expect GMS devs to, to fix that shit? Maybe. Bro, I've seen them do know. wonders on Hyatt, bro. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay. I don't think they fixed... I would not Kana. rely on or Actually, that, you don't I even do it rely on anymore. Never mind. The Kana cancel is irrelevant. You don't even want to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, Jake actually has a really good, really good three, point. Right? Dude, mages benefit more from support buffs, actually. That's a good point. Like Haku okay, and shit. Sure, but then you can, I don't know, throw shade, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. That's true. Obviously, shade doesn't really stack up against Kana Bishop, but... <laughs> um, yeah, RSMP shade, bro. I mean, I'm down to... I don't... know. I don't know if it's tier three. I feel like it's probably bottom tier two. Yeah, like I I okay. don't think it's up there in tier two. I don't, but I don't think it belongs in tier three as of right now. Okay, we can just. I'm okay. Yeah, with let's that. go with that first. Because it, it does okay have like like it does have mobbing that's good. It's solo oh, bossing true. is also good. It's just like mm -hmm. in party bossing, it's not like it it doesn't like it's not crazy in party bossing. That's about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like if, if it's like if two out of the three things are already pretty good, it's like it, it probably means it's, it should at least be tier two. I mean, this class is only getting better though with the Jenny and the AB change. Like it's only getting better with that. Oh yeah, the AB change will be giga. Mm -hmm. Yeah, every cartridge have AB link. Time. That's really good. It's it's basically just up from here. I mean, it's it's up from here for a lot of classes, honestly. But yeah, there, some classes have more to look forward to than others. That's for sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. Next All right, let's class. Let's do. Let's do a support class. Lara. Okay, she's not really a support class. <laughs> All right, fine, bro. Fine. Uh, Dawn Warrior. <laughs> okay. I mean. I guess we're still talking about cancel then. Yeah, going from one cancel class to another. Okay. <laughs> That's great, dude. <laughs> um, what is there to even say about this? This shit's brain dead and OP as fuck. Um, I think after six shot, comparatively speaking, the damage fell off compared to a lot of other classes. Yeah, from what I can tell, it's... Dawn Warrior's six shot is quite poor. If you're yep. if you're not if you're not doing the origin cancel, if you're doing the origin cancel, it's pretty good. But without it, it's the origin is actually like really bad. Um, the origin cancel is like when I test is like thirteen percent FD during during roar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a pretty big game changer. It, but I think, like, under normal conditions, the class's six job is, like, pretty bad. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's an eight-second nuke that does, like, very little damage. But it's cool. <laughs> it, it, it is, is cool. cool. It is one of the best animations, I, I would say it that. It is cool. It's so cool. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, like, so Dawn Warrior, it's it's three-minute class. 
um it does have like a 90 second burst but uh, from what i've seen it doesn't seem like it's like anything crazy like it's just kind mm -hmm. of like one of the lower end of the mini bursts that's available um it's insane mm -hmm. it plays dual blade okay but wait, anyways, <laughs> uh, i i it, okay. it has true sight okay. which which is 20 yeah, percent ied um it's 10 percent base and then another 10 percent from the hyper yeah uh and then you also have like the l resist which is minus 10 percent mm -hmm. right from from is it minus 15 yeah. minus 10 or minus 15 I don't remember. it's 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 10 percent elemental resist and then five percent final, final damage oh yeah. okay. and then the id yeah. on top so in total all in all like it's like 18 uh, fd or something Total well, the, the, I mean, the 15? IE is kind of pretty useless in most party like monster settings. So realistically, it's yeah, it's just around like 15. Okay. Yeah. 15 so, per also, FD. 100% uptime, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah. it's 100% uptime. Okay. Unless you're Donner's an idiot. Okay. I will say someone out or what? I will say. Yeah, Madman Limming. The other issue with this origin is that the it, it made the burst even more awkward because of the backloaded god as it has and then the the fact that the origin gives you a 20 second buff uh, 10, 20 second duration 10 percent of debuff yeah oh. the, the origin it took is... me a while to figure out how i want to do my burst no the mm -hmm. origin is just really bad for the kit yep. overall if mm -hmm. you're not bug abusing i see well i mean let's <laughs> it's bad for the kit as of right now who knows what might change in the future with new skills or something? Or that's true. So, I mean, it's, I mean, it's so. fundamentally incompatible with how the class wants to burst, and, and then yep. I don't think it's ever going to change. Yep. Yeah, it needs to have a I big mean, change. But you could say yeah. about any class, though. Like, oh, who knows what's in store for the class? Like, we need it. We need to just look at it like right now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that I mean, god is bad. Yeah, I, I, I can, see, I can definitely see them changing the goddess somehow. Maybe I don't know. Singer's blessing is like the worst goddess in the game for sure. Yep, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, so even if you're just I think Sakunos is worse, like, bro. If you even if you just compare it to Sakunos, it just it's just a shittier version of Sakunos. No, but it gives you damage reduction. Okay, <laughs> all right, dude. Yeah, Yo, so damage just don't sleep, bro. But yeah, I mean, I think overall Dawn War is like despite their poor six drop, their support is just still too too strong. Yeah, yeah, the it is. Has massive utility with like extremely good uh, mobility. They are iframe for super long, mm -hmm. just like in general. It's yeah, uh, the, the, they, the it's, it's, it's hard to find much fault with the class. It's very. Oh, I mean, I think the biggest fault is that it's a simple class. So okay, I don't think it's, I don't think being a simple class is a bad thing. I think it's a double edged sword where because it's simple, easy to pick up, easy to learn, but but also at the same time, like you'll you, you know, there's not much going on with the class. Like you'll get bored mm -hmm. of it. Or yeah, you it's can very boring. Get bored of it. Every end game Dawn Warrior player I know, they all say that shit, that it's boring as fuck, and they like the old one more. Something that's also very, very important, uh, is this class is like one of the easiest in the whole game to one-shot with, at any point in the game. Like, it's just so fucking broken. Like, if you're a new oh, yeah, player, you're, it's you're like mobbing. super I think the, I think the, I think the summons, skill too. I think the, the summons are a little harder to one-shot with, which is kind of critical for some of the highest skill rate rotations. So uh, honestly, not, the, the summons are actually like... I think the summon is a little like a slightly better version of of, of dark player. Yeah, I mean they're not they're not bad, but my my point is just like one shotting with your main mobbing skill is isn't the whole story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. That's true. Yeah, but you could okay. always like stack the summons or whatever, like soul, uh, like uh, Erda Nova or Erda fucking shower fountain. I'm gonna go down a list and the uh, and the class one. Hot take. I don't think it's tier zero. I oh no! I was one. never, I was never gonna say T zero. No, I was thinking tier one. Okay, yeah. yeah I, would, I would, I would think like near the top of tier one is. Yeah. yeah okay. Okay. Good thing we're aligned. Yeah. No, I'll, I would I not say, say two zero. The only thing, thing that comes that to my head is e Bishop. Even, even if we're talking about talking about the the support, the fact that it conflicts with with, with Bam and Bam is just better right now. I I think it's just automatically lower tier than Bam. Bam's better. I didn't even know. I think I think Bam's support is stronger, and their damage is probably also higher as well. Yes. Is it because of the current state of mastery cores, or? Yes. Well, I mean, it's uh, yeah. Bam six job is really good. good. Yeah, Bam's well, just in general, Bam six job is good, and Dunware's origin is terrible. Is yep. sort of what contributes to it. Yep. Yeah. Nice. This is the only w. hot take I had. Bro, so I'm sure you're gonna on. cook up some more hot takes, bro. 
Okay. And this guy's gonna put Night Lord in tier 4, man. Yeah, wait till no, we no, get no, to no, fucking no. thieves, bro. <laughs> this guy's not gonna stop. Bro, I'm not. Bro, I'm not del delusional like that. Bro! <laughs> okay. Can we just put BT in question mark? Yeah, no, I mean, I think OP B as fuck. Well, I mean, I think BT well, jet. But the issue right, is BT's BT literally getting a BT's literally getting a like rework like next week in TMS or something. <laughs> yeah, that's why I think this thing is like, it's just, like it's so. Just, it's just not even worth talking about because it's literally getting a rework next week. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we obviously understand it. It has play and purpose and all this shit right now. But yeah, like, I mean, who I gives a it, fuck? It, like next week, it's yeah. dead. Like, yeah. I'm just gonna yeah, let's put it here. Fuck BT. I feel okay. Yeah. I feel so bad for BT players though. Like they really like. It's a very, it's a very rough situation. So bad, I think that a lot of people would have preferred to just get the jet <laughs> treatment so they can start doing six job earlier. Yeah, I feel so bad for them, bro. They actually just can't fucking play the game. Whatever. <laughs> I was so shocked when I saw a BT when I was doing my stronger law dailies, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was like, just flying around? flying around the map. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, bro, you made it this far. <laughs> <laughs> bro, made it to the grand line like this? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Um, All right, let's talk about. Uh, well, I mean, this let's, let's talk about a thief, dude. Oh, yeah, let's talk about a thief. Let's talk Any about. Thief. What's a good thief? Let's talk about Shad. Let's talk about Shad. Okay. Um, okay, I think Shad straight up is one of the best classes in the game. Regardless of whether it's uh, extremely strong right now or not. It is strong, but this class just has it all. It has everything. Everything. Like, from its, uh, from its high mastery to its uh, DPS to its burst um, to its mobbing. The Messel passive, like that's always relevant, always, like no matter what. Especially with the yeah. Messel cap soon. <laughs> JK, we're not getting that. But yeah, I mean, I think yeah, Shadow Hour sort of has it all. Its smokescreen even gives it a little bit of party support, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. Like the literally the only weakness of the class would be that its its burst is not as yeah. strong as some having of the party burst is not so nice. Like I think that it's it's also. Uh, I think this is getting fixed where it's like trick play knocks you off the Kalos platform. I think it like literally gets fixed like next patch or something though, so it's not that big of a deal. That's kind of annoying. Mm -hmm. And but yeah, it's like literally the only weakness of this class is that its burst is not as strong as like other classes yeah. we consider around the same strength of it. Someone just needs to cook up a way to cancel the origin and it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, these like cancel origin like recipes are gonna go crazy, bro. Watch, it's gonna require you open like fucking Microsoft XP pinball or something like at the same time, and it'll like, cancel your origin bro, somehow. I I sat in Dojo Mulong like the training map for an hour <laughs> trying to cook up a way to cancel <laughs> origin. Bro. Even even when I do farm, like when when it's up every six minutes, I try to do something crazy to see if I can cancel it. And I <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, dude. Yo, this is. <laughs> It's like a mad scientist in a lab, for like a decade. Dude, I I've been cooking. I haven't found anything yet. I even fucked around with like the what's it called, the threats of fate skills to see if they might what the funky. <laughs> Kurama, bro. <laughs> yeah, like oh, you can't Kurama, but like you know, Kurama's disabled in uh, any boss map now. But damn, I I've, I've been cooking, dude. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I I agree. It definitely has. Like the only thing it's really lacking is just like the party or like the the burst in a party, but even then, like its burst isn't even that far behind. Mm -hmm. And uh, effective value that smoke screen adds makes it that you're exactly like, you're making other yeah. people's yeah. effective burst burst contributing is still isn't that, yeah it, it, yeah also despite like the overall burst is is not the best. It's, it, at least it's like easy and fast to execute. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's condensed. Then, it's condensed. Yeah. So it's, well, but it's, you have to, you have to, you have to, you have to stay on the boss to keep using assassinate, which is sometimes hard. True. Yeah. I mean, I guess. I mean, at least assassinate gives you super stance. At least that. This this class also like shreds like newbie bosses. Like if you're new to the game and you want to pick up Shad and you want to learn it, 
Like that classes kit just fucking beats everything in the early game. Like, oh, that, like yeah, Lotus, that, that, Lotus can't do shit to you. Dark Sight's OP against like every fucking debris boss. Like it's crazy. It has the best Dark Sight in the whole game. No other Dark Sight's close. Um, yeah, the, the class only starts struggling in grandest bosses. Everything before grandest bosses, the classes kit is absolutely insane for. Mm -hmm. Yep. No, but the thing about the origin nerf, Jake, is it's more of a line division than a nerf. So, like, if you're if you're line capping right now, you're super strong. Long term, it's better because there's more lines. It's so it's the like, origin's like whatever. It, it's maybe a buff for party if you're like. Super it is a buff for party. Shocks was capping with level fourteen origin. Yeah, but you always oh. want um you always want line division though long term you always want that shit. You don't ever want to cap out. So it's like mm. whatever. Like that that's like a non-issue to me about Shad. Okay. okay. I mean, oh, yeah. we're going to throw it's mobbing is great. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well. In any in any stage, early to end game, like it's mobbing is always good in any it's, stage, so. It's funny cuz every every map you go to as a shadower, it's always the same rotation. You yeah. put your dark <laughs> flare in the top right or something and you yeah, just draw yeah. an L. <laughs> you just yeah. draw an, yeah. an L or a backward L from or the any top kind left. Of L. <laughs> like <laughs> literally any map literally any map yeah. it's the shad, same bro. rotation every single map <laughs> <laughs> yo shad brain bro also another reason why i like this class i don't know i don't know if this is like a plus or whatever but i'm just gonna say it anyways is i like how this class has a direct difference in performance whether somebody knows how to play the class or doesn't like for example, Dawn Warrior, like, everybody can get the same performance within, like, fucking 2% of each other because there's no variation. But this class, if you don't know how to weave, you don't know how to optimize your dark sight, you don't know how to do all these things, you're going to get gaffed, bro. I wonder if that's why they have a trouble, they have, they have difficulty balancing classes like this. It's hard. I mean, it's hard to balance classes like this. A lot of KMS people are also asking for weaving to just be removed so that and like just have mess explosion be automatic oh, but obviously that didn't not. happen right but Solid bro, before tu before tummy tell me how to weave bro you do not want to see that footage bro <laughs> you do not bro yeah i think this is definitely a tier one class above dunware or below I feel like it's Probably below. below. It's below. below. Yeah. Support, yeah. It's hard to be a support. Dunware is crazy bro. Yeah. yeah, it's hard to be FD supports. Yeah, yeah, I agree. All right, moving on. Hmm, hmm. Maybe we should talk about one of our mains. Not it. Okay, uh, I can go, I guess. <laughs> Since we just talked about Shadower, we, we can talk about Dual. Oh, Party, so we're going to talk about Kana then? Oh, oh I was yeah, joking. Man. What was it? New York fries? <laughs> yeah, that's my kind of dude. Yo, dude, NYF, that been, bro. That shout out. Up. I got a Roar 4 on it the other day. <laughs> okay. Been, How the you four, four? Uh, Where's DB? Uh, Am huh? I blind? It's, it's a top row. Oh, right here. Um, <laughs> Blade I think it's, it's mobbing is... It's straightforward, but people are... <laughs> People really need guidance on how to mob on uh, dual blade. Okay, um, personally, I don't think it looks that hard though. Like, what what is there to guide? Bod hits the whole fucking map, and then NATO just yeah. hits the other half. It's it's basically the the how this class works when it comes to mobbing is the more cooldown reduction you can get, uh, you get access to lazier rotations, and that. Laser rotation doesn't necessarily mean like actually a higher kill rate. It can, but like essentially like once you get to that minus five threshold, you have bod every single wave. So there's not really much thinking involved when you have this one skill that wipes out like 70% of the map. And then the next 30%, mm -hmm. you just got to divide it between Haunted Edge, Blade Tornado, with Blade Fury, you know. Um, but even without that minus five threshold, if you're at zero, if you're at two, if you're at three or four, like... You still can clear the entire map. There's just a little bit more elbow grease required. Mm -hmm. uh, and then with like Soul Janus coming, uh, I know it's not we don't have it right now, but it's it's I think it's fair to mention it that uh, you actually wouldn't use the summons for this class. You would use like the lightning, 
the, the lightning effect to take care oh, of this dragon. Oh, I was, I was thinking that actually with some classes, yeah. Like, I was thinking Hayato would do that. Like, you would use the little meteor comments, whatever, like that shit drops. Yeah. Yeah. I think some classes would do that, yeah. That makes sense. But, uh, for, yeah, for its mobbing, it's, um, I think it's, like, not necessarily bad. It, when you get to the minus five threshold, it's, like, it just looks so chill. It feels really chill. <clears throat> what do you think of, uh, the concept of, uh, DBs being grandfathered into endgame bosses? <laughs> <laughs> you have Wario grandfather here. <laughs> yeah, true. Um... I don't know, man. I th okay, <laughs> outside of the fact that my class obviously isn't the most optimal to have in the end game party boss, um, sure you can like chalk it up to oh you got grandfathered in, but I think it's also more than just that. You know, just just not even in, not even like incorporating like the the friendship factor into it. Like my party <laughs> members know that I have hands to some degree. That's true. Like that's like, true. Like. You know, sometimes I have my off days where I die out, but for the most part, I, on average, I'm playing well enough to, you know, to, 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 to truck along, get the job done. Um, you know, I'm find like, all the times this guy has died to test, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about that. Anyways, but, uh, but, oh, but what about all those times where I block right arrows? People yeah, don't even I'm, know I'm, sometimes, I'm, I'm, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm Yo, I'd be doing that too. I'd be blocking right arrows, bro. Facts. Just heal um, that shit back up. But yeah, like for, for, for solo for solo bossing, like even without mirror target, um it's 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 pretty solid. It's just there's only there's a few bosses where it's just really punishing to be a key down class. What, yeah, Tempest. Comes down I was about to, to say that. Like uh Dual Blade is one of those classes where you're your main burst skill is on a 90 second cooldown whereas you know traditional three minute classes would have it as like actual three minute cooldown right so mm -hmm. for example like night lord you have spread throw and throw blasting like those three minute cooldown skills are their numbers are adjusted for the cooldown it it's locked behind right so if it's going to be a three minute skill it's going to be dealing damage that reflects that right hopefully mm -hmm. right so for dual blade it's like okay it's a 90 second skill it hits pretty fucking hard for a 90 second skill I agree. Right. It does, yeah. Um, but you will find yourself in scenarios where you don't actually ever get to use it off cooldown, right? So if if we were in an alternate reality where Blade Tempest was a three minute cooldown skill, um, most people would probably have a better time, uh, mainly because you you have a bind to guarantee that cool, that that key down, right? Every three minutes, and that that damage is just guaranteed. Whereas, you know, in this current 90 second meta for dual blade, you don't have a bind every 90 seconds. You have it every 100 seconds, right? So that's where it comes down to like, okay, sometimes the, the boss's patterns make it really hard to, to get that damage off. Um, sometimes you gotta get creative by not using Jenny in your big burst, but using it for your mini burst, right? Some bosses allow you to do that. No, I saw uh, the or... TMS dual blade, they save their lucid earrings for the mini burst. Yeah, so exactly. Why don't, why don't you just do that, man? Where's your yeah, my bad, my bad. <laughs> let me, let me, uh, yeah. He was trolling himself. Um, but yeah, like, in, in, in this current meta of what just how bosses are for, so like, Paul's, for example, like, you almost never use your mini burst unless somehow you fail test and you're just trying to, you're just trying to salvage the run at that point. That's where you can maybe see yourself using Blade Tempest another time. But mm -hmm. considering it's like, you, you probably wouldn't be running Kalos if you needed to do more than just your main burst, right? If you needed another mini burst, your party mm -hmm. probably isn't going to last long. <laughs> right? Yeah. Um. So, but 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 in bosses like Calling, like, you, you do see, get to use it more often. Um. But be, be, just because, like, Blade Tempest is such a... It's a very polarizing skill. Like, you definitely feel the lack of damage when you miss out on using it. And it feels really bad when you do get to use it and you have to cancel it or you die. <laughs> yeah, or you get pushed or something, right? Um... Yeah, because, yeah, like, you know, you are very vulnerable during it. You have Last Resort ticked on, so you're taking extra damage. I yeah, just think Last know? Resort for many birds is just bad. Bro, no, I don't think it's bad. No, I disagree. Bro, you're saying that from a Night Lord PO. You're saying that from a Night Lord POV. Yeah, it depends on the tools your class has. 
But you for think example, if you're a shadow, shadow. where you can, yep. if you're a shadow and you can exit your key down with the trick play, it's just not an issue at all. So yep. Yeah, you get cooldown cool. refund too. <laughs> yeah, yep. it's like you wish you had Sonic Blow instead of Blade Tempest. Yeah. Oh, I mean, like it's funny. I mean, I I remember seeing Shadow Remains on Invin talking about how like oh they wish Sonic Blow was ninety second cooldown. Instead True. Of yeah, but then uh, well, as soon as they added like the trick blade cancel for Sonic Blow, I feel like that just like solved basically yeah. all the issues with. I I agree. Sonic Blow. Same with Assaulter. That that was the biggest thing about Shad pre Destiny is like you could just whiff your Sonic Blow and you had no option, and then you were just you just fucking standing there like an idiot. But now yeah. it's not. Now now it's not a problem. Um, how do you feel about DB uh, early game? Like for like a new player's uh, outlook on DB. Like, is it too hard? Is is it too hard? Does it perform well in in these like early situations? Um, I think it's good early because it has it has uh, iframes basically, and dark. I think class plays. I I really don't like playing in class without negative four. <laughs> um, at minus two, that's when the class feels less clunky like your because mm -hmm. then your fmas are more closely aligned in cooldown um and when you're doing early game bossing like your fmas are going, to, are going to be doing a lot a large part of the work right like if you're doing all your weekly like if you're doing four door magnus like you know those bosses on your on your fresh db like you're going to be using tempest maybe like three times you know but you're going to be using your fmas off cooldown all the time so using the fmas like it's it's pretty satisfying like that's probably like one of the most satisfying things about dual blade using mm -hmm. those fmas um blade tempest is obviously very satisfying too but you don't get to use it that often even though it's 90 seconds right but um <clears throat> i think early game it's it feels like there's a lot of setup before it feels like cohesive mm -hmm. like you want minus two you know um early game since you're not going to have that many nodes your Shadow Walker and your Last Resort cooldowns are going to be really decent. Because the cooldowns of those skills go down the higher level they are, right? I think. Mm -hmm. Or I, I, I think Shadow Walker does, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't remember I don't remember if Last Resort was duration, like a higher duration, or it was like lower cooldown. No, nah, Last Resort is neither. It's just the FD. Oh, it's just the FD? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so it's it, it feels really awkward where it's like every other third blade storm you have Shadow Walker. <laughs> yeah. There's also uh, um, the ID advantage on DB. Like and... You're an advantaged class in IED. I'm not saying you don't sure. need IED. Obviously, you do. But you are advantaged, though. To a degree, yes. It's it's The IED situation on Dual Blade is really weird. I personally don't really like it. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I guess, yeah. Um, where where would you guys place this class? Two. Uh, between three and two. Two. I think it's definitely better than Thunderbreaker. Oh yeah, no, it's definitely not four at all. No way, not even close. I think I this is one of those classes that if you stick with, you get rewarded. Uh, like if you get to end game with it, you could you could train really well with it. And it has options in fights. It has really good options. It's not like, um, for example, Shad. Like it's not an example. For example, like Shad's Trick Blade. Like you need to have the three stacks to be able to iframe. You could iframe any time in this class, which I think has value. Mm -hmm. I think last resort classes in general are just good for party bossing. Yeah, FD is crazy. Like your, your if you like because all thieves are three minute classes, and your default burst is just not bad. I can see it being. I mean, it's probably a tier two class. I just don't. Do you guys think it's better than Arana? No. Personally speaking, yes. Why? How is it better than Iran? Uh. Well, it's better mobbing. Because it's straightforward to 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 set up the to to sync up the burst. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You don't think Aran's uh, higher damage just weighs more? Yeah, to me, the the low damage output of DB would drag it down quite a bit. That's the way I'm looking too. Like compared to the other tier twos, 
Mm. Definitely better than Mark's plan, though, yeah, party. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think it's better than Mihao for sure, just because it just has more damage than Mihao, right? I see. Or, 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 do you guys yeah. actually. Wait. Do you, you, do we all agree it has more damage than Mihao or no? Because it is a lot more I agree. I agree. No I, I agree. I think it does. I think Mihao could uh, clear a boss maybe faster just because it has better uptime. But I think dummy, like line for line, DB will do more. Mm -hmm. I wonder if we'll go into tier 3 at this point. Um, Blaster. We're going to keep going and see. <laughs> okay, everyone fine with this? Yeah. For now, yeah. I think it's... Like, just... It's just... Okay, just... <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's party bossing is not that great, <laughs> but it's it's better than the. It's. What are the like, others does... do for party bossing too? You know what I mean? Like. Yeah, these, for what we have so far. Don't play, don't play this flashbang, man. That, that's, that's Isn't that just broken. for itself? I thought yeah, flashbangs for itself. It's just for self. It's just for self. No, no, no. But it debuffs the accuracy of the boss, man. Can't forget. Oh, that. that's true. You no, could like it's, dodge it's, like a Saren test or something. It, it, yeah, it's, well, it's it's pretty useless, but it, 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 sometimes it saves your life. <laughs> yeah, since since it's like me and Lawrence both have like accuracy debuffs, sometimes the dash doesn't hit us. <laughs> in, Yo, that's crazy. Yeah, that's there, crazy. There, there, there are times when I get gauge and then Saren does the one, two, three slash, and the first two slashes just literally don't hit me because of the accuracy <laughs> debuffs. It's uh. Well, we must uh, reconsider it's, it's, this then. All right, let's talk about something else. Let's talk about uh, Kali. Yep, wild card. I think it's. I take back what I said about mm, thieves all have a good burst. I Shut have, up, I've bro. Heard, <laughs> I, I've I've heard from. Kali players that they feel the class is pretty decent. Um, the origin is incredibly strong right now. It yeah, is getting nerfed. Too. It is getting nerfed though. But mm -hmm. for now, the origin is like really, really strong. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I don't, I don't have any numbers to back this up or anything. But like, I've just heard people say they feel the class is in a decent spot right now. Um, their mastery is so useless though. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, the 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 situation right now is their mastery is hot garbage, and to compensate for that, they have like Giga OP Origin, and then in yeah. Dreamer they get they get a real usable master core, and they tone down the Origin to sort of adjust for that. But yeah, for now the class's burst is like incredible because of how strong the Origin is. You mean a six minute burst, right? Not a three minute burst. The three minute yeah. burst is pretty garbage. <laughs> three minute burst is not not is not impressive. But, I mean, having a strong Origin is still worth a quite like, a deep amount. Yeah. I was not expecting that. That 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 that's like the type of damage that, that like a, a thief is outputting on, on a burst. Yeah. yeah. The thing I the mean, thing yeah. about its yeah, burst is it's misleading. It, it's not about the void burst. It's about all the dots you shit out. That that's where the yeah. damage comes from. Yeah, but I mean, I think the end result is that the the non-origin burst is just kind of bad. It, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's not it's less. not impressive, but the the origin burst goes crazy, which I, is still worth a yeah. lot in party bosses. Yeah, this class is. A button mashing nightmare whack a mole class. Like, yeah, very, you just very reset and spam. Like, you were saying mm -hmm. too, Tommy, like, it was like overwhelming. Oh, uh, yeah. When I play my Kali bossing wheel, I literally just stare at the bottom right and whatever yeah. flashes up for off cooldown, yeah. I'm yeah. hitting it and then canceling a dash. Like, like I'm not I, even I, looking at the boss. I, I'm not personally. <laughs> okay, so. I'm not personally play Kadena. I don't know how, how that class plays with uh, uh like the the cooldown skip, but this class with cooldown skips like it, it's actually annoying to 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 press the buttons. Yeah, it's like, very yeah. overwhelming. I, I I don't know like what because like it comes up so fast. I, I don't know what's the, like a I don't have a clear picture of like an optimal way at any given time. Yeah, like a flow when, chart. When you pre <laughs> press what? Yeah. Priority flow. Dude, that's chart, why I yeah. said it's a whack a mole class. Like shit just pops up and you press it. Yeah, it's like arc but worse. I'm not actually sure what the mobbing is like in the in the new maps. It's so Kali is their mo their mobbing is 
Well, it gets a very high kill rate, but it's it is one of the one of the higher effort bombers. Yeah. Like, I, mm-hmm. You just need to you just need to do so many inputs for your dashes to clear the map that like yeah, you like this this class can like full clear literally any map in the game. It is the like the 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 kill like the ability to kill mobs is incredible. It's just a really high effort. Mm-hmm. Which like you know like how sustainable is that right like if you're gonna tell somebody main this class like they gotta know like you're gonna be busting your ass to kill mobs like and and it's not gonna be like you know good old uh, good old chicken festival three where you just dash across the bottom and the top like well, I mean, it's it's not, so honest, it kind of is that like like every map you just hey, you just draw a rectangle and you cycle through it basically <laughs> yeah but you got to use your other <laughs> skills too though. You can't. It, it's, it's not it's, like the dash itself is all the mobbing. It depends on the map. <laughs> yeah, it depends on the map. So there, there are a decent amount of grandest maps where it's literally just like you use like one of the, I think it's a hex skill, and then you dash, and then you just rinse and repeat. I see. I think this class also has like a, a haunted edge level tier fifth job skill too, right? Like, there, there's Which like one, a the one purple fifth one? job where, no, 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 it like like spits out like a. It's like a final attack. Oh yeah, 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 oh, bro. That I'll shit doesn't honest. do anything, I, bro. That shit's ass. I think, I think the class issues is actually just with this fifth job. I think they they have one good fifth job skill and the other three are just garbage. No, no, no. They have two good fifth job skills. Actually, yeah, no. They, they have three. The... Go- they have three good ones. To be honest, it's their fourth one. That one is not good. The one that's like haunted edge. That's just oh, I, or it's I, it's like it just automatically comes out on its own, just like a, no damage. Yeah, that one's like useless. I honestly think only the one that 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 doubles your your chakram. They, only that one's good. All the other three are just underwhelming. No, to be no, honest. no. The, you you have to at least give it two because the one that doubles your chakrams. There's another one that also like buffs your buff, buffs your chakrams as well. Like those two are hand in hand. They go together. Is this looking like a tier two? No. No. Really? I think it's tier three. Wow. Like I actually think it's tier is, three. Yeah, its burst is worse than that of the the marksman ice lightning Mihal. Yo, this oh, thing's burst is not good, bro. I mean, I don't know much about this class, but I've, I've I mean I've heard that people feel like its damage is fine, so I don't know. I I, I don't know that much about this class. I think its damage is fine every six minutes. It has no, a, but it's like the, the, th- let me put it this way: you're busting your ass off to do to do mid damage. Why would you play this? That's true. It is very high effort. Does uh, sort of downgrade it, I guess. Yeah. Damn. Wait. So then, so is, is this a continuous five class then, <laughs> or continuous four class? I don't know. <laughs> this guy's getting ahead of himself because now that he has the raw five, man. Oh, this guy got raw five. Congrats, bro. Yeah. First grindstone. Yeah. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> bro! Fucking, guy, bro. That, that reminds me of something. The bishop in my party looted the fucking grindstone and the bro, bro came back to us and said, uh, we told him to tap and then he was like, oh, I only have weapon jump three. No oh way! Oh my god! I'm like, bro! You're, right. I was like, okay, you're not, you're, you're not getting fire loot next week, from next week onward. Yo, he already won though. <laughs> I got, I got trolled, basically. <laughs> Anyways. I think Kali has the best lore in the game, though, so might have to factor that in. That's crazy. That's tier three, though. Damn. <laughs> I I think I think it could have been. Doesn't it have like, like a okay. really good goddess too? I'm okay with tier what, two the, if it was floor, it was okay, goddess. So. The Del one. Yeah, isn't that isn't that goddess like crazy? Isn't that the one that like converts your? Oh no, that's never mind. That's yeah, don't you get like a, a fuck ton of attack or something? It's a, it's a, it's it's one of the better goddesses, but I mean it's I don't know that doesn't change that much about the class. Hundred attack. Yeah. Oh. Okay, Pop so an apple. it could have been tier two if it weren't for the fact that the the mobbing and uh, and Bosnia are both like so tiring. Yeah, I, have heard mm. of it. I like her though. I still like okay. her. Yeah. All right, uh, tier three it is then. <laughs> uh okay what, what more class mages. should we do next more mages we only don't one so far okay lara this guy loves lara man i think hey, lara is legit class. the best class in the fucking game bro it literally is from what i'm saying this class is like complete garbage though 
Yeah. It's, it's like it does. Like it, like pre six job, it was like competitive for like weakest class in the game, <laughs> and like their six job, I mean, they have a good origin at least. Yeah, the origin's good. <laughs> but otherwise, I feel like they're they're, they're this this class so, kid is pretty pretty bad all around. I mean, okay, so so the birds is very condensed, but that that's all they got. Everything else is just hot garbage. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, like, even though their burst only takes like two seconds, so like that's kind of nice, but like in reality, that's not actually that useful because like. Every boss is guaranteed bound for 10 seconds, so it doesn't even matter that your verse is that condensed anymore. I I remember someone saying, like, unironically, Lara's just go 30 mastery, 30 origin, and everything else is like, whatever. <laughs> uh, no, no, you, you got it wrong. There's it's no 30, way, like, they're, it's, they're... It's, it's, it's 30 origin. They don't even level up the mastery, bro. Oh, okay, okay, my bad. My bad. Yo, but but their 30, next mastery is crazy, 30 though. Origin, 30 lands, lands connection? Why does the mastery. Yo, matter? I'm be honest with you, lands connection doesn't do anything. I said it, bro. It doesn't do anything, bro. That shit's yeah, it's just no, fast. This, but yeah, I, I, I think this this class is in a really bad spot right now. True. Tier four. Wait, so what's the damage okay. distribution of this class then? It's 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 uh it, it's. I mean, it's ninety purpose. ten. Well, you all. Yeah, ninety ten. Wait, isn't ninety is the off? Bill's just making shit up, bro. Because this class is a this class has very strong off burst, and because the burst is actually so short, it fits in continuous ring. So mm -hmm. what a lot of people do is they oh. just use continuous ring for Laura. Okay. Here, here's the other thing, yo. This class's mobbing is also crazy, bro. Yeah, the, the, the mobbing is crazy. the mobbing is like the one positive of this class. Yeah, that's a big one. That that surely that saves it from tier four, no? Mm, I don't think so. I don't think it's on the same plane as Kali, I'll tell you that. <laughs> same. If Kali has last resort, a good goddess is a thief. Like and it and and it's it's you know it's Thank you so thief. much, Amp. Thank you. Oh, that tells you more about how shit the three minute burst is on Kali. The fact that it has a good goddess <laughs> and last resort. And a three minute burst is still underwhelming. Okay, yeah. Lara at least has some support that Kali doesn't have, bro. It has twenty percent damage sun buff. And healing. Actually, it's twenty five, but uh. Okay, well, my bad. No, but you're you're missing out on the real utility where uh, you can um. There's Arbor so away too. Where no worry when you when you fly up into the air, you can uh some classes can attack by clicking. Oh, out. oh, oh okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. TV is all of them. Yeah. Wait. So that's, uh, I... you know, it's, it's, this is this is like so niche, but it is kind of cool, I guess. Guys, we're forgetting yeah, something it... very important. This class can river farm. It's one of the few brain dead mobbers in the whole game. Yeah, it's river farm is crazy value. Oh yeah, like we already said, the, the mobbing on this class is <laughs> very nice, but I don't. I Saving don't, grace. I think the issue is it's it's bossing is way too. Uh, <laughs> the issue so is, is it everything better else? than Thunderbreaker. <laughs> I, I think that yeah, I think that just by virtue of being three minutes, it's probably better than Thunderbreaker. <laughs> three minutes and it's a mage. Okay, got it. Dub. <laughs> Guys, I fought for oh, my life for this one. No, no, no. Tier, it's no, tier, no, four, tier still, four. What? No, it's tier four tier, better than Thunderbreaker. See, not tier, tier four better than Thunderbreaker. Okay, consider this. Lars is the only class in the game to have won a championship. Officially. What okay, I guess we're not going to say anything. All good. Oh my god, they're never gonna let me live this down, bro. I'm actually fucked. They're gonna take away my Lara card. Do we do any pirates? What oh, we don't want. It's literally Thunderbreaker. Alright, let's talk about an actual good pirate. Like, uh. <laughs> Ark? <laughs> sure, Ark. Yeah. Ark. Ark has been one of the most, like,. It's a roller coaster class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This classes. is a roller coaster <laughs> class. It's up though right now. Yeah, it's up. I'm like, I think, I think Ark is solid, but uh, obviously the class got saved in Savior. It was so bad before that. Yeah, and I think their their six job is overall fine. Like even though they're still missing a lot of boosted damage, their Bachelor Core added the new skill, which is actually really yeah, strong. Yeah, that that new skill is mm -hmm. very very strong. Yeah, it, it, so. But like the the thing, I mean, and also of course the 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 class offers some light party buffs, 
which is oh yeah um, it's not it's not that strong as like a true support class but i mean everything mm -hmm. is nice and but overall i feel like the class's damage output is just kind of kind of mid like it is very nice to have how compressed the damage is yes. that's like uh that's but i i think that it's it's like to the point where it's not actually like uh like like, like I, I guess like kind of the contrast is with laura it's like having your uh, like a super condensed burst is not actually that useful nowadays because like you're guaranteed to get off at least like 10 seconds of damage from the origin bind so like the fact that arc just like can nuke super fast in two seconds is like not even that useful nowadays mm -hmm. um uh but i mean yeah it's like it's yeah it's, it's like overall their their damage is probably like average to slightly above average but they do give some some support which definitely would move it up a bit three mm -hmm. though oh yeah actually i'm not even i don't even know what the the i i've seen some conflicting numbers about how the origin changes from everything i don't actually know what's the truth anymore yeah i'm not yeah I, we'll just have to see when it comes we'll to find out I, I, yeah um what else, what can I add to this? I mean, you've pretty much covered most things. Uh, the the mobbing in this class is fine. It's fine mobbing. It's easy to one shot with it's, as well. It's easy to one shot, but my impression is that you have to just like it's pretty high effort. You have to move yeah, around it is. a lot. You gotta it's... you gotta transform in and out too. Damn. Of Spectre, oh, yeah. yeah. That's, the, that's, the, you... that's the thing. It's a gauge class. Mhm. Mm this is our first gauge class we're talking about, right? Uh, oh, I guess Aron kind of maybe you can get it. Aron so, yeah. basically a gauge. Yeah. Okay. Oh uh, well, yeah. Yeah, because th uh, this thing's Flora and Spectre, uh, the fifth drop skill that amplifies your main attack, have different cooldowns, so you have to like consider that as well. I mean, it's just like strong enough burst. That's that's quick. That's about it. The off burst is just your charges. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, it's like yeah, it is. It is very nice how, like, even though it's two minutes, it like does fairly well in party due to a combination of the support buffs and also a fairly condensed burst. Yeah. Mm hmm. Good movement. Good iframe. Good survivability on this as well. Has air stall dashes DP. Um weird curvature movements um decent iframe with the hold down i mean the kit's fine that's what i'm trying to say the kit's fine is it tier one though no i, would, I, I mean i'm just i'm just not impressed by the damage output of the class yeah so i would i would put yeah. it at like a top very top of tier two but i don't yeah think I'm, I'm more comfortable with that one. i yeah. agree tier one's like really fucking strong those classes are really good like they're very notable mm -hmm. all right maybe we should talk about another archer sure okay pick one phil i well i picked arc you pick one okay merc Mercedes. yeah let's talk about merc isn't this shit juiced right now i think this this, this class has a very high damage ceiling but the reality is uh, players are not so good at reaching this damage ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> Call me crazy. Is that, that that's what? not the fault of the class though. Like it's, I think it's 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 a combination of a lot of things. I think one thing is that like it just in a lot of bosses, it's just like the 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 the, the, pants, the patterns are too cancer for you to be able to combo freely. Is like that that one's not on you. Mm -hmm. So that's a that's a pretty big con where it's just like I don't know. It's it's just so it's just so hard to combo without just dying because you dash into the boss pattern or whatnot. Essentially, there's like untapped power on this class where it's like you have to be mm -hmm. incredibly good and also knowledgeable about the boss, where you aren't going to get punished for doing specific combos. Yeah, oh, and also like apparently, if you have minus five cooldown, you unlock some crazy ass rotation or something yeah but that's pretty niche <laughs> because obviously minus five is not realistically obtainable on reboot <laughs> but yeah this this the, it's like yeah you have a 
it's like the optimal DPS rotation requires minus five hat, but then it also comes down to the point where it's like, if you're f fixed into doing this optimal rotation every single cycle, you just might get exposed to just getting slapped by the boss because you need to, in a real boss, you need to adapt on the fly your movement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But America is good at that. You can adapt on the fly. You have options. Yeah, you, you definitely have options, but it's extremely difficult to do it without like either inting your lives or inting your DPS. Like mm -hmm. it is, this class is like, like there, it is like way too difficult to like get remotely close to your W DPS on a real boss. Yeah, I agree. That's a that's a good point. Yeah, real. This is a perfect example of a class that uh, its real world performance is not the same as the dummy. Birds like, are yeah. close. The, the, the thing is, like, even Burst though the, fat, the yeah. even though like the short or collab burst is really strong, the issue is you because spirit is actually really strong. So you have to continue DPSing for a really long time. Like you just kind mm -hmm. of stop attacking after Arcala, your damage is going to be terrible. You need to keep it up for a long time to utilize spirits. Or else mm. you're just not going to do much damage. You're it's talking about the, the the three clones, right? Yeah, that, that should last a long time. Seconds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's lost like 90 seconds. So it's like it's really important to keep DPSing for a long time on this class. Like, and that's just like you just have to combo for a long time without a frame or the boss being bound, which can be done. Yeah. Is yeah. this a continuous class in solo? I think Arcala is probably too strong. No, the, your, 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 your burst is way too high on this class. Oh, okay. Interesting. Because I, I thought, like, Arcala is, like, it's condensed enough for you to fit it into continuous, right? It is. Yeah, but the, but the issue is just, like, it, because Arcala is strong, you just want to amplify it as much as possible, basically. Mm -hmm. Even though it does fit in continuous. Gotcha. Uh, how do, how do we feel on uh, Merc mobbing? I mean, it's gonna be a lot it, better it, next patch. That, that, that that's what I know. Yeah. Really? I mean, is is this not one of those classes that like it's another mobber that oh, requires effort? Yeah, they they like made the hitbox of an in little like giga right or something. Yeah. Also, I don't yeah. think you have to be in the air for the leap tornado anymore. Yeah, I think that, <laughs> I think right now the class is a little annoying to mob, but. Like, I think you can, so ever since Ignition, where they, like, doubled the hitbox on every skill, the class can get mm -hmm. pretty high kill rates now. But it's just, I mean, I guess it's similar to Arc, where it's, it just takes a lot of movement to actually clear the map, which is uh, just annoying compared to what mm -hmm. some other classes can do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Freud's class, too. That's a whole other thing we talked about as well. Freud's like not, not good for progging. Can uh, add another annoyance. It's definitely not tier three, guys. Come on. I'm like, thinking yeah, I think it, it adds it, it adds some light support, which is pretty nice. Yeah, like, uh, giving yeah, it gives some of ID, some damage percent. It gives you untouchable Touch as cancel. well. So it's it's like I think it's it's like um, it's overall pretty like a pretty solid class. It's just. Mobbing is annoying, and uh, the difficulty of executing in bosses is pretty high. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's like top of tier two then? I mean, somewhere I, I don't know. I uh, I'd be okay. I was with gonna say, bottom, I was bottom, bottom of tier, tier one. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I was thinking high. more tier one. I think the party yeah. bot par party burst like its burst in a party is high enough to 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 be in tier one. But the issue is just like executing on this class and getting like actual high damage is so difficult. And you and could always just hurricane and get a high percentage yeah, I mean, of your damage. Well, I mean, not not really though, because like the thing is, like on off burst, the hurricane is really good. Uh -huh. But when spirits is active, it's really really important to combo. Like when spirits yeah. is active, comboing just clears hurricane in strength. It's not close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. I'm okay. okay with putting in one. I think if if this is one of those classes, definitely where like it might be hard at first, but if you really really like devote yourself to it, you get rewarded a lot. Mm -hmm. Like high like, I mean, I think a lot, a lot of the difficulties adapting to the boss patterns can be way too hard sometimes. Like that's that's the so the adaptability problem is the only reason why it's below Shatterer, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I feel like if if this class could somehow pull its dummy DPS on every boss, it'd be way higher. But the reality is nobody can get even close to that. 
Okay. Yeah. Also, I think in general, there's like some classes, like some some like more simple classes. There's more about like you just know how to play your class, and and there are are other classes you. Every single boss you play differently, and you just have to learn how how to play differently in every single boss. And Merc is one of them. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, I'm okay with this. Yeah, I'm okay with this. All right, what what can we talk about? A warrior. Yeah. Um, Dark Knight. Sure, Dark Knight. <laughs> I might say something that's gonna trigger you, bro. Isn't this just better DB? <laughs> their 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 play styles are very similar. Where you have these low cooldown skills, you spam. You have a key down as your main burst, and the classes have good utility. Life so, like, steal. Technically, technically speaking, kit wise, they they play very similarly. Mm -hmm. Um. I think this is one of the better classes to pro oh one of the yeah. slightly is... advantage classes to prog involved with. Oh yeah, for, for sure. For, for sure. Survival survivability wise, this class is nuts. But like I mean so damage is also usually a concern for your progging bosses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This class's damage is I mean it's not like bad, but it's not it's not particularly impressive either. So just this because of yeah, survivability is not the only thing that matters. Probably. This is why Miha and DB had a kid. <laughs> I guess. Wait a minute. I don't actually. I don't. Yeah, I don't know if it's better or worse than DB because. I think their damage is probably a little bit higher than DB if I had to guess, but I am not that. Because what, what I'm thinking about the scenarios of like okay. C callouts, right? Like, mm hmm. Is the Dark Knight really doing more than DB during that? I'm not actually sure. Well, I mean, no, 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 like, no. like, for example, so Dark Knight, I mean, they just, so they can't, like, they can't, well, I guess they, I guess they kind of can, but they, they don't wouldn't want to. It's like, they could, they, they can't, like, block arrows super freely as well as you can, but they can, for example, during test, they can do, they can just block every single arrow during test, which mm -hmm. is, um, nice, but I mean, that's pretty niche, so I wouldn't consider that, like, a big deal. Just overall, I think that the class is like, like, pa like Pact is really nice for like soul survivability and all, but like the class's damage is a little lacking. Is the I mean that's the reason that they have full damage. Yeah, no, it's for sure. Like I think that KMS is definitely tuned to that. Like this class is super easy to play because Pact makes yeah. it that you just like never I... die out of bosses. But then mm -hmm. as a result of that, they they made the damage kind yeah, of I don't... bad. I think it's a it's an active choice that I made. They, they they actually try to avoid give this class too 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 much like high, like damage. Yeah, for sure. No, this class is like it's just I I think that like utility is nice, but <laughs> no amount like the damage is too low to sort of give it a high rate. Like I, I would put it maybe... interesting. Oh, okay. sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say I would put it like slightly above like DB and Mihal because my impression is that it does like a bit more damage than them. And as we already talked, about, their play styles are very similar, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not, not not really any further than that because the class's damage is Yo, not good they, enough to justify it. They give thirty five attack to the party, dude. That's true. That's that's more than DB. I, I think it gives crit rate too, or something. What the fuck? Um, crit rate. What about everybody? Um, even, I mean. Even if it did, okay, crit is useless. Even if it did give crit is, it's, it's yeah. useless. Well, crit damage for Vicious Shot, Hyper Body for well, Kana. But, but did you guys know that Gungir does extra damage the more H, like, it scales off your HP? Yeah. I, I knew that, but I don't, actually know how the, I, I don't actually know how the formula works. I've always just assumed it's basically useless. It, it, it is basically useless. Like, oh, HP from, build. Well, from, from what Kobe was talking about his stream, it, it's pretty much useless. I see. <laughs> that's pretty funny though. That's so random, but yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, uh, yeah, this, I mean, I mean, that, I, I'm pretty sure middle of the pack, like right in the middle of the pack, is what the the devs wanted to balance this class around, anyways. So. Yeah, I think that's. I agree with that assessment. It has. Uh, its mommy is good enough too. It's also a cooldown hat class, by the way. It's important to mention. It's a, it's a CD skip class too. 
Is that oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, the be the the yeah, yeah. I, I, I remember. Still, like, you can I, see I, was, I was asking Kobe like whether he he's gonna go uh with, with the uh, uh cooldown skip with the mastery. Oh, this is new with the new mastery it becomes cooldown skip. I see. No, I I've heard Dark Knights go C skip even before this new mastery got introduced. Interesting. I oh, that, that I didn't know. I I've only start picking about never, it because I've, of the. Yeah, I've never heard about it until now. Maybe it's like a rank server thing because you have like the extra seven and a half cooldown skip from Monster Life. But yeah, yeah, yeah I'm fine putting it like just I'm right fine on, like just right on top of DB. Yeah. Sure. It probably like flip flops around around a lot. We're just like yeah. I, I'm pretty sure depending on how 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 you are, what's that skill called? Like the the death goddess or whatever. Like whether that because that that thing is also kind of backloaded. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Backloaded burst is kind of annoying, but I think in the current meta of bosses, backloaded burst is not too bad. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right now it's not bad. Anymore, but stuff. sometimes <laughs> sometimes you will still be in a situation where you, where you you just have to detonate it like early. Yeah, P two culling it sucks. Yeah, P two culling it kind of sucks, but P two culling is not that difficult to one burst nowadays. Yeah. Damn. Okay, what next? Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. How about we do another main? Yeah, not sure. Yeah. Ayato. Ayato. Fuck, dude. Yeah. Hmm. I think I this mean... class is, uh, is kind of insane. I think that it's uh, <laughs> it's I think it's the best. Well, I guess this one's not super relevant, but I think it's the best Culver class in the game. <laughs> I think it needs to be nerfed. Yep. <laughs> okay, I think I mean, Hydro is Culver actually is called, Culver is kind of whatever. Insane. But it, it does have a Culver. I think Hydro is insane. I think this class is super strong, but. People don't fucking believe me for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know if yeah, Hui's not doing a good. I don't know if Hui's not doing a good job, or Gintoki's not doing a good job, or even you, Lawrence. I don't know what you're doing on your Hayato, who's stronger than like fucking every other Hayato too, by the way. Uh, that's um, I barely play it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I don't, yeah, I, mean, I, don't I know. This, but like, this, this class is like so. In terms of raw damage, I think that it is like. One of the strongest classes in the game in terms of raw damage. <laughs> yep. Like it's the, the new age buffs were kind of yo, yo, way, way, like way too crazy, crazy for this class. Bro. That was like, way overboard. Yeah. So I think I think for for solo bossing, this is definitely up there as like one of the best classes in the game. I think that there are a decent number of weaknesses to, to the class though. So one pretty big weakness is the sword stacks timing out. I think that yeah. this is like like so like literally for Kala's test there's nothing you can do about it your stacks are strong you you Same have to prey on lagging out that's yeah, the only way so, you have yeah to lag so out. that's so that one is like that one's pretty frustrating because it's literally not even up to you you just forced to gimp your burst because you lose all your stacks for Kala's and slime i think that this is also really annoying for other bosses where like it's like we talked about where like around they have to leave the boss hp high so they can like stack up their combo and mm -hmm. the same shit applies to hyano where like Let's say you just bursted P1 Kalos. You need mm -hmm. to fucking leave the HP a little high so that Hayato can keep up their stacks before you phase the P2. And like there are other bosses that are the same with this. So I think mm -hmm. that this is like a really big annoyance, especially for the fact that in some situations you're literally just forced to drop your stacks. There's nothing you can do about it. Um, I'll give you uh, another anecdote on that though. So yes, you do have to keep up your stacks, which is annoying. But in a situation like Saren's Dawn phase, if the Hayato is holding, it's a huge advantage, bro. Because you could yeah. chunk that shield like almost down to nothing. Just throughout yeah, that phase. And, yeah, no, I mean I think that in Saren it's fine. There's no there's no major concerns there. But it's just like it's really annoying in Kalos, which is one of the most important bosses right now. Yeah. So that's definitely right. a big downgrade. Um I think that they 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 are backloaded burst, but as we mm -hmm. already talked about, that's like not it's like a little annoying, but it's not that bad in the current meta. Bosses are just mm -hmm. down forever, and so you can pretty easily get off your stuff still. Um, so the class is two minutes, but it's actually not that big of a con to play at three minute pace. Yep. Because right. uh, it, it, for, for whatever reason, Nexon made Zonko 90 second cooldown, <laughs> which makes it that Hayato is actually quite good at playing at three minute pace because they have a mini burst with Zonko, and Zonko fucking chunks really hard. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's like. 
The cost Even with Sakunos too. You could have it for like every three minute burst. Like it lines yeah. up better. Yeah, so the, the class doesn't really struggle in party bossing. Like even though it's backloaded, the actual burst is extremely condensed. So that's nice. Um, if you're good at timing Sakuno and stuff, and then it's like just not a, a complete non-issue that it's backloaded. Um, well, well, what was I going to say? And like the class's off burst is incredible, but the the buff to instant slice in Shinsoku makes it that you just you kind of pump off burst DPS really hard. Mm -hmm. And well, actually, here's another important part: the class's utility is absurd with the mm -hmm. light, the crazy life steal, absurd mobility. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like this, uh, basically all the problems for this class come down to fucking sword stacks. That's like literally the only thing that's annoying about this class. Yeah. Yeah. Here, here's uh, here's another thing about Hayato, is um, if you get cooldown hat on this class, it's actually so fucking crazy. It's not just the convenience of having instant slice up for every single wave, which is crazy. You can make insane rates on this class with no yeah. effort. Um, instant slice itself does such a stupid amount of damage that the cooldown, uh, the cooldown like versus strength, like the cooldown just gives you so much more damage if you're spamming that shit off cooldown. It, it's wild. Instant slice is like a big chunking skill nowadays. Same with Shinsoku, it goes down to like like ten seconds. Like it's it's wild. Yeah, actually, something that was really nice about the Shinsoku damage change, or sorry, not Shinsoku, instant slice damage change. So the the way how instant slice works is that all three instances of damage are computed separately. So, like, what happens is that if there's enough mobs on the map, instant slice can, and, and you're one-shotting with each part of damage, instant slice can kill way more than 15 mobs. So, yeah. like, for example, like, if there's 30 mobs on your map and you one-shot with instant slice, it can kill all 30 of them. Mm -hmm. So that's what makes Midas 4 hat really effective for hat mobbing, because you can just wipe, like, literally 30 mobs with one press every single mob wave. So this class, mm -hmm. this, this class mobbing is, like, absolutely insane, and... It was it, it, like previously it was pretty hard to one shot with one part of the instant slice damage, but now that they triple the damage, it's really easy to one shot with it. So it's it's super easy to just press it and it literally wipes thirty mobs at once. There's um there's another thing about Hydra that's important is its origin skill. So Jin Quick Draw is insanely strong and it gives you ten FD within the activation. Uh, also, every single activation of Jin Quick Draw is an iframe, so you literally cannot mess up your burst on it. Plus, it keeps you in the air for some reason. Like if you if you just hold down Jin Quick Draw, it freezes you mid air. So something I like Damian Balls or something, it, it's just irrelevant. But yeah, I think it's Jin because Quick Draw is really hard. Presses, or, sorry, I was, I was gonna oh, say no. yeah, I think it's Go because ahead, the, the individual presses they're like coded to be the same as like an initial origin cast. But like the initial origin cast holds you in the air and iframes you. So like each of the mini cast is coded the same way so that's why it holds you in the air and iframes you i think that's probably what's going on yeah there's um Jin quick draw you're right you're right it probably is that Jin quick draw though to get off your final burst is very hard like you you need to like have perfect timing on all of your skills to do your burst optimally which a lot of people i've seen they don't do that like they just Activate their Jin Quick Draw, then just hold it down. When you need to activate it, cancel your Shusano, unload all your energy, Zonko, cancel Zonko, unload all your energy, and Jin Quick Draw, all within 10 seconds, all within either your Continuous or your Roar. And on top of that, you can actually um, use your Macro Phantom Blade in the middle of Jin Quick Draw's animation to unload your energy. While I think the issue it. is you don't have the 10 final damage during the animation. So it's... um. It, yeah. Yeah. So I think in practice, it, like from my experience, it's literally not possible to unload all of your Phantom Blade stacks in the final damage window. You just don't have enough time. But uh, yeah. You can you can unload most of them, but the ones toward the end you cannot unload. Yeah, them. you just. That's yeah, why you, you have just, to uh, macro. Yeah, you, in just, the yeah, end, you just have to end one. use it during the end animation. But Play I think you know, yeah, if you're if you okay, that's true. In literally every other version of Maple Story, you can unload. Infinite yeah, it's so annoying. Sex instant, instantly, it's kind of annoying that GMS is handicapped. But yeah. um yeah, overall, this class is crazy. It's definitely up there for like one of the strongest classes in the game. I agree. The only I feel like this always happens with Hado, it, it, where it doesn't get like balanced hands for like three years, and then when it does, yeah. it, it just like automatically becomes one of the best class for for, the, for like the, the first. The, the thing with that though, Phil, is that just because of the nature of six job, we're always gonna get some sort of release. Like we're always gonna get some sort of buff. It's not gonna be like previously where Hado got no changes for like two years straight. We're always gonna get something. We're always gonna get some mastery, some new skill. 
So I That's don't think true. Heidel was going to fall off anytime soon. Um, the only downsides to this class, in my opinion, the stacking is one thing, obviously, like whether you're doing slime or Kalos, it's really fucking annoying. Um, is that first of all, it's non KMS, which is just inherently inferior. And then the second thing is, um, uh, it's really hard to master for a lot of people. Like they're going to play it and it's going to be really clunky and they're going to hate it. So I think that the, the one saving grace for that is that like, the classes kit is almost a bit excessive where you can if you only use like some very basic movement combos you it's really not a big deal like you yeah. don't need to know you need, you don't need to know all the fancy cancels and stuff like you can just dodge shit by only using very basic tools like that's what all the other classes in the game do so yeah. it's not it's not like i think that the burst execution is pretty tricky especially with the origin right now like we talked about but overall like i don't think the difficulty of the class really brings it down that much like you really don't need to be using all the tools for the class to do fine yeah it has very low support too that's the other thing this is a very selfish class percent boss, boss bro Sudden yeah i mean 20 percent boss yeah. like yeah i mean i guess but like come on it's, it's better than like nothing <laughs> bro I, i'm gonna be honest i don't even use it bro fuck the party dude to this day i i don't even know how long the sun strike debuff lasts it's 30 seconds and the, the, the worst part is that it has no debuff icon, so you don't even know when it, it drops. It does, it does. No, it's a skull. Oh, does it? It does. Yeah. Oh, yeah. really? Oh, Locked it skull. Sorry, I just it's confused like it with skull. the other skull from the higher yeah. man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's, there's like, also a, black skull there's well. a bunch of skulls, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Personally, I think it's tier zero, but, like, I'm willing to settle tier one. I think that it would be, like, uh... Wait, 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 wait. hold on, hold on. I don't I think that tier zero. zero was reserved for like must have. I, I think I, I would not put yeah. at tier zero. <laughs> I would I would put it at like near the top of tier one, like maybe right below Dawn Warrior. I agree. This class, is, this class is crazy. I, I agree. I think Heido is probably. crazy, but this is the only time you're gonna ever get me to admit that. I will. I talk shit about this shit every day. Don't play non KMS guys. Don't be baited. Do not play non KMS. <laughs> Tier zero is crazy. <laughs> Yo, Hyro is bad strong, bro. Like you, you. I'm telling you, this shit is crazy right now, dude. When I, I press Zonko like, and and all the health is gone, I'm like, what the fuck did they do to this skill? <laughs> like, but I, it's crazy. I, I don't think it's like a must-have class though. Like it. No, sure, it's I mean, I'm trolling. I mean, I I'm trolling. Yeah, I bro, think, I'm trolling. No, I don't think anyone actually is tier zero. Tier zero. It's not tier zero. I'm trolling. I think I think if you want somebody to pump numbers, Hayato is one of the best options. Straight up. Like if you want a damage in your party, you, you could pick a Hayato. Unless they're shit. That's the thing. Like <laughs> but that's true for any class. You, like if any class. Yeah, but Hayato especially though. Like imagine a Hayato dropping stacks and fucking not fucking like using shit at peak Sakunos, like yo. I can't. That's true. The execution is quite a bit harder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't no, know. not I me, like... guys. What the fuck? I don't make mistakes on this class. <laughs> there's, there's, there's a lot to gamble on when you are choosing between <laughs> Hayato and like some other class. Yo, but if you hit, you hit big though. Nah, like one patch in your class is just broken for a while. Yo, <laughs> like, I'm a, okay. Breaks. Uh, hot, hot take. I think Nexon's been doing way better than that. I, I think that's a thing oh, of the sure. past. To be honest. No, no, no. Here's why it's been doing better. It's because Maple C gets all the bugs, and then by the time we get it, it's fixed. <laughs> you, you know, yeah. Speaking of bugs, like how how yeah, does not, Shade get bugged so often? <laughs> Dude, wait, wait. But I'm not I'm not kidding. Maple C, like ev literally every single patch, something is broken about the Sengoku classes. Like not, yeah. I'm not even exaggerating. And then, but as a result of that, we get the nice bug free patch because we get it later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out to Maple C, bro. Respect. Okay, but honestly. They get to unload Phantom Blade, so like, I think it's a fair trade. <laughs> Unloading Phantom Blade, unironically, is so strong. It's not even just it's about a, using a, your energy. It does a lot of damage. Yeah, right now, it's a pretty big damage boost if you can unload instantly because of the origin. You just have too much energy. Mm-hmm. Has anyone, like, cooked and tried to see if they could bypass that? <laughs> no, it's just not I've never tried. GMS. I've never there's tried. Just some, there's just some limitation in GMS that prevents you from doing it. Yeah, but the thing with Hado's Origin is you want that 10 second that 10 second final damage buff. Like that's very strong.
All right. I'm happy with this. Um, how about we talk about Hero? Okay. Mobbing is ass. The mobbing is... Oh, I mean, it's 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 not the worst now. They made Rage because, Blow so much bigger. Yeah, Ra Raging Blow is pretty big now. Obviously, this this class is fucking easy to one-shot with Fountain. <laughs> um, the, the one con is, for some reason... Like burning soul blade is a nice summon, but it like only has like seventy five percent uptime. That's kind of ass. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, in general, this class's mobbing is like I mean, it's it's better. It's it's better than it has been before, but it's not it's not particularly impressive. Um, I think one thing that's kind of relevant is this class, like objectively speaking, got a pretty bad six job. Well, I guess I guess maybe bad I don't know if it's is, bad. It's just maybe normal. bad is put bad is maybe putting it too 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 poorly. But basically, like so they're they're still missing a decent chunk of damage that's not boosted with um mm -hmm. like they're missing final attack and cry Valhalla, which form a decent percentage of damage. And like the hero origin right now is actually quite bad. Where the the animation takes forever and it damage caps really easily. So yeah, those two combined caps make it instantly. Up, the the origin the hero origin is pretty bad right now. Um obviously the damage cap issue gets um relieved the dreamer, but for now the hero origin is like well one of the one of the worst ones. Mm -hmm. And um but yeah this 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 but like obviously before six drop even came out, hero is extremely strong. So basically like just like downgraded a little bit because I think their six job is like kind of kind of on the poor side. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. But that's keep in mind, you're, he's talking about end game. Like throughout mo a lot of people's hero like playthrough, like their origin is just gonna be crazy when it doesn't cap. I mean, but the the, the the issue is that even if it doesn't cap, it's still kind of just like not that great of an origin because the the current the current issue is that like you press your origin, and by the time your origin's done, half your combo instinct is over. Like that's just yeah like, yeah it's like true. there's just half of your whole like, couple of things like if you if you compare well, that sure like lags a, to another ten seconds anyways uh, yeah, yeah I guess that's true but um <laughs> they were realistically seeing like when you compare like hero like when they do their like burst ba whether it's like with origin or without origin it's only like a twenty percent difference and um I think that that's that's definitely on the lower end so just objectively speaking their origin just isn't that good. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, obviously, like, before Six Job even came out, this was, like, one of the strongest classes. So it's mm -hmm. just, like, it just fell a lot because of Six Job, but it's still a decent performer. Yeah. I'm with you, bro. I'm with you. I don't think anybody could lock in Hero and really complain that much, to be honest with you. Yeah, I mean, it's still, it's still fine. It's just not as OP as it used to be. You know what I thought of? Maybe we should consider the communities for each class, bro. Because heroes really fucking piss me off, bro. Okay. <laughs> Dang, got like, if you main hero, hero you're just going to be surrounded with, jab. like, fucking delusional ass fucking players. I'm not going to lie, Demon Slayer is too low key. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that I think about it, I think every single one of our main tiers. I don't know, bro. Might have some copium communities. I don't think I don't think any community is more delusional than than Night Lord. Night Lord bro, is you're, definitely. You're part of the problem. No, I think I think that well, it's uh, Night Lord is definitely the class that complains them. Actually, I guess Kana is the one who actually. I think Kana is right now it's number but, one. But but but, but <laughs> Night, Night Lord is definitely the class that complains the second loss. <laughs> Oh, it's funny, bro. Like I'm not, I'm not saying that complaining is justified or not, but the end at the end of the day, the night night lords are definitely the ones who complain the second most. <laughs> True. Fuck your origin skill, bro. You deserve that shit to be ass. So we're, well, we're playing hero though. All right. Yeah, all right. So I, I, would, I, I, so I would, I would I think put it's hero tier two. probably the. No, I think that it's too still too good to be tier two because really, I was like, thinking like uh, top of tier two. Well, I mean, I, I no, guess I was thinking no. the bottom of tier one, which is, I guess, kind of equivalent. But it's just like okay. the thing is that the, the class is the class is still like carried by its strong fifth job. 
Like their their burst is still quite condensed and quite solid. But they also have a problems. really strong iframe. I don't know. World Reaver is not that good. <laughs> you don't think so? Short cooldown iframe. I think that the issue is Doesn't that displace um, you. it's uh it, it's um like the actual duration of the iframe is pretty short, and you also get forcefully flash banged. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> and, uh, Bro, but these heroes build like tolerance, you know. <laughs> But yeah, also the the, the 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 animation lock on Water River is like almost as long as the iframe. So it's uh That's I mean, true, the animation lock is annoying. Obviously it's nice that it's low cooldown, but it, it's not actually that good of an iframe. It's just mm -hmm. it's just decent. Yeah, Hado has to deal with insta slice flashbang every ten seconds, bro. So true. And also Falcon Honor makes your screen dark for some reason. <laughs> You guys are just gonna have de uh, developing eye problems at a rapid rate. You think you're hundred strike like ten demons. times and your skill, your screen like freaks out. But yeah, I think it's probably bottom of tier one. Like it's like or top. I'm of okay tier with two, that. Kind of equivalent. Yeah, I'm okay with that. That's fine. Hero is really strong. Okay, tell me, you pick one. I think it's bottom or it's it's tier one. Somewhere. Oh, whoa, we're picking a class, my bad. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, yeah. No, it's all good. Uh, shade. Doesn't this Yo. shit do, like, no damage? So I, 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 I'm... One of my sort of second mains is Shade. So I think that, like... So before six job, the class was, like... Uh, definitely pretty low damage. But I think six job has been pretty nice to Shade for a lot of reasons. So one thing that's actually really unique... Is that shade is the only support that will give you more damage if you're hitting damage cap because of split mm -hmm. you have to do more lines so that's actually a really unique part of shot shade where in the end game people are hitting damage cap on their origins so shade is the only support that will boost your damage at that point so that's um and even outside of this damage cap thing shade support is still quite good so like overall like shade support is very good in the current meta um, also, six, Shade's six job has been quite good. So, like, uh, obviously there's the big issue where their their spin hasn't been boosted yet. Mm -hmm. But they have they have some pretty nice stuff otherwise where their origin skill is, like, really crazy strong. It does mm -hmm. an absolutely insane amount of damage. And the fact that it turns your spin into a summon makes it even stronger. Um, there's also the fact that... They're, the way how the spirit flow enhancement works is actually really interesting. So it, instead of boosting the damage of the spin like a lot of shades would have liked, it does this unique thing where it increases duration from 60 seconds per base to 90 seconds at max. Mm -hmm. So this, this this accomplishes a couple things. So in solo bossing, it makes it that you get spirit flow for your mini burst, which is actually a pretty sizable damage increase by having it active. But then the, the the real special part about the boost is in party bossing. So like normally most two minute classes get handicapped in party bossing because mm -hmm. they are hold their cooldowns. But actually the really interesting about the spirit flow enhancement is you can pop it off cooldown and you'll still have it up for all the three minute bursts. Mm. So that that's actually sense, really yeah. so that's actually a really crazy thing where the class can play at three minute cadence but still burst three times every six minutes so that's actually really crazy how that works out that way because you can it, it, it makes it that like the class doesn't really lose out that much in party bossing like you can still spin three times every three uh every six minutes um of course one of the spins won't get penny well actually there, there's a kind of an edge case where if you uh if you're um if you're super good about your burst times you can actually get all three spins in penny but it's a little unrealistic so that's like kind of a quarter case, but um, mm -hmm. yeah, just like overall, like I think this class got a like it, its current six job, despite spin not being boosted, is really good. And there's the this is this is I guess in the future, but like in Dreamer, Shade goes so hard. Like the yeah. spin mastery, the spin mastery core is really good. It boosts the damage a crazy amount, and it also condenses the key down, which is really crazy uh this is the shit that jay was wishing dual blade got but <laughs> um and it's it's also they revamped the like the critical weakness thing where like instead of doing more damage when the boss is below half hp you just get this permanent damage buff oh yeah 
So I think that like legitimately Shade becomes like one of the best classes in the game in Dreamer. Obviously that's the future. But I think that like because of how strong Shade gets in Dreamer, it's kind of but it's pretty important to consider. Like I think that um KMS players were getting their covert increased by like 40% from Dreamer, which is uh kind of insane. Yeah. What's the mobbing like though? I actually uh, don't the know what so the, the mobbing on Shade is is pretty active. Like, I mean, basically, like, the, the style is you, like, true spirit claw to, like, FMA 1 section, and then you just jump around using Bomb Punch. So it's mm -hmm. it's pretty active. Like, you need to move around a shitload. But the, the overall rates you get are fine. Like, they've buffed Bomb Punch, like, 12 times in the past. So now it's actually <laughs> yeah. a pretty good skill. It used to be so bad. But the current yeah. state of Bomb Punch is fine. But, yeah, overall, this class is, like, it's, yeah, I don't know, like, the I think the bossing is, like, decent. The support is definitely up there as one of the strongest. Um, and uh, mobbing is kind of annoying, but then in Dreamer, this class goes super hard. I guess also there's one last thing, the, the utility on this class is crazy. Where... Uh, that's what I was gonna, that's what I was gonna ask you about. How do you feel about this class's, like, utility, survivability, and uh, yeah. how that portrays to, like... A new player wanting to play it as well too yeah not so this, just end game class, yeah so this class is really nice because so backstep being able to animation cancel anything is makes mm -hmm. it that you never have this animation lock issue like you can you can fuck up your positioning but then you can instantly correct it by using backstep anytime you want um obviously you can block statuses with like the the spirit i don't even remember what the fox spirits or whatever the hell the skill name is the goldfishes yeah the thing is that yeah. like, so even though you have to like manually pocket sometimes, you like automatically get it sometimes by, I think it's RNG. I'm actually not sure how this is. Spirit Ward, yeah. But you, you you just sometimes randomly get it, and um, the the, the class has like massive life steal on like not the uptime isn't amazing, but like when you use Death Mark, you just full heal every time you attack basically. So, um, yeah, just in general, this class is. The utility is kind of insane. It's pretty easy to have like really, really good uptime and like because of the status blocking, even if you mess up and get hit by shit, you usually don't even get punished because you just block the status that you would have gotten hit by. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think uh maining a class that uh limits the amount of punishment you get is is very strong inherently. In any meta, in any case, in, in any uh point of the game that you're in. Just the fact that you can do what you need to do without being punished is is crazy value. Which is something we forgot to mention about Hayato too, by the way. I remember Nick was showing me that the in H Saren, oh in, in Extreme Saren, his uh his origin was forty percent of his entire BA in P two, like the entire P two. And yeah. Spirit Frenzy, his spirit frenzy, which is like not boosted, is is, is already twenty seven percent. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's, it's this class is like it goes really crazy in Dreamer, but even now, I think it's still pretty solid. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, I think this. I think it's e also easy to pick up as well. I don't think the the ma the mastery is that high. Well, yeah. Barring Freud's, the class is really easy to play. Yeah. So yeah. Anyone could just play it and perform I as well. Think this is the easiest Freud class to play. Uh... Yeah, I think that seems reasonable. It, it yeah. has the it has the best tools, and like it, it even has really good tools to help you keep Freud's. So mm -hmm. that's nice. Okay, where do you want to put it? Two, one. Uh, I would put it like at the bottom of one, just because like yeah, just because yeah, it has support. Well, yeah, because the, the support is good. I don't know, you could potentially bump it up further because you feel like this class is like the amount of damage it gains in Dreamer is absolutely absurd. Like it, mm -hmm. it literally one of the strongest classes in the game for a solo DPS. But um yeah, I mean I think that like near the bottom of tier one is fine. You can move it up if you value like the future buffs that it's gonna get, is like mm -hmm. the way I would think about it. Okay. I think that's that's important to mention. We can keep you here, it's fine. Okay. Let's talk about um Let's talk about Evan. Uh okay, so Evan from my knowledge 
Uh, you could play it like... You could play it like two ways. You could go the CD skip route, where it's like really hard to play, but it's strong, like stronger. Or you could go like non CD, CD skip, where it's still decent in difficulty, but not too hard. And you could still perform pretty well. This class also um, on a dummy actually is stronger with continuous rank. Um, but in reality, in real bossing situations, like you probably just always want to use Roar on this as well. Yeah, I mean, it's because this burst is pretty condensed, so continuous ring, you don't lose that much. And yeah, the class mm -hmm. off burst is so strong. But I think that whether or not you play with cooldown skip, this class is still incredibly difficult to play. Yep. Yeah. Like, like, there's the... Like, we're going from the easiest Freud's class to the hardest Freud's class. Like, this class is... The skill ceiling is absolutely insane on this class. Mm -hmm. Like, there's this one KMS reboot, Evan, that... Oh, is, yeah. Like, that guy is like, oh, I know what you're talking about. This guy is literally like the faker of Maple Story. Like he's so <laughs> good. <laughs> and he, he makes the he makes the class look completely unbalanced. And like the he, thing is this this class is so hard to play. The skill ceiling is insane. He's he's the same guy that sold spell traces to switch his hyperstat in the middle of yeah. P1 Black Major. Right? Bro, that guy is, he's like literally flexing when he's doing that. Like this guy <laughs> is it's 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 unreal how good he is at the game. And this class is just like the skill ceiling is crazy. Yeah. Um, they, Although, I mean, there's nothing really bad about it, to be honest. Like, skill stealing is not necessarily a bad thing. Like, it, it does everything. It, it pumps numbers, DPS burst, mobbing is great. Like, well, I just think the issue is... It even has support, no players, too. Almost no players will get, like, even close to that level of performance is the thing. Bro. Yeah, but you don't, you don't need to get to, to that level to do good, though. Well, but the thing is, like, even if, like, okay, let's say, like, hypothetically, you, you deal, like, 90% of the damage to that player, like... Like a ten percent damage difference is a pretty big deal nowadays in terms of yeah, like considering it is. Class. So that's why I think that it is pretty important. Where it's just it's just not realistic, and nobody like you're nobody's going to be playing at that level of play basically. Mm -hmm. Also, is this also, the KMS is the Origin and Master both pretty mediocre? Uh, from what I can tell, they're not amazing. I mean, I think the Origin is okay. The Mastery is like not boosting like the important stuff yet. Yeah. Obviously, in Dreamer, this gets fixed a bit. Um, the one thing that's nice, though, is that they're... Uh, I don't remember the name of the skill. It's like, the, the icon's like a rainbow circle. But like right now, it has like a 60-second cooldown, which is kind of inconvenient. But mm -hmm. the leveling it up in, in six job reduces the cooldown to like 40 seconds. Um, so having that up more often is like a pretty strong boost to your damage, actually, because it applies a final damage buff. So Is that the one where it has a dragon that, that breathes the fire? I That's think the so. combo. Yeah, you need to combo them together. But the like basically that that one boost is like carrying their six job right now. Or increasing the uptime on that is like actually so much damage gained. Hmm. Yeah, I think the mobbing is really good too, right? It it's, is. It, yeah. From what I've seen, like they can pull crazy kill rates in every map, but I've I, my impression is the effort is. Not that he's a cover tunnel class. No, no, I'm not, no, no. I'm, not, just... I'm not actually sure of this though. I don't know the... too much about Evan mobbing. Do you have Does a link to the KMS trains... reboot player? Uh, oh. I don't. I, I I don't. I can I can try to find it. His profile picture is like the the fucking. Do you remember that event about like the ants? And that shit is what his profile. Oh, the the strumming the guitar or banjo or whatever. It is. So the, yeah, that, that's his profile picture. Let me try to find it. Give me a second. I think every mobbing is like not that. Uh, for some maps, it's like you can just stand in one spot. I know this one of my Evan friends when they're at Tainted Trees Three in Carcion, they're literally in the center of the map. Oh, just, just, I, I they're the entire time. Like they got white room a couple times already. <laughs> that's that's how uh, lazy the mobbing can be. Yeah. Wait, their name literally has the name. An ant house in it. Ant house. Yeah, yeah use our ant house. This guy literally loves ants, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of someone. Yeah, this guy's. Uh, his Kalos solo Shut is like. Up. Actually mesmerizing, mesmerizing to watch. This guy is, like like I said, he's literally the faker of Maple Story. Like, he's, <laughs> it's unreal how good he is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Evan also gives uh, gives uh, mage support as well. That's true. It's good it's, for a mage comp. 
Yeah, if you're if you're there, Evan is like extremely good in like specialized mage parties. Where I don't you... like that at all, by the way. <laughs> I mean, I think it's I think it's kind of dumb. But I mean, I, I mean, it's next on designing the game. There's nothing we can do about Sun, it. Bro. Did, yeah. did, didn't but, they? But, but the I, I think Dark even... Knight. They they used to give like seventy attack, but then they nerfed it. But then they made it so that it works for magic attack as well. Now. Yeah, it's, it's very weird. weird. But yeah, I think that the, at the end of the day, like a uh, right now, like basically like a party of almost full mages is kind of the optimal comp, just because. Mm -hmm. And Kana only boost mages with part of always team. has been, bro. Always, so, has like, been. right now, like a, like, a pure mage comp is like crazy strong, and Evan is a very critical component of it. But yeah, I mean, that's 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 really niche. You you never see, I've I have never seen people build like an actual mage comp before because it's kind of hard to get the right players together. Mm hmm. I think this class. I think it's tier two at minimum. Yeah, and I would put it mm -hmm. somewhere in tier two. I think that the. I think it's tier two as well. I think the issue is that like normal players will not achieve close to the skill ceiling of this class. Yeah, no, that's the thing preventing us from putting it higher. It's just I too agree. damn hard to play well. Like if you're gonna main this class it's like you're not gonna hit that point most likely you, you gotta you're gonna play like good just good evan. evan that's it yeah dude like i know danny doesn't play like that not even close not even close <laughs> damn how come you're calling danny, him out danny ends my black page wrong every single moment. bro because yeah that's why <laughs> that's literally why <laughs> Every P4 run that I had, he he somehow said he he he, he missed his, his his entire burst, at least once per How run. You miss your burst in P4? It's impossible. You probably just die in the middle because you got curse swapped. <laughs> Bro, Danny doesn't even use Dragon Master. Like, I don't know. Whatever. Okay, I'm okay with tier two, but where in tier two? Like I think it's pretty, it's pretty good. Personally, near like, the, I don't think it's probably, at the bottom. Probably on the, the higher end of tier two, somewhere there. Okay, we'll put it next to Aron. That's fine. Damn the two Freud's classes. Yo, Freud's is OP. If you really think about it. one, two, three, four, all these Freud's classes are like tier two or higher. Wait, wait till we get to Lumi. Yeah, I was just thinking. <laughs> <that. laughs> then it's gonna be two zero. <laughs> Um, Will they? Is there ever going to be a boss that's relevant, or where it makes like DPM classes actually relevant? I mean, I think the like calling is uh, calling is actually a pretty good boss where DPM is pretty important. True, because yeah, you, you, people are literally separated. By the way, I haven't done calling before, and you guys have, and I'm gonna start doing that soon. Which room should I go? Is Hayato? Done, done, for sure. Uh, Okay. Yeah, the hardest, the oh, hardest room. That's that's definitely like what how to. Uh, okay, it, so you're class that there is an advantage to enough to 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 be able to handle handle the dog. You could go the dog. Your your ride blade literally so, outranges the boss, so you don't. Yeah, that, that's the funniest part. Even, you shouldn't even be getting hit if you're positioning properly. I see. Okay. That's good to know. Thank you. Um. Let's also, talk aren't you the about... highest damage in the party? I am actually, yes. And the strongest hide yeah. on the whole server. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, Frieza. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh I had to uh, I had to dodge we and run to a different server, bro. Uh let's talk about Buck. Phil plays Buck. You have a super strong Buck actually. Um, I mean, um, your buck does extreme bosses. I don't want really? to say it. I, 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 I think it's one of the strongest solo bosses in the game right now. Yeah, I think that it's the, the classes like total damage output is pretty crazy. I think that there is like some minor weaknesses where obviously 
the burst is I mean it's the they have a they have a pretty strong condensed burst, but then after that it's not mm -hmm. a, it, like it, it ends pretty quickly basically. And then from there it's just very high DPM, which is so it does fall off a little bit in, in party bossing as a result. I also think that the um this is something that like I've noticed is like kind of annoying on Buck is that the class has pretty low range. Mm -hmm. Where like Octo Punch, I guess it's fixed a little bit by Mastery Core, but like Lord of the Deep, they have pretty low range, which can be annoying. Like if you're like cheesing calling P3, it's like a pretty major detriment. Yeah. But, like, even even in like lower tier bosses, it's like kind of annoying where like maybe there's some like cancer patterns right on top of the boss. So you have to move off and then you like lose a lot of damage compared to class with higher range. Like in like getting zoned from range is like really common in extreme Saren, for example. So where you just like when Saren does radials, you just have to back off a lot of the times. So mm -hmm. so the, the lack of range is definitely something that makes it that like like it doesn't matter how good the class's mobility tools are, your uptime will just suffer as a result of that in real bosses. And I um, mean Yeah, that, that comes with the fact that the class you, you just have to stay on top of the boss and sometimes you you just can't stay on top of the boss. Yeah, like the just like literally there's some pattern that prevents you from standing on top of it. Um, also something that's like, this one's not really too much of a con, but it's something kind of interesting where like, historically Buck has been this like really straightforward class to play. You just like stand on the boss and press Octo Punch. You're not really mm -hmm. doing too much. But the, the new Mastery Core is kind of interesting where it's like, uh, when you proc like the big Sea Serpent, you get your Super Octo Punch, which does like appreciably more damage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty annoying to like, you need to like make sure you it's you like start bursting at the right number of stacks or else you lose like a pretty significant amount of damage by not having your super octo punch prepped. So it's like, I have three stack before I go into the boss. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I, all things considered, it's not like that difficult, but like it, it is like one thing where like the class used to be like completely brain dead, but now it actually has like a tiny bit of complexity in getting your sea serpent stacks right. Mm -hmm. Wait, before as in like before six job? Yeah, before yeah, six job. Like, like before six job, you just fucking whack the boss. You don't have to think about anything. But now it's like when you when you're about to start bursting, you need to like look at how many sea serpent stacks you have and make sure it's the right amount, or else you're actually gonna lose like a lot of damage during your burst. Yeah. And also, um, another thing that adds to the brain dead of the class is ever since they added a defense form, there's like so much room for error on this shit. Like it's well, crazy. Not not, not yeah, but, yeah, but I don't, yeah, I, I think that I, I, I agree, but it's still it's still relevant though. Like it's not a useless thing to the class. Yeah, it's 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 very nice in certain bosses. Like, oh. you, yeah, like it, like in a boss where the primary issue is HP damage is really nice, but in a boss where most of the concern is status effects, is not very good. So like mm -hmm. if you take like for example like Hard Lotus, defensive form is not very good because literally anything you get hit by will CC you basically. So defensive form is like really bad there, but yeah, obviously it just varies from boss to boss on how good it is. So it's pog and slime. I get, I get yeah. slime. Yeah. I'm alive. Yeah, in, in in slime, there's like there's uh, your your primary concern is HP damage. So defensive form is really good there. But yeah, oh, I mean, slime just, is really good in, in oh, yeah, uh, yeah. pog is really good in slime. It just yeah, it just depends on the nature of the boss on how good defensive form is, and obviously yeah, I think that damage uptime is like. If it's like, say, for example, like, yeah, Slime or Lotus, where you can just hit it the whole time, Buck is really good. But then in bosses where uptime suffers, like, whether it be, I don't know, say, um, uh, Kalos or like, uh, like Calling P2 or whatnot, then the class definitely falls a lot because of just like, it relies on sticking at the boss the whole time and it's, its burst is not that good. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. the class is not good in calling. Oh, no, not 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 good in 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 Saren. Yeah, Sar Saren, you have major range issues. Is a really big deal for Buck. Yeah. When Saren's in the corner and you shoot your balls at her, um, do you get the full ball damage? Like you're in the corner and you're in the corner and she's in the corner, like in noon, noon burst. If you stand on top of her, like right yeah. on top of her, mm -hmm. I, I don't think so. But okay. I, I've not beat myself. But I, I usually, whenever I burst, I try to stand like one character distance away from the boss. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I know the balls have a max amount of hits. I know, but like I'm, I'm, I'm saying like 
do do you get the max amount of hits? Like that that's my question. Because when you're on top of her, like she's she's not a huge hitbox, so I I feel like when I like I mean I don't I don't run Saren on my buck, but like when I run like Damien or Lotus, if I'm directly on top of the boss, I definitely don't get max hits. Oh, those so, two mm -hmm. definitely can. Those are those are yeah. small yeah. size bosses. Yeah, my point is Saren's hitbox is not like not that different compared to those bosses. So I just yeah. it's the same story. That's what I was that's yeah. the point I That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I mean, okay, let's talk about Bucks mobbing. So Bucks mobbing, I have two I have two opinions on mm. it, right? Whether you're Lord of the Deep one shots or doesn't. If a one shot, it's so easy and so brain dead and and fun and happy. But if it doesn't, all of a sudden it's a lot more effort and yeah, one, not one that shotting, nice. Yeah, one shotting with Lord Deep and Grandis is actually very difficult. Exactly. Very, very. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I'm exactly. actually curious if there's any Bucks who are just hard rushing their Lord of the Deep to make their mobbing quality of life better. <laughs> right now, uh. As of right now, there's one map in, I think it's Passage 8 in, in Ontario, which is a portal map. You literally just press up. You you you, you turn on your Lord of Deep, you press up. You just hold down up and you, you clear, full clear a map. Yeah, no, it's like there are there there are some very nice rotations with your as long as your Lord of Deep one shots. But in the moment your Lord of Deep doesn't one shot, this class is mobbing is so bad. Yep. Yeah. Which I think is it's, it's important oh. to mention that because a lot of people, they're not going to one shot with their Lord of the Deep. In fact, I'd say most people won't. Dude, the worst part is when your Lord of the Deep doesn't one shot. Sometimes it turns off because it doesn't. Get oh yeah, that's the, yeah. that's the that's biggest problem. It's it it's not yep. it, it what when I say one shot, it needs to one tick. Like if yeah, it, it, if it's one not one ticking, sometimes if it, it's two ticks, you can still like kill the mob with the time that you're jumping through the mob mob. But yeah, you there will be downtime to Lord of the Deep in that case. It's it's yeah. At the moment, it's it's so it's very unpleasant. If it doesn't yeah, kill someone him. in chat said he he's maxing his Lord of the Deep because of this, like he, yeah. he prioritized it, which makes yeah, sense. I mean, like it's, yeah. that, it's uh, it's for the long term for mobbing, I guess. Yeah, I mean yeah. this is the same thing as like <laughs> these night these night workers rushing like level nineteen bite. It's not even a bad decision because Lord Deep is so much of your damage that it's actually yeah, it is. It, it, yeah. Like obviously you'd rather have Octo Punch, but like. You're not into mm -hmm. your damage that hard by rushing more than the. Okay, the, the yeah, interesting yeah. thing about Octo Punch is that Octo Punch at level one is twenty seven percent FP, and then at level at max level is like close to eighty percent. So like even even if you just like ha like level so, Octo Punch is very high value at low level. So you you can mm -hmm. you you can take the hit and, and level up lower D first. I feel like level one Octo Punch might be the best level one master core. Yes, game. it is. It's oh, so whoa, good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I don't know. It's either uh, yeah, that I, or assassinate. It's either that it, or assassinate. It's, it's pretty tough competition for best, but it's like it's it's a strong contender. Yeah, mm -hmm. because I I don't I don't think there's even okay other than those two. I don't even think any other skill like at level one it's more than twenty percent FD to the skill. Well, okay, that's not true. There's some that are more, but the issue is that the most of the time when they're dead, they don't like. Okay, like like we can take like the Wind Archer Hurricane for example. That one's like forty percent final damage. Oh, level okay. One. okay. But it's only ten percent of your BA, while Octo Punch yeah, yeah, is like thirty yeah. percent. So like the Octo Punch yeah. in reality is better. Mm. So that's why it's like the relative percent in your BA matters for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aliens up there too because aliens only boosted half their skill. Anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm glad we're on the same page about the mobbing thing because I think a lot of people misunderstand Bucks mobbing and just think Lord of the Deep broken and that's it. They're, but they're in like Moonbridge or something. Yeah, it's Bro, like in, in Arcane River, it's so free to one shot. But the moment you move to Grandis, you're like, "Fuck, this class of mobbing is terrible." Dude, the only reason it it like we can't even talk about is mo mobbing be 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 like somewhat uh, comfortable right now is because we they like reboot doesn't have that HP yeah, multiplier yeah, yeah. anymore. If that that's still exists, true. this class is fucked in terms of mobbing. That's true. If we if we still have the reboot formula, this class would be, uh, they, they would they would literally never see Carcion. <laughs> <laughs> you could you could be completely max gear, max accuracy, like max sword. You, you still can't farm in Carcion. You'd be, that You'd be in full damage gear with like all G skills on and be stuck farming. in Shangri La forever. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sad. Also, we lost the reboot passive. By the way, we don't even have that shit anymore. We got yeah. heroic passive now. Whatever, bro. Just let's just play Spock, bro. Never mind. Forget I said anything. I think it's stronger than anything in tier two. Yeah, I think that it would be definitely in tier one. I think that's 
the issues with range and not being that burst heavy put it like a little lower. Like I, I'd, I'd probably put it like close to hero. Maybe, maybe, maybe like one slot below hero, or maybe one slot above. I don't know. Basically, <laughs> that's what I was thinking too. Somewhere, somewhere oh, right I, there. I think it's b below because of the, I think the mobbing thing is very important. Okay. I well, I mean, it's not like Heroes Mobbing is that great either, but sure. <laughs> Dude, I think the Buck one suffers more, though. Imagine your Lord of the Deep turns off, bruh. I'd fucking log out. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. Let's talk about... Ilium, because you mentioned Ilium, Phil. Oh, because someone was... When we were talking about Mastery School, half like oh, high at the... They, they were talking about Ilium. Okay, um, Ilium. The party iframe is more useful than I remember than, than, than I imagined. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, that shit's OP. Because I've seen like parties like can like parties that have built like entirely revolving aliens iframe, the those the, those work too. Mm hmm I think uh from what I can from what I'm what I've seen, the uh Orgis goes really good. It's 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 definitely above average, and the other things that like I, I I'm not hundred percent sure whether this class is going going with plus one attack speed first line or twenty percent skip first line because I I've heard people getting pretty similar results with those two. Mhm. Mm but uh, obviously on the other side, they're only have like you you know you know how they have like two primary attack skill like the jab jab and the ball. Mhm. Mm only one of them is boosted right now, so, so Oof. there's that. That's not good. <clears throat> ball does no damage, yeah. No, no, but it's not about a ball. It's about the the react reaction because I, I'm pretty sure Dreamer like the ball reaction, like ball hitting the the your crystal that that reaction explosion is also getting boosted neck in, in the neck in the Dreamer patch. Mhm. Mm I see. This game's crazy. <laughs> What? This, this, this class is really entertaining to watch. It is, bro. They'd be flying around, blowing shit up. Last night, I like couldn't fall asleep, so I randomly like came upon a Beck stream. She was like doing, uh, mm -hmm. I think she's trying to do an H Saren solo on her Ilium. That shit is wild. Like she's, <laughs> she's, she's just in the air smacking Saren. and Saren can't do anything but walk around. <laughs> <laughs> that does sound kind of funny. <laughs> With javelin you boost, you do half you do half the time uh, it takes to get into wings. You get into wings faster. Okay, that's pretty Wait, good. Second mastery. No, I'm. I, I think they're just talking about like. The oh, first the, the, the the spear you throw. The, the yeah, javelin that's the map. javelin. Yeah. Yeah. I clocked average twenty one seconds. Supercharges the crystal. Okay. Yeah, twenty one seconds. Yeah, that that's considerably <laughs> considerably <clocked> faster. Average. <laughs> it's like a race car. <laughs> it's considerably, in considerably better than the the the, the, the pre six drop then. Mm hmm. Dude, is this, this class two hundred and fifty? Is this a roar class or continuous class? It will fly so often now. Continuous class, they're saying. Oh, mm. okay. Isn't the burst wow. pretty conventional with the with the uh, uh, the laser thing? They're burst like Aran. Hmm. All oh, right, I guess fly is kind of like a general, but better because you you're flying. Longinus Spreer. Stop. <laughs> Class makes you feel like Iron Man W. Yeah, it is fun. It is fun. But where would we place it, though? Also, it's From mobbing. Where? It's mobbing is crazy. One point that out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With the... It's mobbing is crazy. Mob mobbing is just crazy. Just purely from... Even purely from, like, the, the Crystal Gate or whatever the, their, their fourth V is. Mm-hmm. You can but, you can pull and get lazy rates on this, which is very valuable. Yeah. 
It used to have the problem with like looting, but now with backpack, even if you're flying, looting looting is very free on this class. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because the pets don't follow you that well when you're in there, right? Yeah, but it's not an issue anymore with backpack. But from what I can, from what I've seen, I don't. I'm not like super impressed with this class's damage, but I'm also. It's also one of those classes I don't think I I, I don't go like okay this, this this damage is like hog garbage like it's it's neither, so mm -hmm. how to say? Is there is there like a juiced ilium to have like a better idea of how this class performs though? Like, I know there, like one there... person that plays ilium. I like I. I don't really know too much about this class besides the fact that it can fly around. It has the party iframe. Oh, that's it. Something else I remembered. This class of origin, like, do you know how during origin, like, they have like all the balls around uh, around the screen, and and then whenever you attack, there periodically the, those balls like also attack. Mm -hmm. sure. I've noticed from watching like my friends uh, play, the your origin procs more often when you when when you are when you are just attacking with javelin than you're holding down a laser. Mm. I don't know if that's just a zero attack speed thing, or um, that's just how the the origin is designed. I see. That's cool. Once so long, you can just laser in off burst. That is, oh. and that's why you don't laser during origin. I see. That's insane. Oh, so that's why Broken they say it's like class. Ron. It's similar to a Ron origin. Oh, is it Ron like that too? Well, you, well, when you use origin, your smash swing gets like becomes like a giga smash. It becomes like combo instinct. Mm -hmm. Oh, like, so you don't you use Beyond really Blade. Want to use Hunter Spray during that. No, you do. When you during Origin, you can Hunter's Prey, and then after you come out of Origin, you have a thousand combo usually, so uh -huh. you can go into Adrenaline again to get another Hunter's Prey. Oh, okay, okay. I see. Like your your mini burst, you have two Adrenalines that you do, and then during your main burst, you have one. Unless it's Origin, then you have two. And this is a this is a this is a more damage overall because you're entering Adrenaline more often. There's a link of an end game. Uh... If I were to make a call, I think this is like some fall somewhere in, in like tier two, tier three, probably tier two. Yeah, I would imagine its damage is actually. Yeah, it's I don't not. Know about the I'm not like super super impressed. But then again, like with like with the burst, it has okay. So. The way I see it is that with the with the amount of burst that this class has, the the uptime like the 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 off burst is also really high. Okay, so where are you? Comfortable I can see with being lower in the tier two just because it has party utility. Like yeah, it's definitely going to be more useful than a Kali, I imagine. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. I can see that. Tier 2 is pretty good. Like, I, I feel like Ilium is tier 2 for sure. Whether it goes up more, it just depends if we knew more about the class. Or if we saw sure. more content about the class. Like, <clears throat> I, it's, it's, kind, I, it's kind of hard for me to gauge the damage because I just don't know. Mm -hmm. Like maybe it's pumping so much more damage that it should be like next to a Ron or you know. I guess you can I think the general like... bulk is it, it should be it should be in that ballpark of a tier two. So okay, I'm fine with that. Any other comments? Mm, not really. Good mob, good, very very good mobbing. Good party utility. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about. Let's talk about paladin, bro. Let's talk about paladin. This is uh... I think Tommy's quite the expert on this class, actually. This class is bad right now. No, 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 hear me out, bro. Divine Echo is crazy. 
There, so the the thing is, like the the classes six job is actually really good right now. Yeah. Um, like there is so like almost all of their damage is boosted with um, uh, I think it was blast and I don't even remember what the the fifth box is, but basically, but almost all their damage is currently boosted. And then they um, they have the unique uh, enhancement core of divine echo, that mm -hmm. actually buffs the final damage buff it gives. Mm -hmm. So like overall the class's six job is extremely good. Um there are, there is some there are some sort of asterisks to it. So they right now their origin is pretty bad. It just doesn't mm -hmm. do that much damage. Yeah, that's what I remembered. Um but it's getting buffed really hard in Dreamer, so there's that. Um there's also the... Sorry, what were you saying? No no no. I was just gonna say like I because I remember this guy like like on cameras just going through like other people's account and just the, testing like the 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 gloom bursts and then like the 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 pilot one is like the least impressive one I've seen. Yeah, I mean it's because their origin is not very good, but it gets a lot stronger in Dreamer. Mm. And then there's the um, what I was gonna say was that the one thing that's kind of a bit unfortunate about Paladin is that like historically the linked sacro was really good, mm -hmm. but um that's sort of fallen out of favor with the meta where like um now that every boss can be origin bound. Having like the iframe for burst is a lot less important. There's also a lot of bosses where you just like, or maybe not a lot. I, mean, I guess it's just Kalos, but like you, you'd rather use Sacro for a test than for the burst. So you like literally don't even have the linked Sacro hmm. at that point. But yeah, I think that the the current meta of bosses has made the linked Sacro not very important anymore. Um, that being said, like, yeah, I think that the, the overall damage output of this class. So actually, I guess this is also important where like the class loses a lot of damage by being solo. Mm -hmm. Like you get a shadow partner with your divine echo that's just not active if you're solo. So that's like a pretty big con of the class where playing solo just feels like shit. But I think in party, the damage output of the class is fine. And they have a um like the uh, the still they still have the link damage where they apply 21 final damage to their partner yeah like the effective damage output they give in party is actually really high as a result just mm -hmm. um i mean i guess that's true for every support class but paladin is no exception so yeah the, the like the despite the link sacro not being very effective like combination of their six job being like overall pretty good from the divine echo enhancement makes it that like their damage is in an okay spot right now this this class of mobbing is like pretty bad right now though. How do you feel about uh, Divine Echo giving like the big big DPS in your party or whatever like fifty FD? Like it's a stupid amount of damage they can. Oh give no, it's a no, it's, it's only it's, no, it's only twenty one finally. It's just not that big. Twenty one? I thought it was fifty. No, oh, no, no. It's, it's like they what give the like fuck? seventy. They give like ninety final damage to themselves, but only like twenty one to their partner or something like that. Oh shit! Yeah. Okay. It's just the so elemental it's, force or whatever they, they they change the name, but it used to be called elemental force or some shit. You know, it's like Divine Blessing or something like that. Okay, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just 21. Yeah. It's 20 F okay, 21 FD with combo order. Combat order. Yeah, yeah. So it's... it's, it's like, Oh, actually, that reminds me. Oh! The, uh, Paladin's right. combat, combat order. orders... Combat orders has gotten a lot worse. Because historically, it was nice because it, like, gave plus one level to your main mo main damage skill. But it doesn't do that anymore because of mastery cores. So combat True. orders got nerfed pretty hard by six job, which is kind of funny. Wow. But yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I think like damage contribution overall, Paladin is is a good pickup just because the the support is very strong. But yeah, bad mobbing and their solo damage is feels terrible because you don't have the link. Yeah, yeah, this class is not it when it's solo though. You need to play in a party. Like you, you need to. You're gimping yourself a lot. Um. Do I have anything to add on on this class? Um, I guess they have nice utility. Really. I mean, it, it's, it's, noob, like, it's noob friendly, I guess. That's it. Yeah, they have a lot of damage reduction sources that make it difficult to die. Um, they you also have their yeah, and not even know how they survived on the class. Yeah, because they, they just have like a chance to like negate a hundred percent damage or whatever, like it's, on some it's, like it's, bullshit it's, attacks. It's, it's, it's kind of dumb how it's not very consistent, but I mean, sometimes it saves your ass. Yeah. And um, mm -hmm. the, the self heal is also pretty nice. I think the the issue is the classes and mobility options are a bit lacking, so you kind of just have to default to tanking a lot of time. But like, you survive anyway because you're paladin. So it's it's like overall the utility is nice, but not it's not that great because I mean you guys still get CC'd when you have to tank stuff. 
Mm -hmm. If they use the lowest tick of Sacro, what's the cooldown? 75 seconds? Uh, I think so, yeah. Yes, I, I, that it's sounds on right and off. Okay. With everything, everything we just talked about, I like like if if it didn't have like the party support, I was put it, I was gonna put it in tier three. But with that, would you guys agree if it's it's tier two? I think I, it's I think it, near I, the near the near the top of tier two because I think that it's like if you look at like the the overall value they bring to the party, it's really mm -hmm. high just because of the support. Mm -hmm. But then I would have to downgrade it a little bit because like I think they're. Their utility is like a little mixed where like yes they can tank stuff but like they just have to eat a lot of cc and a lot of bosses because their mobility is not that good and mm -hmm. then their solo play is like legitimately bad and then their mobbing is the kind of high effort yeah i can yeah. see it being somewhere where a ron and dark knight is either like higher between of tier two yeah, cause yeah, I think um, um, the way I'm also looking at it is like if I were to make a list of like what classes would I want in my party, this one is higher up for sure. Like, yeah, but the issue is just like, yeah, I mean, it's just like the thing is like party is not the only thing that matters. Which yeah, is yeah, of course. About the the class. Your, your per I think your your personal experience when playing this class is just poor, especially like you think about what you could have been, which is a hero. <laughs> That's true. Okay. I actually know a bunch of pallies that swap. <laughs> like straight up just drop weapon and swap. Should have just used the sword. Did we mention that Divine Echo is 90 seconds? So if, if you're licking up on the, with another 90 second, it's like... No, yeah, that's pretty nice. Like if, if you're licking up to a Nightwalker, it's pretty insane, right? Because they have boosted... Boosted rapid throw every time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's fine. Like higher tier two, like here. Sure. Yeah, someone said this list is top heavy. I mean, I actually don't think that's a bad thing. I think it's nice that most of the classes in this game are good. Like, yeah, th this I was not the case for a long time. There are a lot more good classes than there are bad classes right now. Mhm. Mm I think it's good. I mean, you remember back in that day, like, you either, like, played Kana or fucking Hero or you were nothing, like, straight up. Yeah, I think I think Destiny shifted the average level of class power by a lot so that nowadays, like, there's not that many... There's definitely still a decent number of bad classes, but it's yeah. at a lower level than it's been since mm -hmm. pre-Destiny, at least. Okay. Um, speaking of top heavy, let's talk about Bishop. I think this is the the, the only uncontested tier zero class. Yeah, I agree. Like, I don't just, even know what, what not, to say. There's just not much to argue. Like this class has it all. Like yeah, I don't even want to talk about best it. party support, crazy utility, one of the laziest mobbing in the game, and one of the best solo bosses as well. Like there's, yeah. there's mm -hmm. this class is literally one of the top classes in every single category. Mm -hmm. Oh. Did we well, hold on? Did we talk about how like Paladin's pretty clunky? <laughs> yeah, I, I mentioned the word like yeah, the mobility, well, mobility options. It just doesn't uh, have mobility options. Like like they're yeah. just they just they just tank the damage because they don't have any other choice. Mm -hmm. But they survive it because they're Paladin. But that's kind okay. of not ideal. Yeah, because when you when you link up the Vinico, you also have to like buff up uh, the FD buff so that your partner gets it too. That's I find that really annoying. The only class that's mentioned in a I request in Smegas. I, I will say about Bishop though, like uh, most of the new players just start this game with uh, uh, with the Bishop main, and they're, they're not gonna have a good time. Like, yeah, this, this oh, class, I agree. That's that the like only the thing. thing or like, yeah. The, yeah, if you if you don't have like if you don't have good Legion, all the Explorer mages are terrible. But then mm -hmm. Bishop also has the issue where like because of their int scaling, they're really weak in the early game. Yeah, but, really, really they, weak. They, in they scale early exponentially. Game. They but, double dip. That's why. Yeah, but the nice thing is that because you're bishop, literally everyone will be willing to carry you bosses. So it's like but, yeah. it's it's, it's a, thing, a little though. annoying, but not like not like a major flaw or anything. Although the mages are bad with low legion, bishop is less bad because it has IED debuffs and it has bonus crit rate like passives on its skills. So it's like 
Even even with the whole Legion argument, Bishop's still like better than the other two. No. no I don't, I don't know. Bad. No, I think I think Bishop is pretty bad when you're because it's also when you're into slow, your blood cooldown is fucking like six minutes longer or something. Yeah. Shit. So yeah. it's it's pretty bad in the early game, but I mean I think that it's you shouldn't have trouble blue dotting in your bosses, so it's not I like see. it's not like a me it, obviously it's annoying. It takes you longer to solo bosses than a lot of other classes, but it's not like a major hurdle. Yeah, I feel like what? being like a three K Legion like thirty K bishop is just really gimped. Like Yeah, yeah, ob obviously, obviously. But and I don't think it's as bad as like you, you might think. Like it's still it's, fine. It's, it's, it's still playable. It's, 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 it's serviceable. You just can't you just solo bosses much later than your friends, but you have much better accessibility to and harder party bosses because you're bishop. Yeah. What do you think about its origin? One minute long. It's um, uh, for bossing. It's just kind of it's like not particularly impressive. For mobbing, it's uh, it's real nice. It means you can AFK yeah. for a full minute. Yeah. The the yeah, you could I mean, fucking. Even... In worst case scenario, like that, that origin still give you FD. Yeah, I mean it's it's yeah. an okay origin. It's not it's not per it's not like it's not that good, but I mean it, it does its job. You could peacemaker farm on this shit too. It's crazy. Yeah. The highest levels of bishop in the world. Well, yeah, that also comes with the uh uh the real HS. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah this I don't think there's too much. There's not too much else to say. Yeah, there is literally that. not too much to talk about. <laughs> with what do you think of telling your bishop to uh, uh, unreliable memories and extra fountain? <laughs> what? I mean, that's like it, I don't know. Like, unless your the party is like literally intentionally trying to drain the fountain, it is pretty hard to make it run out of charges. Mm. Yo, uh, that, 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 that that's me. I, I they should, the, but they 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 should they should like unless it's Kalos, they should always be picking double infinity. Kalos <laughs> is the only one you can even make like, the argument for double. The, this is this is for this is for for P three Kalen cheese trap. I don't know who it is, but someone. I, I don't I don't even think it's a single person. I think people like people are just draining the fountain. I mean, the issue is that the, the unreliable memory fountain has such a long cooldown that it's just pretty bad to pick. That you just you just like I mean like I guess you like in Kalos is kind of okay because you just kind of go like run away from the boss after the burst is over but like you, you double infinity is just way too good you should never like be people just run, run no like uh, okay instead. so so the the difference is that I don't like we need three bursts we need three bursts for Kalen P three regardless right now and even if he double infinities it, we're not bringing that down, down, down to two maybe maybe you can split up your bursts you're probably overkilling some of the perils. Potentially, yes, maybe. Like a, a, a pretty common hard, like a, a common hard calling strat is like the bishop bennies one group of people for twenty seconds, and then twenty seconds later the other group starts bursting and the bishop moves to them. Obviously, it's a little different with cheese, but you can take the same, um, same idea. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah, then the, the sw swap totally ring tech, ring tech dude. True. true. You can pull totally ring true. from one of the groups. Uh, what about double Benny? Thoughts? Well, it's yeah. literally gone. It's past. Oh, it's gone now? Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, external domain's fixed, too. Oh, shit. Wait. Oh, shit. That's crazy. Yep. Damn, Bishop got nerfed. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't know. 2-0. I'm just trying to cope for some fucking devil's advocate no, argument, know, but this shit is, is like... There's, not there's, there's, there's no shot. You can just, it's too can just move right. on, I think. All right, let's talk about um, let's talk about Night Lord. I think this thing's strong as hell. Night Night Lord has some weird scaling points where, like, in the early game, if you don't have mm -hmm. a roar, it's cause damage is not that impressive. Mm -hmm. But with an Ozring, it's pretty good. But then there's a uh, then there's another issue where currently Nightlord's sixth job is like one of the worst in the game, so uh, it has some interesting scaling points as a result of that. Mm -hmm. uh, something about Nightlord that I think that's very important to mention. 
they've alleviated it more nowadays because its DPS isn't as shit as it used to be. But progressing on this class doesn't feel as rewarding as a lot of other classes. Because you're either going to kill it in like, you know, one burst, two burst, three burst. And then you need to progress your gear to the point where you're doing a boss one less burst to really like feel something. So you can like get gains one event and your boss clear times aren't that different. Which I think it doesn't feel that good playing this class. I think that nowadays that's not that unusual for most classes realistically though. Where like, I don't know, if you take like some even more like, uh, like you're, you, as an example, like let's say you're killing a boss like one minute faster because you made some small gear gains. Like you're still not going to enter the next boss until your burst is back up. Mm -hmm. So, like, realistically speaking, it doesn't make that big of a difference. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. Yeah. yeah. That's, Actually, uh, when I, that's true, when I yeah. clear my buck, I, I enter a boss regardless of whether my burst is up or not. Yeah, I guess, I guess, but the thing is, like, let's say you enter a boss, like, 30 seconds before your burst comes up. Uh -huh. Like, that shit is going to make almost no difference in your overall boss clear time. Because mm -hmm. it's, it's still going to be, like... You're still going to most likely kill it next to one of your like burst boundaries or something like that. Like yeah. that extra thirty seconds wouldn't have changed much. Obviously, it, sometimes it can, but like most of the time, it's not. It's going yeah. to make very little difference. All right, what's yeah. Next? Well, Yo, we didn't even place it. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, like, what's 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 next to talk about? Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I mean, yeah, I think, Night Lord. I just like the the class does like like pre six job. This class was very strong. Like ever since mm -hmm. Savior, that elevated the class to like pretty OP levels. I think it got knocked down a lot with six job because they have literally the worst origin skill in the game, and their scaling with six job isn't even good because uh, marks isn't boosted. Obviously, mm -hmm. both of these get addressed in Dreamer, where their origin gets severely buffed and marks get boosted. But for now, the class is really bad with, like, if you compare an NL with, like, Max Texa versus, like, a lot of other classes with Max Texa, the NL won't look very impressive because their sixth job is not very good. Mm -hmm. at, 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 like, low Hexa progressions, NL is still really strong just because the base class was so good before New Age. What do you think of the, um, the, the, the bind burst window on this class, though? Isn't it still really, really large? Like, the amount of damage it can pump? I mean, it's 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 good when you people have low hexa, but like I was saying, like once people have literally max hexa, Night Lord's burst will not look very impressive anymore. Like you can see, like for example, in like the like um like the KMS Punch King results, like you have these like juiced ass 100k stat Night Lords, and they're like doing the double throw blasting text, so like, you already know their score is super inflated, and then they like mm -hmm. lose the bit up. Like I think that it's <laughs> it's pretty clear that like this class's burst is just like it's good for now. But it progresses really poorly as people's hex to get better. Mm -hmm. Actually, I actually think like there there's a only a middle like even if you just like if if it's just like everyone just got their six job, then it it's pretty bad as night lord. But uh, there there's a point where like everything like everyone's every like hexa skills like under level ten. That's when like night lord is like still holds up. But once people start leveling up their or their origin again, then it's just bad again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean it's it's just like yeah, it's it's it just scales poorly, but the base class is very strong. Honestly the the spread and throw blasting boost though still still carries. Yeah, I mean it's 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 okay, but I mean you you only go so far once your as your origin does like two percent of your full rotation. <laughs> it's four percent actually. Oh okay okay much much better. Oh that's double. Dude, speaking about origin, do you guys think it's? Would you guys prefer it if all origins were used Oz rings or no? So that's actually an interesting thing where it's actually a pretty big distinction of like. So like, yeah, I guess we can contrast. So it's like, so Night Lord is a kind of origin where you pop it first and then you mm -hmm. pop your short pop afterwards. And then on the other hand, you might have like a class like Hero where you pop all your buffs first and then you origin. I actually think that like the Night Lord style of origin is much, much easier to use. Mm -hmm. Because the thing is like you're popping your short buffs while the burst, while the boss is bound. 
So as a result of that, it's like much easier to guarantee your burst. But like, let's say for hero, like you pop your five short buffs and then the boss disappears. You're just like, well, fuck, I didn't origin yet. I, I guess I do no damage this first. I think that it's, it's actually a pretty big issue of like these classes where they have to set up a ton of short buffs before their origin. And then they just, I mean, it's literally not up to them. If the boss disappears, they just lose all their damage. Yeah. You're right. That's a real issue. Like, Hyrule goes through that too, especially with back-ended bursts in a party. Like, by the time I, I press my origin, the boss is fully unbound. Un-origin bound and unregular bound. Because it's back-ended. Well, so, you know? so that one, you can adjust it by you Sakuna a little early. Like, you pop, like, yeah. like because of the yeah. fact you're a two-minute class, you, you, your stuff literally comes up fast enough that you can pre-pop your stuff. So it's not that big of a deal for Hyrule. Um, yeah. Oh, that <laughs> reminds me of something. Bama made a video where like he he he's caught and just misses the last uh the last part of the origin because he, uh, the boss on battle itself. Yeah, that that one's a bit of a that one's because of an old rotation. People people have found a better origin burst rotation that guarantees it lands now. Okay, okay. But, yeah, so kind of, and we can we can talk about that when we get to Kana. But yeah, I mean I think that some of these origins where like the the damage comes really late is like kind of an issue. This is kind of an issue for Iran actually. Or like yeah. because the end hit comes so late in party but like for for solo bossing you can like line up your binds to make sure this doesn't happen and stuff for party bossing it's like there's only so much you can do so yeah it's definitely no, a bit of an issue the the boss still goes away though on iran because the origin lasts 20 seconds well you yeah but, off... you know but i mean like for example you could you could time your like your like urda bind or well whatever the i don't remember what the actual iran skill is called but you could time it so it lines up with the end hit but like in party bossing, you literally can't do that. There's no, nothing you can, like you can start your burst really early, but like that doesn't work out in every situation. Mm -hmm. That's a really good point. Yeah. But yeah. Returning to the, the original thing is like I think that I don't know. I think like we were talking about Night Lord. I think the fact that like its performance depends so much on hexa progression makes it kind of hard to place. Hmm. I don't think it's any lo lower than tier two. That's for sure. Yeah, I would, I would not. I wouldn't put it below tier two. I would like. I think that the fact that the class is still so strong, even when you have like bad hexa, is honestly not, not a. I mean, it's not even that like bad of a thing because it. Hey, it means you can still perform while slacking on farming. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Speaking of farming, I mean, Nightlord's mobbing isn't bad. Marks don't do anything, but like, yeah, showdown just hits such a big right area that it's it's like you still you have to move around a decent amount in like flash jump, but or or I guess you can technically portal farm in a decent number of maps, but like it's 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 a overall solid mobber. Yeah. Phil, thoughts on Nightlord? No, I, I was gonna say mobbing is gonna be better next next flash. That's true. The the mark core is a pretty big deal. Mm hmm. I think that goes to Nightlord's Sakuna. gonna go crazy next match, actually. I think that's yeah. gonna be a big threat. I think yeah, that goes the same with Shad. Mess Explosion also boosted next match. Uh, Shadow doesn't need any mobbing help, even without. <laughs> Shad has a lot that's of true. options. Cool Sav, Sun Ray, Trick Blade, Assaulter, Dark Flare. Like, Shad's crazy, bro. SSF. Yeah. Bro, what you know about Shad, Phil? Personally, I think I would take like if I have to make a party, I'd take any anything in tier one, in tier one than night over Nightlord. <laughs> I don't know if I'd take a Buck over Nightlord. Really? I think, I think the other classes I would. Buck is. Uh, I'm less confident about that one though. <laughs> Down. Oh, but time oh. leap, dude. I guess the the three bosses right now, Saren Nightlord is obviously advantage. Like yeah, showdown is just too too nice there. Yeah, Kalos, mm -hmm. uh, Kalos is good. You you get you get majority of your spread damage in, and Cal, Cal this boss is, this class is bad for Kalen overall. Well, I mean, I think that like it's 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 okay. Like the the main weakness would be that like you're kind of gimped and cheese strat because of your range but i mean buck is as well so mm. 
That's fair. I feel, I feel like I would I would always take you know over Buck for specifically if I was making a party boss right now. I think Night Lord's tier one. I think Night Lord's tier one as well. I think it's I, really I good in a party as well. I would put it at it, the bottom of tier one though, because the class's self utility is pretty bad. And it like I mean, like we said with Buck, it has pretty severe range issues. Like Yeah, you gotta be it, right right there. Right in front. So That's true. it's it's but I mean I think that I don't know, maybe we put it above Buck then. <laughs> maybe we move yeah. Buck down. Maybe, yeah, maybe the answer is to move Buck down, I guess. I think that's the right place. I think Shade... Do you think Shade is really better than... Uh, than well, uh, well, I mean, in solo think... boxing, obviously Shade it gets smoked by these classes, but it's always, like, a matter sure, of how sure, much sure. you value the well, uh, I mean, that's it's a main, like, your overall experience on a class, right? Like, whether you're, you're end game or you're a noob, like, Shade has purpose, and, like, really good purpose. That's true. So... Yo... Hydro top three, bro. What a world to live in. For now. For now. Do we want to wreck right. AB or do we just put in a question mark? It's literally getting re rewarded. Yeah, like... AB is. I was AB thinking is about question mark. Yeah, yeah, AB is getting revamped, and like... I think I don't. I don't. A month? I, uh, it might be longer because I think that like because we get this like filler patch. The, the AB work might get delayed to like uh, a April, but we'll, we don't know. Isn't it April the anniversary patch? Yeah, it might be. It might be anniversary patch is what I'm thinking. Okay. But we'll see. But yeah. yeah, I don't think any of us. Any of us really, should, there's of no us point really of discussing AB. this. Yeah. Yeah, there's literally no point. Okay, but if you do main AB right now, it's fine. The class is not bad. It's just. It's, it's only just up mid. right here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's talk about. Xenon. This is an interesting one. I don't know if this is Copian or whatever, but but from what I've heard, well, this is mainly TM TMS player experience. They said Xenon is the, the highest six job burst. Yeah, this, this class is this thing's so like, strong. This this class is burst is absolutely insane. It's yeah, like the strongest burst class in the game. But as a result, they um kind of tickle <laughs> off off burst. Um, so. That makes them like really high value in party bosses because mm -hmm. so much of their damage is condensed on the burst. Mm -hmm. I think this class is insane because it has yeah. a last resort. Dude. It has uh, and what's overdrive. the one called? Overdrive. overdrive. <laughs> yeah. It has dice. Like... <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's... I think Zion's well, broken as hell. This shit's OP well, as fuck. When I was first progging Kalos, like normal Kalos a year ago, I was, I, I, every day I was just like, okay. What I'm playing just awards that I every single aspect possible in in, in in that boss. The fact that I can just just fly in the air the entire time is just fucked. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, but, uh, speaking of the fly, the fly is extremely strong with the current set of bosses. Where like yes, it is. In yes. In Kalos, you fly in the sky, literally like almost nothing hits you. In Saren, you can fly in the sky during dawn and almost nothing hits you. Yes. And in in calling P3, you can also fly in the sky and nothing hits you as well. So it's like, mm -hmm. the yeah. fly is really good for the current meta. It's even good in, 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 lower, in lower what? tier. Even, it's good okay, even so, in lower tier, like Dark now or something. It's yeah, I think, good I think, so I think in some bosses, you can fly over the ceiling and not get hit by debris. I'm not actually sure which bosses that's the case, though. Dark now. Yeah, I know in Dark now, but I don't know oh, if okay, you can okay. do that in other bosses. I don't yeah, actually okay. know. Dark, uh, Dark can't Nails do it in Lotus, Lotus for sure. I remember yeah. when we first progging Kalos, it was also when, like, the, the, the bomb stacks. And the fact that, like, basically, if you're, like, back in the day, it was a situation where, like, if you're a last resort class, even if you have, like, two damage re reduction, like, party shield in your party, you would die from the stacking bombs. But Xenon's the only last resort class that that, that wouldn't die because because it's iframe doing the Omega Blaster. And the fact that you can just block right arrows for your entire party. Mm -hmm. Yeah, also another thing that's really nice about Xenon is that because you have a free iframe for your actual burst, you can just Jenny iframe when you're like charging the laser, for example. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. You, like you don't like you don't need to save your Jenny iframe for your burst because you're already iframed. So that that alleviates a lot of the like setting up burst on this class is annoying because you have to charge your laser and shit. But a lot of it is it alleviated by the fact that you can use your iframes before your burst as a result. Your order mm -hmm. burst is not iframe, right? Yeah, yeah I but I mean, the bot, I mean, yeah, but you get like a long ass iframe for your origin cast and then you can start true, flying. True, true. So it's true. not 
obviously it's not ideal, but it's still like it. I mean, it's not that bad. Also, because yeah. the binds are so long, you don't even need to have your laser ready by the time the boss is bound. It's okay if you start your laser like a few seconds late. True. It's so crazy. I mean, obviously the laser has a lot of prep time, but it's still so crazy to me that it just becomes a fucking summon. <laughs> SNG yeah. In your origin. Yeah. Shane got the same damage, and then it becomes a summon. You're basically getting getting off of free damage. Well, Shane got the same treatment where their key yeah, down yeah. burst got turned into a summon. You basically turn you basically treat uh traded your beam dance with like actual like like. May attack and like the 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 sixth little turn from six drop. Yeah. Also, the next master core that Xenon gets is kind of crazy. It like ten x is the damage triangulation does. Yeah. Is, uh... so that's that's relevant to GMS, right? Because of yeah, with the with the with the current tech where you beam dance Omega Blaster, you proc triangulation a ton of times. So the new yeah. master core will be really really strong for GMS because uh, on the three minute burst, right? Yeah, yeah, on the non-origin burst, you proc yeah. triangulation so many times. <laughs> Dude, this class is so nuts. But yeah, the mobbing is, is, uh, is pretty... I think the mobbing is similar to Shadow Rip because it has two summons. Or actually, it has, yeah. it has like the, 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 the little freaking DVD bouncing screen and then also... <laughs> yeah, I don't know yeah. how good the, the resistance infantry is. But, um, I mean, it's, the resistance infantry is kind of shit. Uh, but... What what I've seen what Xeons do in Carcion is they just portal farm. They just mm -hmm. yeah. are they just um like Mecha Purge or whatever the fuck the skill name yeah, is. Yeah, like the it. freaking carpet uh, bomb, right? But, yeah, but and, even and, before Carcion though, they have the missiles. Like that that's good for like a lot of areas as well. I don't know if the yeah. missiles are relevant, to be honest. I don't know. I don't know if the missiles are relevant. All I know is that Xenon has a really easy time one shotting. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, yeah. Z Xenon, these Xenons are moving to the high sack maps like way earlier than anyone else is, so clearly their mobbing damage is crazy. Like I can't I can't watch out K4 uh, if I don't use external buffs, but Xenon can. Yeah, they could do it at like 450 sack. Yeah. I think this is like a solid high tier one. <laughs> I think it's the near, new. It would be near I think the it's top bordering tier, tier one. zero, dude. Yeah, I think, I think it's bordering, bordering tier zero, zero because True. it's it, it's like um best. It's like best burst class in the game. Yeah, just give me that. It's in the, 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 the highest sure. burst in the game right yeah, now. The, the only weakness of it is that like setting up for burst can be a bit annoying. Like for example, like um like in calling, it's not it's not that big of a deal because of like origin bind. But like for calling P two, it's like you can't start your burst immediately. You need to charge your laser first. So like, there, there are some settings where it's like a little annoying. It's not like a big deal, but it's just like a minor difficulty. And also, yeah, the, the class's off burst is like just not very. Do good. Do people not charge in at the end of P one? You can't recharge anymore. It's completely patched. Fa. How do you feel about uh, funding a xenon? Because obviously you need all star, right? How it's, do you feel about that? Bit, it's a bit annoying to cube it. But the but the on the flip side, flaming is a lot cheaper on Xenon. Yeah. yeah. So I don't I don't I don't think the funding issue is like, it, it's it's not like a major concern. I think there was like previously there was a concern where you need to be like fucking two eighty five to fit in all your skills. Well, that's but, not a thing okay, anymore. Yeah, yeah, it's not a thing anymore. Now you literally hit two sixty get everything. So I think yeah. that like overall funding of Xenon is not that bad anymore. Okay. That's good to know. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm okay with this being at least tier one, but I'm curious like where you guys would want it because I think being the best burst class in the game is extremely valuable. It is. I think I think the issue is it's too it's so hard to put a to to put like another DPS class in or to put any DPS class in tier zero because the support classes just have too much over you. So like yeah. I would put it like maybe uh, maybe right behind Dawn Warrior. Is where I'm feeling. Gotcha. <laughs> That's not what Hold he on. said. He said it's behind Dawn Warrior. Fine. Oh, oh, I see. What you mean. <laughs> <laughs> um, Speaking yeah, of support classes, uh, the only thing about Xenon is is it's just it doesn't have much support. That's the only thing that's holding it back. If it had literally anything, like fucking twenty boss or something. Oh my god. Wait, wait, but it does have a little support. Does it? Yeah, when what you it use have? your iframe, well, it's the, like 15 wait. ID or some shit. 
Wait, no, is it the no, purple the purple field, the ball? Or the yeah, square the field, that it summons? The field it gives I don't remember I think it gives you HP. I think it's pretty useless. Oh but they yeah. Do, oh that's oh, what it was. But they it's, but they give a they give a little ID, which is not I mean. Dude, it's they not give much. twenty bosses as well. Oh my god. That's, oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Their hypergram field, like the the, the burst one, is damage. That's what. That's, that's what, what I thought. The, yeah. the the thing they could put down. Okay. But yeah, I mean, all Damn, their support kind of is broken, bro. Their support is very minor, but like, yeah, yeah the chair, I, I, the time capsule, okay, okay, capsule. Well, the chair, the chair, <laughs> time capsule. But it's it's very it's very hard to justify putting a DPS class in tier zero as the issue. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of tier zero, let's talk about Kana. Kana, uh, I think. Kano's complicated because it's one of the best party bossing classes in the game, but it's the the worst solo bossing class in the game outside of Beast Tamer. Mm -hmm. I think by far, by it far, is, it is so bad at solo bossing. So I think that like, so I think we talked about this where like solo mm -hmm. bossing doesn't matter that much because like, even though Kana is so bad at solo bossing, the the end game Kana is still one burst every boss. So it's yeah, like I not mean, the mm -hmm. deal, but but the issue is like if you're not at the end game, the solo bossing experience on Kana is so bad right now. Yeah, like if you're a new, if know. you're a random player progressing through this game and you're playing Kana, all your friends are gonna fucking do shit before you. Like that's just that's just how it is. You're gonna have to put up with that, and that's not very attractive. Plus being yeah. on KMS. There's also that like Kana has been on a string of constant nerfs recently, so you're really questioning yep. the future of the class. So yeah, I, I think would, it's a like, fun class to play though. Like, I think they're, I think the, I think the class's fundamental kit is interesting with like the animation canceling with Tengu and stuff. Though like they've kind of gutted that a bit recently. Well, it's actually it's not even that recent anymore, where they like removed the exo weaving and stuff. So like I think the class is like. It's 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 almost losing part of its identity recent in the in the past few patches, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't think you can re like even though it's still one of the best party classes in the game. It's just like it, it the, the the quality of the solo experience is so bad that it drags yeah. down the class by a lot. Yeah, I agree. I completely agree because uh, I'm well aware of how good it is in a party. Uh, the bind to I mean the bind doesn't really matter that much for culling, uh, but everything else. Uh, it's it's broken as fuck in a party, but you're right. Party play is only a part of your experience. I think it's a. Uh, it's mobbing is too. broken though. It's mobbing is so good. I would say I, tier I, two I, as well. I, I I feel like I wouldn't even put tier two because like the the issue is like the like the solo experience is so bad to the point that nobody nowadays would ever choose the main kata. And I yeah, look like at Hyperion. Kind of I feel like that's, that's is basically the ones that that are stuck with Kana at this point. Well, like I feel like that speaks a lot that literally nobody would ever pick to main Kana nowadays. So I wouldn't even put it in tier two just because the the solo experience is so bad. Like I would probably mm. put it in tier three as a result. Like I think that it's like I, 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 you you couldn't reasonably justify tier four because the class's support is too strong. No, but, there's no way it's tier four. Mm, no way. But yeah, I think I, I would put it in tier. I would put it in tier three just because, like, it's it, it, like fucking nobody wants to play this class because of how bad its solo performance is. Mm -hmm. I was thinking like, I feel like so my my reasoning for thinking that it's tier two is because it's party bossing is good, it's mobbing is good, it's solo bossing is what's bad, right? Yeah, so but I think, I think that if you have two out of the three things going for you, like that. That's... But the issue is that the, but the issue is the one out of three is is so bad. Like, like it's actually atrocious. Like it's appreciably worse than any other non-PT class. Yeah, it's tough because I was looking at it. Um, I was looking at it from Tummy's POV as well. Like I yeah, think tier that's... two, like like this class has play. Like it gets, it has its its uh, it has its uh, usage in the meta. That's why it's not completely like shit. But yeah, I think the issue is you need to look at it like more as a more complete picture of the class. Where like mm -hmm. if we were looking at it exclusively at like the complete end game, then this class would be like top of tier one because its yeah. support is so strong. But I just think that you have you 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 can't ignore the fact that this class is so bad to play that nobody wants to mate it anymore. You're right. You're right. This this is a main series. It's not just end game. We have to factor everything. You're right. I think. Uh... 
I think I think Hyperion is a perfect example as well. Literally, we have no Kana, zero. So that that right, just goes to cool. show. Okay. Like I so think I guess... if you were a Kana main and you made it to end game and all this, and you have a, con a strong Kana in your account, you can get good use out of it. But if you're somebody who's getting into the game now, you're not gonna want to play this. I guess tier. I mean, also, top of tier we're, three. Even if we're sure, just yeah. talking about support, like basically every other support is just better, given that most of the other well, every single other support except for shade is like perma up time. Well, I mean, I think a lot of the supports they don't offer as much value to a party as Kana would. Like, um, like if you look at like because of the um, the Haku final damage buff, where you get like twenty five final damage in party, Kana's damage output in party is pretty good. And mm. obviously, domain plus boss barrier plus five seconds more and bind is pretty solid as well. Like, like all things considered, this is one of the best supports in the game. It's mm -hmm. just, yeah, I mean, party play is only one thing. How do you feel so about like, Kana blue dotting? Uh, I think that a like good Kana, to blue dot? A, a, I think a good Kana with equal gear to the DPS will easily green dot in a party. Okay. I'm on the same page. I'm on the same page. I think so. Because I think, a lot, I I think a lot because a lot of people. Dot, I've, I've heard, I think that you're just griefing. Like yeah. I've heard that criticism a lot. Well, that like Kana's will always blue dot and shit like that. Well, I, mean, I don't think that's it's true. Just, Kana's pretty hard to play. Like timing your Sukuno is. and weaving is not simple. Like it's it, it is and also it is very common for a Kana to be under geared compared to the rest of their party. I mean this is true for all supports where mm -hmm. people be willing to pick up a support that's significantly less geared than the dps just because it offers more value than a dps would in the party so that's why a lot of kanas inevitably will like blue dot because they're just not as geared or they're not playing as well like it's just that's that's the reality mm -hmm. so I, I i since we're talking about how like kana solo bossing is just so bad that that's why it's like kind of anchored between like tier three tier two then like we, we were also talking about how like bishop you know it's also an explorer mage so you you need a lot of things going on for you to really start get going on bishop like i think it takes very little investment for bishop to pass kana in terms of solo bossing capability yeah i mean okay. the big thing I for explorer, Ma explorer mages is legion right and look at the the past few events for legion right like anybody could pick up this game and within the three months of 6k legion anyone like that's okay. true you just like, have to know at least a little bit anniversary gives you like 200 bonk pots like yeah even yeah. this event that's, gives that's, you like 40. yeah I, Minar, you know minarm picnic also gives you like 200 bonk pots like getting ak legion is so easy mm -hmm. okay yeah I, I just want to bring it up because like both classes are support and they also have a rough time at the beginning right so i wanted yeah, i wanted to like talk about how like mm -hmm. how much more different like how much faster bishop yeah, bishop just gets off the ground so much faster it's not even a big concern mm -hmm. hmm Okay, that's fine. I'm okay with this. All right, let's talk about <sighs> Demon Avenger. So Demon Avenger is very interesting because their DPS is good and they finally got a good origin skill. Finally, that has, that has really good damage. And then the third thing is I might have to die on this hill. That 29 frenzy with rune four shield it ain't that hard, bro. Just get good. It depends Thoughts? on the boss. I think that, uh, I think in Kalos, it's a little ridiculous to play at that. Like, you see that, like, the, the KMS Demon Avenger that soloed Kalos was using Frenzy 30. I mm -hmm. think that kind of speaks for itself. That guy's, like, a mechanical beast, and even he decided to use Frenzy 30 for that boss. Like, uh, maybe he's not as good as he thinks, bro. Yeah, maybe, maybe. But, I mean, I think that it depends a lot on the boss. I think that most. Like bosses up to C10E, it's not that bad. Like it's obviously it's you have to play pretty well, but like it's pretty doable. But then suddenly in Kalos it becomes kind of hellishly difficult to do. Yeah. V Hilla too, actually. V Hilla is not the worst because you can heal through the healing lock a little bit. So it's actually mm -hmm. not that bad in reality. I see. Okay. And yeah, yeah you can throw, um, just throw a bod. Well, Kalos I mean, it's not you, bad with that with that's HP true. Death, bod. Right? No, it's the the issue is that like it's so easy to die to random stray bombs if you're capped at thirty percent HP. That's what's the, the <laughs> yo the ball, part. dude, the ball. Yeah, the ball. Yeah, the ball in Kalos. That's funny. 
But yeah, it's it's uh the Frenzy 30 is or sorry, Frenzy 29 is pretty bad and a lot of the a lot of the end game bosses. Mm -hmm. Um that being said, um a lot of the damage loss from using Frenzy 30 is kind of not that bad because when you burst your HP drops yeah. a lot. So you mm -hmm. still have the I damage bonus for burst even if you're using frenzy 30. i think 29 30 the only difference to the fd is is on off burst not during burst i mean, I mean to be fair off burst is quite heavy for demon avengers it's well yeah, yeah but um it's uh it is it, like for for burst you do get the full final damage bonus mm -hmm. um their their shield getting boosted gives them another one as well so their mobbing becomes way easier with six job too like, it becomes yeah. really good yeah, like the they got a big increase in their mobbing from Savior, and then um, the the triple shield from Six Job makes it their mobbing is like really free. Like there are 19k Carcian rotations where they literally just stand still and spam shields. Mm -hmm. Like this is before Soul Janus, so their mobbing is in a really good state right now. I'm I'm aware of like Demon Avengers like off burst being really good or just just being really high i'm not actually sure what their burst looks like their well burst it mostly comes from their origin okay. now i mean origin burst is good their origin yeah, their is origin really is strong they have a strong one and i but i think that they, yeah there's still the issue that their burst is quite weak like this class is probably one of the best soul bosses in the game but mm -hmm. in party they drop off a lot because they just um their burst is just not that strong it's mm -hmm. also too many classes as well yeah it's literally just their origin that gives them like good burst damage. Other than that, like it's raw DPS. So it's like a looking like it's like a tier two at least then. Uh, I'd say so. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, I'd say so. It has some part utility, one. but it's it's just it's just the it's IED, IED right? debuff. Yeah, very minor. It's just IED debuff. That's it. Uh, it's it's where, probably where put it? probably the middle of tier two is what I'm thinking. Okay, I'm above DB. I don't know. Maybe Jake can say if he feels it's better or worse. Uh, <laughs> that one's hard. I, I, uh. It's hard to say. Just yeah, I don't know. I, I just think don't know like considerably DB better in solo, but like also like I I would much rather prefer a DB in. In party bossing than 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 a DA. Is it because you think the DA is gonna die out or? I I I think like progging the boss with the DA is gonna be much more annoying. Oh. That like just cookie... the random stuff that people normally that, wouldn't die. Yeah, that, right? that cookie cutter class. I, I think mm. it's, it's practice with this definitely takes quite a bit more considerable considerably more tries than just a default cookie cutter class. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's fine. I'm I'm okay with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, like, if you main this class, like, you're gonna be praying for RFS like every fucking week. Ha, like, yes. If you don't, if you don't get that, <laughs> like, you're just gimped. That's something. That's like, yeah, that's something you gotta keep in mind. Okay, I think I think where we place it right now makes sense. We can always move it a little bit up or down as we continue. Okay, I'm gonna save Demon Slayer for when Lawrence is back, but let's talk about Phantom. Sure, Phantom. Let's talk about Phantom. You seem excited. What, what, what do you What do you think about Phantom? Um, I feel like this class. It's it's it's, it's it seems like it's one of those classes where it's very polarizing between the mains and the non-mains about what people mm -hmm. think about this class's performance. I agree. Yeah. Like, I I think, um, it definitely has a lot of the same issues that uh, other cooldown classes have. Where you you, because Phantom is also similar to Explorer Mage, where you really want to have high Legion, right? Mm -hmm. Like that that buff duration is so important for you to maintain your final cut, because <clears throat> that's that's forty percent final damage right there, right? Right, because they don't have sudden rate. Yeah. Yeah. So not having a hundred percent uptime on final cut is definitely going to gimp Phantom a lot. Um, and also balancing this class is definitely a nightmare for mm -hmm. <laughs> for Nexon. You think about um, all the explorers too? It's crazy. 
Yeah, just the, the identity of Phantom has changed pretty... A, a good deal because of, like... Because there used to be skills that they could steal and then they couldn't anymore, right? Because it was just mm -hmm. too annoying to balance. Like, yeah. Um, and they also, like, sort of just nerfed some of the things they could steal by making it a passive, right? Or something like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. cross surge used to be 70... 70... Cross surge is 70% FD, but they, they, they changed it to 50% on passive and 20% on, on active. Yeah. yeah. There you go. But, or some, um... something something along those lines. I remember this class was like, during like the, the New Ages first KMST, it was pretty bad just because like, during the first Tespia, they, their origin was also 60 second duration. But uh, when when they actually uh, went, went live, it got... A re uh, it got condensed down to 30 seconds and then all of a sudden it is, it's quite a bit better. I I honestly think for the most part, duration based, like 20 to 30 second duration based uh, uh, origins are, are are good. Especially with a current burst meta where you, you normally just get like 20 to 30, sec 30 seconds of burst. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't just... It, it also not like those nuke skills that just eats like have your roar oh so uh, do you use war with this origin I, I actually don't know oh that i'm not 100 percent sure because i think most of the 30 second long origins you don't use your oz ozering right uh a, a paladin you don't mercedes you don't or or night lords you don't i mean even after they debuff it i don't think you just I still don't think you do, right? So like, Bishop, you don't either. So I, I, I would assume that for Phantom, you probably don't. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's six, okay. People say it's uh, seventy percent of the damage is, is on the cast animation. So that that one's basically like the the mechanic one. Then mechanic oh, mechanic okay. is one of those like although it's thirty second duration, but like the 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 opening animation is hundred uh one million percent, and then the 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 rest thirty second duration is. Is five thousand, uh, five hundred thousand, thousand. I see, I see. So it's like six, uh, two thirds is on the on the on the opening. I, I guess Fenton is also that case, so you definitely use it with Roar. So in those cases, though, the duration based. The the good thing about these is that the duration based origins they have a they they have a significantly shorter like cast animation than than the nuke ones. Nuke ones are all pretty much like eight seconds. Mm -hmm. But this one's like short, but still does like most of its damage during the animation, which is like. You know, kind of the best of both worlds. What their mastery basically condensed the 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 car tempest or whatever that skill is called. Oh yeah, I think well, I think the wind up is still there, but significantly faster now. I believe. Yeah, I think it got condensed down to th three seconds or something. Like the ramp up time is a lot faster now. You don't have, you, like you, you know how like for before it was like three animations, right? Where it would just grow mm -hmm. larger. Now it's mm -hmm. like I think it's only two animations where it's just like. Oh okay. Mm hmm. All oh, right. The the wind up time. I remember now. I think this is also one of the classes that that's basically like the the devs take a take like a, a conscious decision to to not give high damage percentage just just like dark knight like they 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 definitely aware of the the strength of the class that lies within the uptime of, of the class's kit so they they they're purposely trying to avoid giving it too much like too too high of a number personally yeah. that's how i feel about them balancing I mean, phantom tempest is something you can also cd skip too right so there's also i like, believe so yes there's also that aspect i i i, I think Phantom IA is like CD skip buff duration and then the third line I don't actually know. But it's it's usually those two things, right? Because you you want the buff duration unique buff duration mm -hmm. for final cut. Mm -hmm. And then the first line is being CD skip, you know, twenty percent versus ten percent in unique, right? Mm-hmm. I, I, I think CD skip is usually just for Tempest and Final Cut. I don't know if there's anything else that you can see skip that's relevant. For I mean, that players. alone is is crazy value, though. Yeah, I, I would say even even <laughs> even like final cut alone. But yeah. Okay, oh, okay. if that's the case, Phil, then why doesn't DB take CD skip first line? I do. What? what? Or I would. Oh, and just to, just to quickly talk about it, like 
when the IA presets oh, come. Oh yeah, he was thinking about with the preset. Yeah, I want to make a so preset where right. it coastlines. <laughs> okay, dude. I would I would use the my plan was to use it for a C Carlos exclusively or for when we're progging new bosses. Mm -hmm. I would that, just use. I mean, the CD yeah, skip that page. makes sense. Yeah, because I like would have like twenty seven and a half CD skip. Like that's so much. Twenty seven point yeah. five chance to CD skip final cut sudden raid or chains of hell. Like, <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's, that's crazy. <laughs> so, anyways, and with what, we, what, what with what we have said, I'm I'm pretty sure like Phantom is also like in the middle of the tier two. I will say yeah. though. I'll say though, many I don't know if people know this, but the only reason last resort is 75 seconds is because Phantom used to be a 150 second class. Yeah, yeah. But there's yeah. no thief that is not three minute anymore. Please change that skill to 90 seconds. No, there's no way it doesn't get changed to 90 seconds, right? Like there's no way. Even even uh Shadower like has uh Sonic Ball at 45. Like there's no way. Like there's no way. There's no way it doesn't get changed tonight. Very, very long since like Phantom got changed to 150 and they just haven't changed. Oh, it's changed from 150 to 180, but they still haven't changed. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised they didn't change it because they were changing um, Overload, right? You guys remember yes. that? Yes, I yeah. remember. I'm surprised they didn't change. I mean, what they did do was change Shadow Walker to be 180, <laughs> but they also nerfed the final damage on it. Yeah. So, meta I, I honestly think this is just like. I think the burst is just not impressive either, like being a thief. But um I think to be honest, I think it's a weaker DP. I Honestly I'm not sure. Cause it does have part utility, right? Like oh. if you have one for Saren. Like, what do you give up? I don't, I don't know. I don't think that you, you give, give up. up final uh, cut, dude. You give up final cut. Oh. I don't think that's like really worth. Okay. Never mind, never mind, never mind. I mean, no I, I know, I know, I know. People will like swap between the two. Like they, they, they show down once. They, they show down once every two minutes. That's trolling, they, though. That like that's straight up trolling. So they will have final Why cut for the that? burst. They will have final cut for the burst. Okay, then they're doing no damage off burst. They're just I mean, that made sense middle. before Saren changes. Nowadays, it probably you don't. Yeah, you now, do nowadays, like you can just duck. That that's fine. But yeah, I, I see this class very similar to to Duck now and, and and DB. So somewhere around there is fine. Mm -hmm. Do Phantoms even? Do people still use Sacro? I, I I've been seeing people just switch between uh, the Bowmaster and Marksman Hyper instead. I think now. There's less incentive to use Sacro. Just like, because... be, like, it would still be good for Kalos, right? You can just block the entirety of, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh I guess. That, well, I mean, that, that, that yeah, first but there, there's got to be somebody in the party that could do that, like, better than you, though, right? Like, yeah, literally I mean, I anybody mean, like, could do that. Still, having that having a option of versatility is still one of the strengths for, for Phantom, right? Mm hmm. That's true. But yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about uh, Bowmaster. Okay. okay, let's talk about Bowmaster, sure. Or what the fuck is that? Uh, fist on the first roll. No, no, it's like a snapping sound. Oh, oh, that that's funny. Playing with like a stapler or something. Okay, all good, all good. Nice, Bowmaster, uh, dude. Okay, why would you uh, why would you want to talk about Bowmaster? I just saw it. Okay, uh, this class fucking sucks, bro. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think it's cope. It's a solid tier three or four. I think the kind okay, of sharp eyes. I think back. the class is not is not that bad actually. I think that there are there are, ever since Destiny, their burst is is fine. It's not like crazy strong, but it's not that weak either. I think that um, the class has very good utility with the homies tank tanking damage for you and obviously mm -hmm. very high life oh, steal. Life steal. That, that reminds me of something. Six drop, six drop boost to homies is really good. Really, yeah, really, very, good. very nice. What did it do? Yeah. It, it makes it that like, even if you have zero, they still do damage. And also, like, yeah. oh. you, you know, even if they tank anything for you, the damage is still there. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay, pretty yeah, nice. Really good. And, um, 
like yeah, the, the, the classes, it's 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 burst distribution is fine. Like, um, I think I, I, like, it was very ninety one, right? Oh, uh, I don't remember the the specific numbers, but I just remember that like it's pretty standard damage distribution for most two minute classes. Like the percentage of the damage that falls in there, like roar or first thirty seconds, is like comparable to a lot of the two minute classes. It's not really mm -hmm. like their their burst is okay. Um, okay, let me I ask you. Do you think it's stronger than Marksman? Uh, that's a good question. I'd say they're probably pretty close, if I had to guess, but I'm not I'm not that confident. Uh, Mar Marksman definitely benefit... Well, I guess but Marksman benefits a lot from the animation cancel right now. But I think if you don't consider that, then I think they're probably are pretty similar. Yeah, but we, we put Marksman where it is with the animation cancel, right? Yeah. So. Well, yeah, I'm not. I don't know. I th I think that like the, the 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 overall damage output of the class is not not the best, but um, and it's not is that they they do have like a reasonable amount of burst, like percentage wise speaking. Yeah, I mean their their current mastery is really good. Like it, it's yeah. one of the better ones. Yeah, yeah their but, mastery is super super good. But on the other hand, though, it, they don't they don't have much to look forward to the next patch. I mean, they had that. Well, actually, they I don't remember new skills. Maybe I don't. I actually, I don't remember what their next core is. But they do have it's, like it's, it's arrow platter. That's like I, I last time seeing. They, they have the they have the, their like magic arrows and shit that still needs no. to get boosted. That, it? well, 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 it's not getting boosted in Dreamer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I, yeah, what I meant was like in the future they still. Have oh yeah, yeah, in the future, future. But I, 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 I was saying that they don't have much to look forward to the next patch. Yeah, Dreamer is not not that impressive for them. So. Mm hmm. Uh, I mean, Bowmaster. One thing it does have going for it is it is very easy to play. Yeah, I think that the ease of a lot play, of room for error to, too. Yeah, the ease of play and utility is not not to be underestimated. Like it's true. I think for party bossing it loses a little bit of value, but for solo bossing it's like extremely good. And I guess even there's a decent number of party bosses where it's still good. Like, for example, like Extreme Black Mage, the life steal and stuff is really really good. So it's um. Oh, that's a good it's, point. It's, it's just it's a bit mm -hmm. varied on how good the utility is, but there's definitely a decent amount of situations where it's really good. How's BM in Calling P three? I mean, I don't think there's anything special to say. I don't think it like particularly performs bad or good there. I can. Oh, okay, okay. So there's one issue with with, with the, the 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 flame arrows. It doesn't lock onto the highest HP target. Oh, wait, wait. It does or doesn't? It? it does not. Isn't that so better? Locking onto highest HP is what's bad in Kali. Yeah, because it targets her instead of perils. Yeah, but right? that that mm -hmm. they, it just it just goes randomly. I see. I don't know much about how this works. Have you okay? So if you guys, I don't know if you guys had like if you played a a bowmaster mule in uh, what is it called uh, slime? Th those flaming arrows be flying to the small, <laughs> small small slimes. Like fuck that shit. <clears throat> okay, I guess that's pretty ass. Yeah. They well, changed from it what I've seen. Oh, they I've changed seen the it. The mobbing seems pretty okay. <laughs> oh, Bowmaster's too... mobbing is really good, uh, but you do oh, need some yeah, damage. You do need damage to do it. Yeah, the you air don't do any... Yeah, but it is really good though. Bro, literally just tune into Joe's stream, Jake and Joe's stream at any moment and just watch it mar mob, bro. It's crazy. Oh, we didn't talk about Phantom's mobbing. I think it's, from what I've seen, it's like they just steal the, the cannoneer attack, right? And then portal farm. Oh, I mean, on I think it's, it's, they, it's, they could take the Corsair one too. I think it's yeah, um, their their their, their, mob, their mobbing has like basically the the layout of the new areas has made it that Phantom's mobbing is more doable. It's still not like that easy compared to some other classes, but I guess the um, the new <sighs> core and Genesis will help that out a lot. Uh huh. Okay. So Bowmaster, I, I, I don't know, I don't think it's tier 3, right? 
No, I think it's no, I no way. Too, the no utility way. is too too nice. I think it's. No oh way. yeah, so it's do, definitely do, do not do tier three. Good mobbing, marksman? really good utility. I think it's it's utility is better than marksman for sure, for sure, for sure it is. I think better it's just better than marksman straight up. Oh, uh, Mar marksman's origin cancels a lot of damage. No, but okay, but the whole like bug abuse marksman thing, like I really like, I'm not considering that, bro. Like, come on, like can, there's no way we can like I mean, base the class based off of that, a bug abuse right is, now. Okay, in that, in that case, marksman tier three then. <laughs> Yo, I said that from the start. Y'all are the ones who push marksman up. I don't I, like considering a bug abuse. Like, come on, one patch that's gone, like then it's fucked. Do we all agree I think to, I think to, I think Bowmaster is better than Marksman for sure. I think it's better than Marksman okay, for sure. But like like tier two better than Marksman or tier three better than Marksman? No, like tier the two part? better than Marksman for sure. I think so. You're sleeping on the utility and the the the, the homies it has. But what is the utility besides just the homies? It has crazy lifesteal. I mean those those two are already big. Oh, you okay. just like it's it's difficult to HP die on this class basically. That is crazy life steal. The TP is also really good. Marksman has that too, but the TP in general at large in the whole game is really good. Okay. I think okay. uh, the TP is definitely better on a hurricane class than that can stop at any time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. I agree. E even just being a hurricane class is a good thing. Okay, then put Marksman in tier three and put Bowmaster in tier two. Yeah, put put where Bo put Bowmaster where Marksman would be. Or yeah, where was at. That's fine. That's fine. Now you guys got to hear the reasoning for Kana. Trust this is a main tier. So this isn't just based off end game performance. This is like your experience, like playing this class, like start to finish, or not finish, start to like end game. That's why Kana is low. Uh, okay, let's talk about Demon Slayer since Lawrence is back. Sure. Yeah, let's talk about Demon Slayer. The last main yeah. that we talked about. Yo, there's no yeah. way you don't think this class is OP. There's no way. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but yeah, for real, this, this class is like crazy busted. So like, to, I guess to put it in perspective, so like, even before six job, this was like one of the strongest classes in the game. But then I think that six the Demon Slayer six job is insanely good. Like almost all the damage is boosted already. Um, mm -hmm. but would, like I think fucking like dark meta and like weapon aura is like the only thing that's not boosted. And then the the and then like the origin is actually really good. So this sort of goes back to like what we were talking about. It was like the uh, origins where you like Oz before or after popping. Mm -hmm. The origin skill and like so like Demon Slayer's origin is like the nature is like you use the origin skill and then you use the short buffs after that. So it's like really easy to guarantee that like a lot of your origin damage hits as a result of that. Um the origin also has a really short cutscene of like only three seconds. So yeah, the basically the end result is uh, Demon Slayer's origin does like a crazy amount of damage. Like uh to contrast, like the the origin burst versus the non-origin burst like the origin burst literally does like 1.5 times more damage so it's a very deep gap um and yeah just like overall like this class's damage output is really crazy like i think it's um like sim very similar to nightwalker right now with um just how good the sixth job for demon slayer is mm -hmm. uh uh, obviously, the farming on this class is exceptionally brain dead with TP farming. <laughs> and um, mm -hmm. yeah, like, have you ever TP farmed before? Me? <laughs> 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 yeah, you. Uh, what do you think, man? I don't think so. He's TP no. farming no, right just... now, dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, and then, um, it, like, literally the only weakness of this class is that it's a two-minute class. So, or actually, I guess the, there's one more weakness. The other weakness is, um, 
the burst lasts so long of 65 seconds for awakening i think that like i mean in party bossing there's literally nothing you can do about the fact that benny expires before awakening ends like no like no, no amount of good play will make it that you can utilize more of benny from awakening how do you feel about demon slayer uh when awakening is down Oh, Demon Slayer's off burst is fucking terrible. It does no damage at all. Yo, it feels like shit without Awakening, bro. Like, it's like really annoying to play. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the nature of like Demon Slayer's burst is extremely strong. Obviously, it lasts a really long time. But um, as a result of that, like, yeah, they're, to compensate the off burst is fucking terrible. It's like... It's almost like a transformation class, you know? Yeah. That's a good way to put it, actually. Yeah. Like, it's almost like that. You transform, it's like you're arc. super giga. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you also swap your main attack as well. So it's not. It's a, it's a reasonable comparison. Uh, okay, another thing about Demon Slayer is it is very newbie friendly, too. Lots of options for things can't get punished unless you run yeah. rfs right I think glide is pretty not noob friendly though I Wait, think it's, uh... glide, glide is so fucking op you have chaos lock too you yeah do i anything. think that, yeah I'm, i i i think this class doesn't it's not it's not really lacking it at all in like the mobility or uh like utility department at all like they have, you have you have you have plenty of tools to deal with whatever situations you want Thoughts on uh, level one dark metamorphosis? Well, I mean, I think that it's just level one dark meta is just a flex option. Like, um, like if you you can give up like a couple of final damage in exchange for like significantly more survivability, and it's just kind of nice depending on the situation. Like, for example, if we're like running Kalos, and like the damage is like completely irrelevant because we one burst segments, then I can just like run level one dark meta to like improve my survivability a lot. So mm -hmm. it's just like a, it's just a sort of trade off. Like with level thirty dark meta, you have you have higher damage ceiling, but level one dark meta, you have higher survivability, and you can also push DPS uptime higher because you can just like iframe a lot of patterns instead of moving to dodge them. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Are you going to use the seven and a half CD skip for your artifacts? Uh I mean, I guess the only other option is to. I mean, you you you. Final attack. I mean, you you you, you you can you can take almost everything from Legion artifacts. Like you get, you can you get you you can take like ten of the effects and fully max them or something. So it's not. Yeah, you don't really you, even make a there's choice. a lot. Like you're gonna have well, some effects have that are just like rate, whatever. So. Well, no, basically no one has to take the crit rate. Oh, that that's well, I, I guess, actually, actually, actually I guess it depends on how it depends on how good your Legion is. I have to take the crit rate. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, go go grind more. Whoa! Legion, just bro. pop Shadow Meld, bro. <laughs> Bug? Yo, that's another thing about DS though, is its crit rate and IED sources are really good. Yeah, this very, this class very is good. very is very beginner friendly because it's like so much crit and IED and boss. And then also um like the nodes is like you only really like awakening and lash are uh, like all, all you really need to get ready and like do decent damage. Mm hmm But yeah, overall this um I don't know. This is the like I, th I think this class is competitive for best solo DPS class in the game. Like, I wouldn't I wouldn't even consider anything other than Nightwalker as competition. And then, but then it does suffer a little bit in party play because the burst lasts so long, and it's a two minute class instead of three minute. Thoughts on uh, Hydro cool. versus DS? Um, I think for like overall bossing, Demon Slayer is better. Uh, Hydro is better for Covert and Dojo. But those that don't really matter that much. Hey, we all have our own opinions, you know. <laughs> yeah, I guess if you uh, <laughs> only care about Culver, then Hayata is the best class in the game. You heard that? Yep. Okay. So even though Hayata's Culver is not good, but whatever. Uh, we, Demon Slayer we... mobbing. Okay, so obviously you can TP farm, which is a huge, 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 huge buff. But it's not like TP farming rates are OP, right? They're obviously not. Um, so you it's can just um, easy. You... Well, you can you can get um in in like the some grandest regions um ma mainly just odium and um 
Carcion, you can get 16k kill rate with TP farming, which is, I mean, obviously it's, it's not 19k, but 16k is not bad. And then um, if you choose the active farm, you, they, there are there are 19k rotations for Demon Slayer and Carcion. They're not that easy because you have to flash jump and a lot and time some of your cooldowns. But it is available to you if you want to active farm. How down bad do you have to be to do that? To active farm on Demon Slayer? Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's like, it, the, the issue is that it's really active. And like, you have to rotate between, like, Demon Cry and Demon Chain. And, oh, God. And, and, and like, it, the damage requirements are ridiculous because you usually need one-shot fountain, which is kind of not feasible for a lot of situations. Well, so, mm -hmm. it will be next patch. That's true. Once once Blue Blood applies the fountain, it'll be really easy to one-shot with it. But for now, it's like, li I literally can't one-shot with fountain. It's so, it's, it, the damage requirement is too hard. Yeah. Damn, bro. You sound kind of weak. Oh, my bad. I need to... <laughs> I guess I need to improve my gear. <laughs> um, I think Demon Slayer is only active farm when they're on 3x. Like 3x scoop on. Alright, nah. so where are we putting DS? <laughs> I think it's... I, I, I would put like it right, right above, above here. Put, right above, I would put it right above Hayato. Yeah, yeah, right that's here. That's what I was thinking. You know what's yeah. funny? These that, two like, classes have been historically competitive for a long time. Yeah. And it's just like, it, like literally the only weakness of this class is it, like, it it goes from like literally the, like, the best or second best solo bosser, and then it like falls down a little bit for party bossing. But it's still a quite serviceable party bossy because the class is like so much of their damage on their burst. Yeah. Okay, that's good to know. All right, let's talk about hmm. Lumi. Wait, is that the wait, last Freud's just... class? Oh, what? Do, do, do you still feel this way about Demon Slayer? If if with and without, like, what, what about without the Rune Force Shield? Well, I think oh. without Rune Force Shield, it falls down a lot. It's definitely still quite strong. Oh, interesting. interesting. But it's yeah. it's kind of B, dude. Yeah, I mean, I think that like ten FDs would be enough to like swap it down to like the bottom of tier one. Yeah, but like, like I still, the class is still strong. I think a lot of classes are, 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 there are a lot more good classes than bad classes now. Like, there's a lot of classes that, I agree. that are, I like, completely close agree. enough within, like, 10% FD. Def I completely agree. And I think it's a good thing. I think people should see something like this and be happy that almost anything you play is fine. Mm hmm. Yeah. Lumi. Okay, is this the last Freud's class? I think so. Okay, Lumi. The worst Freud's class out of all of them. I think bro. it's shit. <laughs> I think it's probably... Okay, so it's mobbing is obviously good, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, or, yeah. Lumi's mobbing is, 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 is... No, it is really good. Yes. It, it, that's that's like the only <laughs> thing, Jeff. though. That's literally the only thing, though. Bro, but Je Jeff won't even... Jeff wouldn't disagree to the mobbing thing. It's just the mobbing thing isn't that impactful as a Lumi main. Um, yo... So Zong like, Zong couldn't even do fifty percent of gloom, bro, in one burst. Right off the bat, I'm thinking like it's a battle of the tier fours, dude. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I, I don't think, I don't think Lumi's anywhere in the close to that bad. Like, I mean, I think that the class is so. I think the overall damage output of the class is okay. The issue is that the like as you guys were saying, the burst from the class is poor. But I think that like. I don't know when I saw uh, Lappy's burst BA, it was like it was pretty good. Like obviously not as good as like actually strong burst classes, but it's not like he was like doing no damage at all. Like that guy would one open gloom with no trouble at all. Yeah. So I, I don't think that like the class is it's like it's 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 not strong, but it's it's also not as weak as people say it is. Mm hmm. The thing the thing about Reserve brings up a good point. The thing about Lumi is sometimes like you get weird interactions with Ender. Like the hitbox just can't fucking hit the boss or something like that. I don't. I, f I feel like that's just like a that's the issue with Gloom's height. That's like not. Uh -huh. That's like yeah, not a general with, issue. <laughs> even Pana's okay. uh, uh, mastery core can't hit Gloom. <laughs> At the very bottom. That's crazy. 
Yeah. No, that reminds me of something uh, that I, I did. Did does 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 Hayato's mastery core like Ride Blade have lower vertical range than the pre mastery core? Because I noticed that when uh, like so you know when Dark Nell does the FMA attack, he like he does, yo, I yeah, he doesn't he, hit him. He, go, he, 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 he goes him. like two pixels off, and then as a mm -hmm. result of that, the Ride Blade mastery core doesn't hit him anymore. Yeah, I, I, you know what I think they did? I think they literally just dragged the hitbox by the corner and dragged it forward a little, and then they like slightly altered the the height as well. Yeah, like, I think they made the height like a couple pixels shorter or yeah. something. It's like because it's really I can't minor, hit Dark Nell. It's crazy when he does that. I have funny. to jump. It's pretty funny, but yeah, Wait, he I mean, goes off the ground. Yes, it's just very like tiny. a tiny bit, a tiny <laughs> bit, bro, <laughs> and then we can't hit him. It's yeah, crazy. Yeah, bro, goes like goes like two pixels in the air, and then Riot Blade doesn't hit anymore. It's hilarious. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is it better to just switch to mobbing stance at that point, or do you actually just no, 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 it doesn't no, matter. Not energy. No, it doesn't. Oh. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that much either way, because he, he's only up in there for like two seconds. Okay, you have to well, anyways, like, like, anyways. So you think it's not tier four, but it's definitely not going to be tier two, right? Um, I don't think it's tier two. I think it should be tier three. I think this class is too weak right now, straight up. Yeah, I think I think tier three would be okay. Like I think the class is. It's it's overall DPS like maybe in solo play it'd probably be like somewhere in tier two. But the issue is this class's burst sucks too much to really justify keeping it up. Do we there. think it's higher than Kana? I, don't know. I think Kana's value. I think I think Kana's party value is way more. Okay, okay. Let's take the two best things about each class, right? What's the best thing about Lumi? It's mobbing. Well, right? the mobbing. Yeah, yeah, then what's the best thing about Kana? Is it's party uh well, play, I, mean, right? Ka I think Kana's party play is, to, is more important than Lumi's mobbing, basically. But, like, so but I would Kana I wouldn't really put good it... mobbing too though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I but, think Kana's but, better than Lumi, straight up. Uh, but but I think that it's hard to compare with Kana just because Kana is like dragged so far down because of how bad its solo bossing is. So it's kind of difficult to compare in that like direct direction. Is Lumi better than Marksman? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. If it was me, I'd put Lumi at like the bottom of tier three. It's worse than Kali. Yo, don't I sleep on Kali, Kali, bro. I guess Kali's burst is, even though it's not that great, it's definitely gonna be better than Lumi just because of Last Resort. Yup. I mean, Marksman is so much easier and more effective. <laughs> is Lumi hard to play? Uh, it, it, it has its intri intri intricacies, but if you main it, like, you'll be fine. Yeah, it's it's like the, the issue is like you need to constantly stay on the boss or else your damage fall so really hard. And also yeah. lining up equilibrium for burst can be kind of annoying in parties. Oh, wait. Uh, wait, does Lumi... Lumi doesn't have like a toggle like a Ron does, right? Where they can no, they do. They can, they like... do. Oh, they do. Oh, okay, okay. Well, you don't. It's like it's not even a toggle. You just manually enter equilibrium or not. Okay. Because that was annoying thing about Ron. Like if you like, you would have to like edge your combo. <laughs> like yeah, I mean, you hit a thousand, like... you're instantly edge. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, Lumi is similar. Where like, I mean, yeah, like you, 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 like if your party's gonna burst it, you delay entering equilibrium, which. It's kind of bad for your own damage. Yeah. Oh, I remember coaching, coaching Jimmy and Zon's uh, Kalos party. It was, they will always be in situations like leaves on HP for me to charge equal Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's uh, the parties that are like Lumi and party is way worse. Like I think in solo it's kind of serviceable, but in party the the class just drops too much. Yeah. Damn. The reverse. So we think. So we think That's Lumi is better than Laura and, and Thunderbreaker then. I don't. Worse than Kali? I think it's probably better. I don't know too much about Laura and Thunderbreaker though. But I would assume it is better. Like Thunderbreaker doesn't have like a gauge to fuck around with, so it's its ease of gameplay is more reliable. I guess. But the Lumi like, gauge what... is very straight is like very straightforward in solo at least though. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I I <laughs> is Thunderbreaker worse than Lumi? I don't know. <laughs> well, to be okay, let's be fair here. Thunderbreaker is the first class we did. We talked about, right? Like, true. 
It's the first so, one. But... Okay, I don't know. I mean, where this is fair, to be honest. Where Lumi is or where Thunderbreaker is? Lumi. So do we need we need to reconsider where Thunderbreaker should go then? And Laura? It's no. possible, yeah. I mean, Laura, we could reconsider it. Please. That's too hard. Because like Lumi is just lacking the burst compartment. Does Thunderbreaker? Thunderbreaker's better? burst is terrible. Thunderbreaker has no okay. burst, bro. Yeah. Okay. I guess this is where we're putting Lumi then. All right, Cannon Master. Okay, CM. <laughs> I actually happen to be a Cannon Master expert. So, like, if we're talking about Dreamer, this shit's like yeah, this class crazy, goes crazy. <laughs> this shit's crazy, but we're not. So. Only took only took sixty one percent FD on their highest damage skill and ten percent FD on their origin to to bring it to where it is right now. Is that that sixty one FD is not even including the fact that it resolves all of its damage in four seconds down, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Which is also insane. Especially with the uh, lag to uh, Fatal. Alright, well, it's... I I don't really know too much about Cannon Master. Or like, We're talking the, about the... right now, right now. I'm just going to say it's, it's between Tier 3 and Tier 4. Yeah, this class is absolutely horrible right now. I, I completely just agree. Do right, now it's, like, right now, it's horrible. It's so weak. Like, like, the, like, the, like the class is the... Their like overall damage sucks. Their burst sucks. Their mini burst is hard to get off because it takes so long. Mm -hmm. There's like not. There's, and there's no buy. We have very little going for the class right now. They really need the dreamer changes. Mm -hmm. What's the Yo, what's I think the, the I think this time is tier four on the bullet per bullet. The, it's like time? 20, 20 something 25. seconds. Twenty five. Yeah. And you so it's like seventy five second bullet. I played a three with fifteen seconds. Yeah, charge. you carry three. Yeah. To use every 90 seconds. Okay. I see. It does have the best voice lines in the game, though. Oh, what is it? It's just fucking Cannon Master going crazy. Oh. Like, the voice actor went too hard, bro. I'll be honest, I think it's tier 4. I agree. Okay, thoughts on Monkey Magic and Banner? No, oh, they make that the, the bishops... Benny probably gets stronger. Yeah. Oh, that's true. I think it's a tier... I don't think it's tier 4. Just because it has monkey magic and banner. Which sounds okay, so Okay, Laura fucking spot, has but... support too, bro. And? What's the... What's with the fucking... Just say you hate Laura's, bro. We're thinking tier 4 then? Hmm. Yo, either I mean, Lara's in tier four or CM's or, or CM's and Lara are tier three. I I think it's terrible. I think class really needs help. What you got? It's probably worse than Lara, I think. Yup. No, <laughs> Lara does not go to tier three just because it's worse than Lara. Oh my dude. god, this guy's such a hole monitor, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Phil. Phil, I, this, I actually had this conversation with Lawrence before. Hmm. The, the, so, it, Cannon Master gets. I feel like Cannon Master gets compared to Dual Blade a lot, just because they're both nineties, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you would do you think it's easier, considering all the bosses in the game right now? Is is it easier to get Tempest off, or is it easy to get for for both of the mini bursts? Is it easy to get Tempest off? Or is, it easy, or is it easy to get the, the bullets off? Bullets. What? No way. I think it is, I think that it depends a lot on the boss, was the decision we came up with. Yeah. Where, like, I think for, like, Saren, Tempest is worse. But, like, for example, for Kalos, you're literally never getting off your bullets for mini burst. I mean, yeah. you're not, you're not getting your mini burst off for Tempest either, though. Well, you know, yeah, but I'm just talking about, like, in this, like, like maybe your solo, for example. Or, oh. Like it's like it, 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 but like it, like there are it like the bosses that move around a lot. 
bullets is atrocious. But for bosses where there's like a lot of like hazards, then Tempest is worse. It kind of just depends. Hmm. My, both, my of conclusion the, both, was, both of them are kind of shitty situations though. Yeah, my conclusion was if Mirror Tiger worked, it's always going to be Tempest being easier in solo. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, that's true. But that shit doesn't work though. <laughs> yeah. Just do you something you're familiar with, man. What's the Dude, big deal? I, for real. I, I was watching I was watching TMS Cloudwell do the Extreme Saren solo. Dummy fucking works for them. What the fuck, bro? Do you guys know that? Because I didn't know that. I did not know that. Because their familiars don't attack. Yeah, and they, they give They're just vibing. I did not know that. Rip. Alright, but anyways. Cannon Master mobbing is pretty good, right? Yeah, their mobbing is fine. They also have dice as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, true. Pirates. Their mobility seems pretty good, too. It is. It is. Like, it the is. kit they looks really good. Mobility. It's just, like, just getting their damage off is hard, and also their damage is just not high. Yeah, they just gotta wait till summer. They'll be a good class. Their Probably kit is good. They have, they have very fast movement. Um, they have micro movement, too. They have a very, very good iframe. Um, yeah. You think they're gonna two dollar cannons? They have a thirty percent damage buff with the pool maker. Don't yeah, sleep the Amazon on that. Prime package, bro. <laughs> yeah, the Amazon Prime. <laughs> I, 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 I doubt they'll nerf it, but we'll see. I guess. I think it's better than Thunderbreaker. When they're Blank. in that tier, I, I don't really bother anymore. Well, I don't know. We're just trying to make the as accurate as we can. I think we no, should just rename that, that tier to need help. Yo, maybe if you guys actually let Alara in the party instead of being fucking racist, bro. Bro, Vu, Vu will clear I, I think That's what I'm looking. saying. Like, let Alara in the party, bro. She is splitting time between her DB and, and Lara. Like, I think if she, like, focused on her Lara, she would probably have an easier time just because it just will have way more fragments, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with this. Adele? Adele? Sure. Yo, Adele's origin skill is called Maestro, bro. It's Spanish. I thought it was Maestro. No, it's Maestro. Why <laughs> um, I think Adele is just like a very generic good class. Like, it's just good at everything. It's not really bad at anything. It has good mobbing. Or like, good enough mobbing. Even though its swords don't do anything yet. Um, it has enough complexity to the class that it's interesting to play right it's not just brain dead it's burst is good enough um maestro is pretty strong and it's dps is good like it's just good at everything i don't think it's spectacular or anything though i heard that uh, adele gets less damage from six job than kana does i don't know how true that is but it seems believable given how many skills adele has unboosted yeah i think i, I think yeah, it's, it's, they, they need their hunt they need it's their, their swords boosted. But it's so more than just their swords, though. They have so many skills that need to get yeah. boosted. Is yeah. sword is there sword really um, Is Aether Creation. Forge not boosted? That one is. Okay. Wait, wait. What's no, no, boosted? No, no, no. What's which, boosted? One, which, which one is Aether Forge? Which one are you talking about? Aether Forge is the squigglies that happen every so often. But that's not boosted. I don't, I don't I, know. I think okay. that right now is like Cleave. Cleave and Dispatch. Cleave, Dispatch, and like one other. I don't remember. Was the it name. Plummet? No, pl plummet gets pl plummet and swords gets boosted next patch. Okay. But then they still, but then they still Aerial need like arms, okay. like rain and like. Yeah, uh, they need. They're missing a lot. They're missing yeah, a lot. Aether Forge. Yeah. Like this class, so this, this is class is, Yeah, th this class is just um in a it, right now it's just not in a good spot because they have such a massive amount of damage on being not boosted by six job yet. Mhm. Mm and also, the last I checked, I, I don't. I don't think the origin is that much damage. The the saving grace to origin is though, when you're doing your origin, unlike hero, your 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 infinity and your swords are still attacking. Yeah, yeah. the thing is like the yeah. the, the, the Adele origin, even though it has like a long animation, the damage might not be that nice. All you're losing out on is like cleaves because everything yeah, else yeah, is still yeah. going. Exactly. So yeah. because of that, they don't get punished that much by like the animation and all. It's like hero yeah. would. Time to yeah. find a cancel, guys. <laughs> That's true. But I mean, even if they did, it's just cleaves, like they said. Cleaves, like whatever. 
Yeah, because Adele, is, Adele is nice though, because a lot of the damage that you have is like not dependent on you doing anything. Like you just have to fucking cast the skills and they'll do all the damage for you. You just have to stand there and not die. But the issue is there's so many different low cooldown skills that you need to be cycling that like yeah, it's yeah, still yeah. very That's active true. regardless. Yeah, it, it is hard to play. It's not as brain dead as people think. Are we yeah, I think this like class is like very high difficulty for not very good reward right now. They right now, too, yeah. They just have right too now, much yeah. stuff not boosted from six job, yeah. And you still have to press all of them. That's, that's the issue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So where, I mean, it sounds like we're putting it in tier two, but where do you guys think it should be? I think it's like at the bottom. I think low Really? Tier. Yeah, I think yeah. at the bottom, because even though their damage wouldn't reflect that, the difficulty on the class is quite high. Like... So lower um, than Bowmaster? Yeah, man. Where's the Where's the Adele Kalisola, man? This guy tell me, bro, it's too funny. What? what? <laughs> yeah, it's because they're eating. Yeah, I haven't seen a, I've seen Adele. Yeah, I mean, like, it just said. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think that it just said uh, like the the class's damage output is be better for sure than a lot of the tier two classes, but it's just like can be hard to get it off in a real boss. And also, like, there's the thing where, like, as people farm more six job, Adele will just start falling behind compared to everyone else. Damn. I'll be okay. soloed, Kalos. Wait, is it? Oh, uh... right. I forgot. There actually isn't a dog house. So. Ah, shit. Okay, well, Bowmaster did it like a month earlier. <laughs> do, you, do you remember when the, the I don't know how accurate that, that chart is, but it, it seemed accurate for the most part. Some, some random canvas chart. Uh, isn't, like, Adele, like, the second lowest FD game from the current Hexa? I'm not sure, but what the numbers I've seen from what people in GMS have calculated, it seems it's really, really bad for the L6 job currently. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's fine. Tier 3? No, I don't think it's Tier 3. No, 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 it's not here. It's I think that is still fine. Three. Yeah. I think the sheer power it has is, is above tier 3. It's just the effort. Mm hmm Damn, so really... I, I guess bottom of tier 2 then. Mm hmm You're like right at the bottom or where, where do you want it exactly? I think it's stronger than Bowmaster though. Low-key. But you were, we were just talking about like the... Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, way, it's, way, it's way more complicated. Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's stronger than most of the classes in tier 2. It's just appreciably harder to play and execute. Yeah. But that's the uh, Evan also, too, though. Well, I think Evan's cap damage is a lot higher. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. You think that uh, was harder to play than, than, than Demon Avenger? The, uh, those two are Demon difficult Avenger, for different reasons. Is why yeah, it yeah. makes it hard to compare. Demon Avenger, like, like Adele, you, hit. Yeah, like Adele, you need to like cycle a bunch of skills while like not dying to the boss. Oh, mm -hmm. Demon Avenger is mostly just like focusing not dying on, to the boss. Yeah, focusing on not dying while staying on top of the boss, so your frenzy and shields and shit still hit. Mm -hmm. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, sure. Let's talk about um PF. Sure. Oh, okay. PF. Okay, we'll we'll do PF first and then we'll I think PF is the strong, strongest archer right now. How 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 time have changed? What? Explorer archers, I meant. Oh, okay. I thought you were oh. like uh, no, you no, 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 no. You, you think this Dude. is stronger than Kane and Mercedes? Dude, there, there's a Kane Merc, there's no way. <laughs> That's why I'm I thought about, you were crazy. I'm talking about explorer archers. I see. Okay. Um, I don't um, think it's tier one strong, but it's definitely considerably stronger than the other two archers. Maybe tier one strong. I, I don't know. Like, I, I, I know. Relatively speaking. Uh, let's see. All right. Well, it brings to the table twenty percent crit damage, right? 27 if you're considered With sharp eyes. obsidian barrier and sharp eyes yeah oh. yeah it's a lot so of damage i usually just go with 27 the number okay 
damn. That's more than smokescreen. Smokescreen's the like The bear is pretty good for both Cal and Cheese Fry. Cheese Fry. I, actually, the bear is pretty pretty good for both Callus and then Cal and... I mean, the bear is just pretty good in every boss. That's true. That, what does the I, origin do? I have no idea. It just do damage in thirty seconds. Is it like Ilium, where it just like enhances your your ancient skills and whatnot? It's a it's a it's a final attack type of skill. Like when you attack, it it, it just procs. Hmm. Okay. I mean, yeah, so it is a two-minute class. It's an archer. Bring sharp eyes to the table, has the bubble for crit damage. It, it seems like it's a pretty simple class to play too, right? It's a condensed two-minute burst too. It's a very condensed two-minute burst. Uh, on, on the surface, it's simple, but there is some micromanaging on this class for sure. Well, they, there, there is a gauge, right? You, 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 yes. you just, you, you just leveled the Legion yesterday. They, 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 they made it so you can, you can choose the, the, the gauge now. Yeah, yeah. They should, they made they did make it easier, but uh, there is still a little bit. Like, out of the three explorer archers, I think it's the most complicated one. Oh yeah, yeah. compared to the other two, yes, because those those those, those other two are just default classes. Mhm. Mm also, given that it's only like half half of its uh its primary skill boosted at, at the moment it's performing at, at what what it's doing right now is actually pretty impressive mm -hmm. i don't think it's stronger than arc what do you guys think arc no i don't think it's stronger than arc either no wait, wait does arc above evan huh wait what no, I don't think Evan? it's tier one. I, what what is this tier one discussion? I don't think it's tier one. No. No, no. Evan's in tier two right now, and Ark's in tier I'm two. I'm saying, but like, but like, we're mentioning Evan and Ark. If it's better than them, then it's no, no, no. no. Like I, I wasn't gonna one. put it in tier one. I wasn't gonna put it in tier one. Don't worry. I see. No, 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 no. So I consider the middle of the pack tier two is in the Dark Knight DB Phantom range. Is it above that or below below that? I think it's better than these guys. It, what about, by default, it already offers more support than these. Uh, by okay. default. What like about Ron? Up. I mean, Ron's three minute, so... It is three minute, but it's not like a... It, it, it's not like a just a free three minute, so to speak. You still have to like... It's not like a brain death three minute that just fits slots into any three minute class. If that makes sense. Mm hmm. Mm, I don't know. I don't think it's that much more difficult to play than Dark Knight. Okay. In between Arana and Dark, Dark Knight, then. Okay. I'm fine with that. I'm okay with that. All right. Let's, uh, let's move on to Nightwalker. <laughs> I mean. Wait, the, wait, did we talk about mobbing? Oh, for PF? No. Oh, mobbing is really, go really good. Go six shot, go six shot, six, six, six shot PF's mobbing is really, really good. Like even, even, yeah. even pre six job, like this class is very good mobbing, regardless. Like the default mastery, uh, what's that? Uh, Carnal burst is literally mm -hmm. the full, full format attack. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> yes. What it's broken. It's really, really fucking large. Okay. I mean, now, I mean so okay, okay. In that in that regard, though, where we were putting it, it's it's better mobbing than anything before it in tier two. You guys see that? Oh, mm -hmm. then because we had it behind Ark, Evan, Paladin, Paladin, and Aron, PF's mobbing is just considerably better than all of those. That's true. It is. But also, yeah, like, it is. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure where to put it. I'm down to put it. I, 
I, I guess it depends on how much we value the mobbing, right? Because it, 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 because paladin mobbing is pretty ass. <laughs> like, I think it's it's worse than a Ron's, just because mm -hmm. a Ron can get get around the map faster. Yeah, because of the combat stuff. That makes sense. Hmm. I'm willing to put. PF higher than Aram because putting it past Paladin is a bit hard just because how how strong Paladin is in a party. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'm okay it, with it's that. It's probably better than Aram then. Yeah. Just because of the mobbing difference. Yeah. Okay, Nightwalker. <laughs> um. Okay. So, let's for a second here. Let's just let's just focus on the ability of bite farming alone. So let's say the class was nothing. It can't do anything but buy farm. What would that automatically make it? Like what tier? Like just from bite farming. Just a little thought experiment here. Mm, that's hard to say. If it's like a... Mm. I, mean, I think that... Like, I mean, I think if bite... you said about dual blade, if you have minus five cooldown and you have bot farming. <laughs> yeah, I think bite farming by itself is not too special in today's meta mobbing. Like there are a lot of classes with like literal standstill rotations that get decent kill rates so i think that by by far by itself, obviously it's nice but i wouldn't say it like it's not like a major factor do you, okay but do you think that by farming alone makes it better than like cm no okay Maybe. you would need to you would need to have some decent damage at least or something okay okay i don't i don't value mobbing i mean because like like i said like there are a lot of classes with like really lazy farming rotations. Like by farming is not super special by itself. Okay. Yeah, I, I just wanted to see if you guys would be willing to say like by farming alone is better than an entire class. That's kind of disrespectful to be honest. <laughs> I know, I know, I know it is. I know it is. I was just curious to what you would say. Um, but anyways, we can move on to just talking about Nightwalker in general. I mean, yeah, what so, more do what more do you want from a class like? Yeah, so I think in terms of like overall as a DPS class, this is just uncontested best. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that even though there are like some classes that might perform slightly better in certain situations, like this, like nobody outperforms Nightwalker in the full picture. Or like, I think for solo bossing, they're like basically the best. I think for party bossing, maybe they're like a little bit weaker in burst in some classes, but like they will do more overall damage because their off burst is so much stronger. So, mm -hmm. I think that, like, overall, this is, like, uncontested best DPS class. And it's, like, the literally the only DPS class I would even be willing to put in tier 0. Same. Yeah, so here's... here's I agree with you. Um, I do think it's the strongest class in the game. I think it's mobbing is also really good. Even just outside of bite farming. Uh, the fact that GDS lasts, like, has an insane uptime now with the hexa boost is crazy um the only thing i have to say about nightwalker and i feel obligated to say is a lot of people fall into okay a lot of people will play nightwalker because i've seen this with um in hyperion all the time they'll play nightwalker but and they'll get to grandis and their mobbing actually isn't as good as you think it is just because they're weak so that's just something to keep in mind like if you're gonna play this class know that like your early game People are going to hype it up, but it's not going to be as good as you think. But once you get past that point, yes, it's broken as fuck. I mean, but the thing I is, it's like, it's, like mostly, it's, mostly, it's mostly your bats that struggle. But, like, obviously bats is very important for Nightwalker's mobbing. But, like, mm -hmm. other classes with, like, similar mobbing of, like, some mark type thing. They'll, they'll, mm -hmm. they'll, those guys will all, also all struggle as well. Bats, I'm pretty sure bat, bat is already the strongest mark. Projectile, yeah. Yeah, and it bounces too, so it hits more than once. Yeah. Yeah. Just I, I just wanted to keep that in mind though, because because I've definitely seen some Nightwalkers where like they they ate the hype and weren't as they didn't pog out as hard as they thought they would. Mm. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it's still like, it's OP as bats. fuck though. Yeah, and also the class has crazy utility in it bosses does. where like you can you <laughs> have the bat you have the backstep you have some dark sight. Um, you even get like a small shield and heal, like it kind of has it all. You know what this reminds me of, dude? Hmm. It just I don't know why, but it just re reminded me of like Pokemon evolutions. You know? People look at the final evolution 
right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, bro, you're like a Monferno when you start Grandis. You know what I mean? Like, you're not at Infernape yet, right? Like, yeah. relax. But once you get nah, there... You're like, you're like, like, you want a Dragon Knight, but you got a Dragon there, you know? Yeah, you're a Magikarp, you're a Dratini. Bro. You're not gonna... You're not a Gyarados yet. True. Uh, also has Self Door. Yep, that's another thing. Nightwalker. I mean, I think this class is broken as fuck. Like, it is literally the only class I wanted to play other than Hayato starting in Hyperion. Which which says a lot, by the way. That says a lot. Something, I'm a something Hayato freak. interesting about the door. It's a 30-minute cooldown, right? Yeah. What's interesting to me is that it's a toggle. And I, I don't know if this is relevant all, or not. All, all the other self-doors are, self are basically toggles. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, like Shade and Phantom and... I shade is no it. longer a toggle. It's just passive now. No, no. no shade, shade, Shade's door is toggle. Oh. What? I feel like something I don't see is people intentionally leaving it off and then turning it on at the right moment, if that makes sense. Oh, yeah. no. I've, I've seen... You know what's funny is I literally saw somebody do that yesterday. Yeah, I think it's because there's You're a right. big smart, it's smarter when it, to do when that. it procs, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, I was people do like that with like Bishop's door. They'll eat the door first and turn it on. For example, or they'll do it in like the second half of dark now. Then they'll turn it on. I do it before test. I want to say that makes sense. Like if you're doing calls, turn it on, and then after you pass, I do it turn before it the two four test. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty interesting mechanic to have available for a class yeah, anyway. self door. T zero. Well, I'll, this class has fucking everything, up. dude. Yeah, it does. That that's what that's the first thing I said. Like, what more do you want in a class? The only thing it doesn't Holy have is shit. giving the party like a hundred FD or something. Yeah, I mean, but like you can't. I mean, you you're you're gonna have some DPS in your party, and you're always gonna want a Nightwalker because because this this class is just uncontested in terms of how good it is as a DPS. Yeah. Thoughts on uh, Dominion being the only iframe? I mean, I think iframes are not... Like, obviously they're really nice in certain situations. Like, for example, for Kalos test, you really want iframes for sometimes. But I don't think it's like a major issue that you lack iframes in today's bosses. Like, you can cover... Like, Jenny iframe or Kerwing or whatever can cover most of the cases where you'd really want an iframe. Can Nightwalker... Do you have a Kerwing? Me? Yeah. I do, yes. That is why he lost to uh, Alan. It's just whatever. Kerring is pretty pretty good. I don't I don't regret doing it at all. Nah, he's not, he's not losing for season two, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Kerring is crazy, bro. All good. I have beef with oh, so, Kerring. So, so, so I was funny. asking, can I walk her up jump and then flash jump after? Yes. Yes. Oh my fucking god, dude. I know, it's so OP. Like, why? Oh my god, man. They can also stop their flash up midair. Like, <laughs> just lose momentum. Broken ass. You know class. how many Shadowers are, are seething through their teeth right now hearing that? Okay, but Shadower has, like, other things. Yeah, right? they have Shadow Salt, sure, but, like, still. Shadower gets 20% more money, bro. They need to, like, stop. <laughs> yeah. Sure, but like that, not not enough money to make up for how much damage they're 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 missing out on compared to. Nightwalker. But this is like the Spider-Man meme, like straight up. It's like the two god classes. All right, playing. tier zero behind Bishop, of course, right? Yeah. But is it tier zero though? Like, is it though? It is. I would. It's it's it it deserves it by being the, the best DPS class in the game. By a very large margin too. Yeah, I know this class is too strong, bro. It's crazy. Personally, why, why I, think, I, like I, think class... Hyatt, I think Hyatt can gap it, but whatever. Why does it seem like this class is slept on in other regions, by the way? Because of attack speed? It's it's. A, I think that it's a combination of attack speed and also that class didn't really start becoming that OP until Ignition. So, like, it just didn't get as much attention as, as a result of that. Also, like... I guess Dawn Warrior stole a lot of the spotlight in Ignition because it just looks cooler. Even if it's not as strong. And it's, and it's more brain dead. Is Nightwalker, like, I mean, I, get, uh, I don't think Nightwalker, Nightwalker has tech. It's definitely not brain dead. It, yeah, it obviously has tech, but I don't think it's like that. Like, the base level of gameplay isn't that difficult. It's not. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, yeah. I think there, people there can pick it up. There are far more yeah. complicated classes, but. 
Yeah. It's still Dawn Warrior. Yeah, I agree. All right, let's go. I don't know, Wall Hunter. <laughs> okay, maybe we should maybe we should start speeding things up. It's been five hours. Holy shit. <laughs> Wild Hunter, I mean. Wild Hunter's a tier zero Zakum class. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, this is just stuck at Zach, 50 buff in her. Like, that's it. Done. Well, I mean, I mean, I think that it's it's okay. Like, I think the class has, um, I think its damage is a bit low. It offers moderate support. It's kind of nice with the current bosses where, like, the hardest phase is, is like, near the end where you uh, don't have Wild Hunter buffs. Mm -hmm. So, Wild Hunter is quite nice for that reason. Yeah. Um, like, it's not really that important, though. Like, well, I mean, it's, it, I mean, it's damage is damage. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, a bit, it's a bit higher. It's I think it's, like, 8 to 10. It Probably closer to 8. But, like, regardless, the point is that the, the hardest phase of the boss is always the end ones now. So because of that Wild Hunter buffs is it's like really good because it applies to the actually important phase of the boss. Um and like the class in in terms of like utility, it's 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 a bit awkward at times. Like the fact that the Jaguars basically behave as a summon is really inconvenient at times. Like you basically get the disadvantages of a summon class without getting the advantage of a, of a summon class. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um but that being said, the class has um, is fairly burst heavy. A very large percentage of the damage happens during Jaguar Storm, and the actual burst is relatively safe to execute because you get a high frame for it. So yeah, eleven seconds, right? Yeah, I think overall the class is like, in terms of like actual individual damage, it's on the low end, but it does have support to help boost it up, and then. Mm -hmm. The mobbing is also really, really, really easy on this class. Oh, yeah, the six-shot mobbing with the mastery core yeah. is really good. It's it's like this this class is one of the lazier mobbers in the game. Mm -hmm. Safe yeah. burst too, iframe. Yeah. I I feel like this class is not tier three. No, I think it's probably. Oh, it's I think I think the support alone boosts it to like near near the top of tier two, just because support is. Like, even though, like, people thought, oh, you can just get, like, Wild Hunter buffs outside. Like, for the actually important bosses, you need Wild Hunter buffs at the end. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, that's, that's why you need to value the support pretty highly. Does this... How big is Dreamer for them? Did they get, like, 12 uh, skills boosted or some shit? So, they, they got all their Jaguar skills boosted. Um, it's... The thing is, they kind of got... Well, maybe cheated is not the right word. But like basically their master core kind of sucks because it only boosts the Jaguar skills by like 40% damage. But like a normal master core would probably be like 60 to 70. And it's because it's like a double dip boost where it's multiplying on top of Jaguar Storm's boost. So that's why they gave them a low number. Mm. Um, yeah, so I think it's like they 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 get they overall get like a decent dreamer patch. Um Yeah, I think the class is just like it's in a like it's like the self damage is below average, and like their utility is like kind of lacking in some ways. But the support is is nice and adds to the Yo, value it, to the cost. It can taunt monsters, dude, or bosses. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Talk about yeah. Angry, right? I mean, they but they they yeah they they like they they removed that in Dreamer or some shit. It's like they did. It's because it, it's because it, it was one of the boosted skills, and they made its duration like ten times longer or something. Yes. And then as a result, that it became actually OP, so they just removed it. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of shitty. Yeah, even even during KMST, there was some 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 uh, uh, Wall Hunter who just went to went into like Kalos P1 and just perma taunt taunt Kalos, and they were like, okay, we're we're just gonna remove this shit. Oh, so they just removed the skill? No, they just removed the that they're working on bosses or something. Like oh, what? Why would they remove the ability from it to work on bosses? I don't know. They they did next on Ace Wild Hunter or some shit. Good. Okay, so tier two, and you're you you think it's like on the high end or the top? Yeah, the the high end largely because of the support and the fact that it's like fairly burst heavy of a class. So, do you think it's worse or better than Paladin then? Because that's that's I like horror. Think it's worse. There's no way it's uh, better than Paladin. Well, I think the thing is like I think the the individual damage from Wild Hunter is better than Paladin, and I guess but the support is hard to compare. Yeah, because it's one one is like to the whole party, one is like to one person.
also like um like paladin has so we were talking about how like paladin has like lacking mobility and that may but it's compensated by the damage reduction like jaguar's mobility or sorry wild hunter's mobility when they're not on the jaguar is terrible so oh yeah so it's like they have this awkward problem where they have to like constantly mount and dismount from the jaguar to like get appropriate mobility Mm. Wild Hunter also you have a pretty good um, playthrough of the game early on as well because whatever party you join you're always going to be relevant in terms of just party buffs like at any stage in the game so that's a bonus it's also a hurricane class a hurricane makes it really easy to uh, move around with as well oh I mean, the the yeah. backstep hurricane kind of falls off after like Lotus, though. Like, it's nice for the bosses that have like a push, but then mm -hmm. after that, it's like not. I mean, it's nice, but it's not that big of a deal. Mhm. Mm I think thinking... it's around around PF and Paladin. Yeah, I just, yeah, I think I just don't know if it's. I don't know if it's better or, or worse than Paladin as all. Well. Just think that ballpark is fine. Yeah, okay. I think it's hard to compare because of the nature of their support is different. Okay, let's talk about 3, 6, 9, 12, 13 more. 13 more. Let's talk about zero. zero. Yup. Zero. This guy's Mobbing been getting buffed is... a lot. I don't know anything about this class other than it can bind the boss for like 40 seconds straight. <laughs> yeah, probably longer if you're lucky, right? Yeah. Not Cowling, mm -hmm. right? No, of course not Cowling, but any other boss. Okay. I think I remember the only thing it lacks is just... Cancel. Uh, do you guys remember why this class just used to be able to cancel Kalos' FMA? Yeah, you, there were there runs where like there's a zero in it and Kalos just doesn't FMA the whole run. Yeah. It's like, kind of crazy, but obviously that was a bug that was fixed ages ago. Yep. <laughs> How big is the top? I... I... Wait, the order is just a nuke, right? Yeah, that's a super long freaking cutscene too. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It is. I don't think there's any. Wait, I don't think any it's just a nuke. nuke. I think it. I think, is it just a nuke? Wasn't there some kind of passive, or maybe that's from the Master Core? I don't remember. No, you were thinking about like the. They, they, they have a they have a special effect on their Master Core, or sorry, on their enhancement is like the the one that changes the background. That one has like a special enhancement. I don't remember exactly what it does. Chrono break? Yeah, chrono break. It like it like increases duration and increases the, the buffer or something along those lines. I don't know. That was the exactly. bind, right? Yeah, yeah, it's the bind. Or it can be a bind. I think you can toggle it too. Like it's just like how Aran can toggle the the bind, I think Zero can too. Yeah, so yeah. the utility is pretty crazy. Obviously, the extra binds are insane. Do you guys remember, like, before Six Drop came out, they, they got a new skill? Yeah. I remember, like, people were, like, I remember, like, talking to, like, that guy doesn't play anymore, but this this was one uh, Zero friend I had, I had at the time. He he basically quit after that patch. But he, he was saying that new skill was, like, 20 FD or something. I think that's what Jeff was saying too. Because he also plays a zero or something. So I don't think. Uh, so I don't think this class's damage, like overall damage, is bad anymore. It's just not like impressive. But it's definitely not, like not shit. I don't. It's, I I don't really under. I don't even know what zeros is uh, damage situation even looks like. Like is is it like. Do they have oh, it's just, it's just very if you have heavy and, and very low burst. That, that's the only issue. It's a two minute class. You will have to look at the V scores. I, I don't remember exactly. It's two minute, four minute, right? Oh, okay. But yeah, from what I can remember, it just doesn't didn't have like a very good burst or burst at all. Class four minute goddess. 
I don't even know what the the goddess does. How good do you guys think the the the, the party is uh, the the party support is from this class? For zero, I think it's it just makes everyone's job easier, doesn't it? I believe so. Like everyone just has a way easier time bursting. Would you guys? Okay, so given that it's, it, it it has like really good and unique uh, party support utility um and the situation is like not 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 exactly similar to kana would you guys put this higher or lower than kana i think oh. it would depend a lot on how good zero's personal damage is which i don't really know i think i i i i honestly think it's considerably better than than, than kana well i mean, From, everyone, everyone, but, I mean everyone, everyone is far ahead of kana it depends on how much oh I guess the question is like, is it better? Is it more damage than marksman? I can't tell you about that one either. Yeah, I'm not really sure how much damage zero really does. Should we just put it in on strict here then? Because I actually don't know this class. Thing. It sounds like none of us really know that much about Zero. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I actually, well, I, all my knowledge about Zero is from that one friend, and he quit before New Age. So, oh, well, it's definitely not gonna be tiered one. So it's it's either it's either tier two or tier three, and hard to tell where it belongs without knowing how much damage it actually does. Hello. Do you know zero damage? Zero's damage? Yeah, uh, well, it's been, getting, it's been getting a lot of buffs as of for the uh, as of the recent chap uh, not chapters. I'm talking about fucking. I was thinking about One Piece. Um, as of the recent uh, patches, but um, I wouldn't say it's super strong, but it definitely does pump good damage like in a party. Um, like, do you think it's higher than Marksman? Because if it's higher than Marksman, then we... Oh, we... higher than Marksman? Uh... No, I don't think so. Oh, if it's not higher than Marksman, then it's definitely a tier 3 then. <laughs> I don't think it's stronger than Marksman. No. It does have really good utility, it's just that... It does. It's, it's move is super good, it's survivability is crazy. Um, it has the very unique bind effect, it's mobbing is really good. I think it's the damage. Albeit it's been getting stronger, it's just not there yet. Everything else about it is really good though. Didn't that like, class so normal Kalin in KMS? I well, I think know. at this point, most classes in the game have solo normal No, Kalen. it's one of the earlier ones though. Was it like, wasn't it like shortly after Dreamer? I think so, yes. I mean, I yeah, think I'm that, talking about that, right that, now though, Dreamer gets stronger. Yeah, I mean the thing is like soloing after Dreamer is not particularly impressive because like it was, the right, it was after Dreamer that like most classes started soloing Kaling. That's yeah. true. What if we would just put it right behind Kana then? Yeah, I mean it's, I it's, mean, it's utility. Utility, it's utility will definitely make it better than Marksman. That's fine. Okay. It's mobbing is probably. It's vomit is really good. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I think it's like it has like active options and like lazy options, right? Because you just toss beta across the map or something and weapon throw. GMS zero soloed before GMS arc. I mean, the thing is, that's not really like a class thing. That's more of like a player thing. What's next? Okay, let's talk about... Um, do we want we a fun going... one or a not fun one? Okay, let's go. How, how come half the class we have left are red, man? Yeah, they're all red. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> Maybe I have like a subconscious, like. There's a lot of red and greens, dude. Like color fucking bias or something. Okay, they're like a rainbow order now. This would go here. Bam? Sure. Bam. Yo, this is just like better Dawn Warrior. 
Yeah, so Bam is overall better than Dawn Warrior. Their support is a little bit stronger. And I think that their six job overall offers a lot more damage than Dawn Warriors. Yes. Yeah, it's like, amazing. I think I think yeah. like I think Bam would Bam would be competitive for tier zero just because it's basically the best out of the non Bishop or Beast Tamer supports. Yes. Mm hmm Like it's it's uh, like I think that the like the fact that it's personal damage is high compared to the other supports is like carrying a lot of this evaluation. Yeah. yeah. So 100 percent When I was recruiting for extreme black mage, I should have picked up a bam instead of a dawn warrior. Well, I mean that was pre six job, so that was literally <laughs> a completely different environment. All good, all good. I, I think Bam is competitive for, for T Zero. Yeah, it's just the thing is their their six job is very nice. The class's mobbing is also super easy as well. Mm -hmm. uh, just overall, the, the mobbing class is, is really in a good very too, good right? spot right now. Is it? Isn't yes, the yes, their mobbing the, is the really, really good. Dude, like super, super high. Wait, you mean mobility? No, no, no mobbing. The time on the they're the, mobbing. The, the oh, big scythe okay. guy in the background. Oh, I see. I think, I think the uptime on that is really high or something. Also, isn't the mobility the best out of all the TP classes? Yeah, their mo their mobility the is. Software, right? Their mobility is crazy. They're, they can dash across the map so fast. They can change the dash. That aqua it's, double, it's also aqua double TP mid air. It's like they can up jump into double TP. Yeah, so they could go any direction very quickly. Up, diagonal, right, left, down. It's crazy. Mm hmm. I think it's T0. Damn. I don't know enough about it to to argue or to be for it on tier zero or not. Um. Like so, is, is, is the only reason Dawn Warrior is not T zero? Okay, uh, it's okay. So for it's for it's, it's, it's personal no, no, no. DPS is lower, but it's also its support is also worse than Battle Mage as well. Okay, but for tier zero, think of think of more than just the party play, right? Like think of the entire class at large from character creation to end game like is this like a perfect class or as close to perfect we, as possible i'm not sure i don't even have a bam i think i mean this this class <laughs> I, I, think in block. Overall, I think it's overall is pretty smooth from early to to all the way to end game it doesn't it doesn't have like an entry barrier i agree just, with you i think it's even it good early. all the way yeah. through yeah. Only thing is that, you know, being a mage, you don't have a real iframe just because, like, they just don't give mages real iframe because of the E form. But yeah. Uh huh. This, this class has no iframes? Oh, yeah. Well, I, mean, it's, 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 I think I'm Basically, birth. all mages don't have iframe. What, what are you talking like, about? They, like, they, like, they're one of their burst <laughs> skills gives them iframe, but that's not very. It's like, it's only on, like, the initial cast. Right. What do you mean? Evan has one, Ice Lightning has one. It's true, I guess. Checkmate, Phil. Lumi has one. Kana has one. Oh my god, Phil's going about to go crazy. Kana, anyway. Kana's iframe is as shitty as... Uh, 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 okay, Kana, well, Kana's, Kana's iframe, iframe is, is not that shittier. bad. That one's even shittier than only? them. The Kana iframe used to be really good. But then they both yeah, then them. they finally fixed it after like, what, two years? <laughs> 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 Alright, whatever. Let's just focus on Bam. I think... I think okay let's okay how about this how we're obviously a big part of it is because of its party performance right because of how much fd and stuff it gives what about solo like just straight solo performance yeah, i think it's saying, still pretty good solo too yeah i think that it's what it's it's so it's solo performance is very good and like the thing is it's like with i think that it's higher than dawn warrior is like mm -hmm. a big consideration of why i would put it in tier zero i okay. think that battle mage is really really strong right now because their sixth job is good does this class okay. have 90 second burst? Yes. Yes. Yep. So does it, it does. ring swap and party and then continuous and solo or no? I think that I've heard that continuous is better solo. No, yeah, Sime si 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 uses continuous in BMP4. Yeah, or a scythe is 90 seconds too. Like he swaps to it? Hmm. What? You said he uses continuous in P4 black mage? I don't know why he swaps, but yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, that's kind of crazy, you know? Like two minutes of like a dead ring.
Well, his other he says his other party member Danny is trolling anyway. So what's what's the difference, man? Yo, this guy fills in like an int party. <laughs> is uh is party shield also like smokescreen where it has like an untouchable effect or no? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So like lotus lasers won't like kill you, for example. But that's oh. like whatever. Oh well, yeah, there's also party shield. I I even, I, I even forgot about party shield. Party shield is pretty minor though. It's not nowadays. Yeah. It is. It only yeah. it only makes a big deal in a couple bosses, and even in those bosses, like in Sarah, it's you can just talk stuff. So it's not that big of a deal. We, we need extreme lotus, guys. Yeah, extreme. I mean, give give us extreme lotus, and then party shield. We'll we'll, we'll we'll be very thankful for party shield. Extreme Vihala should have like actual H lot in it instead of like a like a ghost. <laughs> Like real yeah, H lot enters the fight, and then when you kill it, he can drop a black heart. Yeah, or is yeah, it like... like the debris starts falling and like everything. It's like just straight up H lot purples, everything. You know, Damien brands too and swords. Yeah, yeah, you got to cleanse two altars, Viola and Damien. Yeah, like 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 fourteen ultimates. Yeah, exactly. Like with Uwu and uh, shit. True. All right, next class, next class. Go 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 go. All right, let's get to it. You're right. Um, let's leave Kaiser to the end just to piss off Zeru, bro. Just because I'm evil, bro. Just because I'm evil, bro. Uh, let's talk about Blaster, bro. Let's talk about Blaster. I think it's <laughs> automatic tier. Did someone say Blaster? Uh, I already knew you would say that, bro. Actual fucking observation hockey feet, bro. Yup. Already knew it, bro. Anyways. I, I think this class is pretty crazy solo. They, it's, it's damage output solo is really, really high. The execution though yeah execution is obviously very difficult okay this is a hot take mm. i don't think blaster's execution execution is that hard you you get a little bit of practice and it's more ryth rhythmic like you just hit the same keybinds i see i don't i'm not sure about that but i i will the one thing that is definitely true though is that the class's burst is lacking which yeah 100 a lot in party play even if it's like god of solo play I agree. Yeah, hundred percent. And it's mobbing isn't even. It's one of the lower mobbers too in the whole game. The origin make it make the verse better. The origin is a nuke, right? Yeah, yeah it's, it's just a nuke. nuke. It's, it's a like nuke. uh, it's just most swans but worse. Yeah. <laughs> Joe Moshwans is so crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's so sick. It's so I think crazy, I think it's a tier bro. three. I think Blaster's tier yeah, three. Moshwans is crazy, bro. I think the Master Core made their mobbing really good. Uh, from when I was watching uh, Heat Boy. Like Heat Boy, uh, he, he was like showcasing like the the mobbing. And I watch his streams. The mobbing seems mm -hmm. fine, especially after the Master Core. It just made the hitbox really big. Um, yeah. And then obviously like solo bossing, it's we it, it, we've seen those videos where like freaking like a like a twenty k like yeah, this like H roll every something. gear is yeah H roll solo <laughs> like yeah. this is like pre six job like years and years ago. Yeah. So, Obviously, the solo, solo portion of this class is really insane. The mobbing is like serviceable, um, but that's that's like after you unlock six job, right? Before that, uh, the mobbing seems pretty, eh. Like it's like shotgun punching over and over again. Is it actually good solo damage? Yeah, it, blaster damage is good. Yeah, for solo damage. All, all I know is that in in KMS reboot, this blaster is gapping everyone in dojo by like five full floors. So this class has to have insane solo damage. It, it does. No, it, it legit does. I've seen like one um, of the like one of like one of the best solo damage in the game is what it needs to be able to do that. I think it's probably just tier three. I don't know if it can go up any higher. That's the thing though. Is that that's the old that's legit the only thing it's got, bro. Is it solo bossing damage and that's it. Party like you would take almost anybody over a blaster. It offers still no support. Its mobbing is on the lower end. It's good enough, but there's a billion other better mobbers in the whole game. It's only got solo damage going for it. Actually, its survivability and kit are really good though. Like this, cl uh, this class is very has very 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 good survivability with its shield and its movement. Uh, has really good iframe as well. Um, but it's also a two minute class too, and it still has blaster bug. I think it's worse than marksman. I agree. I agree. I think it's worse than Marksman. I think Marksman's better. <laughs> yeah, Blaze Fire is so funny, man. <laughs> all right, put it in. All right. Let's, all right. Do it. we all agree that it's worse than Marksman, like tier three? I think it's better than Kali. All right, fine, bro. <laughs> yeah, I think that's fine. I'm fine with this. 
Okay, let's talk about... Because both classes are selfish. Uh, oh, go ahead, go ahead, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I, was, I was just going to say that both classes are selfish. They don't mm -hmm. offer party utility. Markstone like, offers more than Blaster. At least has Sharp Eyes. At least. Yeah, but... Marksman has burst. No, no, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying Marksman is better than Blaster. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was going to put Blaster higher now. I see. I was saying, like, comparing Blaster to Kali, both are selfish CPS and they don't have utility. So I think Blaster is better than Kali. I see. All right, let's talk about Sare. I Yo. think only Phil can really say something. This, this, class. Class, this class sucks, Dude. bro. Do you guys I'm, know how, like, how many classes that can actually score over 50k in COVID right now? A lot. I mean, I think that if with sufficiently farmed Hexa, I think that uh, every yeah. every class should be able to get 50k. I don't think 50k point. is that high, bro. Didn't Lawrence just upload a 70k video? Oh, man, my class is pretty OP. But I think that 50k is... With with like max text, uh, 50k is not very difficult. No, no, this was a month ago. I I, I, I saw Hoho's Coaster hit 50k a month ago, like uh, exactly a month ago. I see. Well, I'm not. I don't know what his gear and hexa look like, but like I don't. I don't consider 50k covert as like a big milestone. Without I agree. Unless, without, without without knowing more details. I haven't even hit 50k yet. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, but you you have, don't you have like 17 star gear or something? That's true. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have a 17 I'll star class. Yo, yo, what if you re-ran Covert during event buffs with a, with a Roar 5, man? <laughs> I did. Oh, you did? I actually didn't even know. <laughs> oh, nah. <laughs> Wait, is your Hexa leveled? Like, have you been playing a lot these days? Uh, Let me calculate. I mean, it's, I mean his Hexa is decent, but it's like a far, far away from like the most far. I mean, there's that Sean, other DP with like 15k frags or something. And that's what? 4,600 stars? frags. Oh, nah. What do we? Oh nah, that's probably more than you, is not. It definitely is. Yeah, it definitely is, bro. I got 140 drop. So, like, bro, I'm a, bro, I'm level 276 with 140 drop farming at like, shit maps. <laughs> of course it's higher. Like, I'm okay, in property, anyways. bro. How, I think the mobbing is like fine, right? Like you have like. Mobbing is really summons. good. On Sarah? Yeah, bro. Yeah, Corsair's, mobbing, that's like the one thing I got, bro. Yeah, mobbing is like the one thing that Corsair has going for it. Does it have party yeah. utility? It has flag and like, that's it? <laughs> uh, no, it doesn't have party utility. That's it, bro. Just the flag. Okay, so it has like off-brand like Haku or uh, not Haku, uh, Foxfire as well, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, those, uh, the crewmates are really good though. They're really good. The Cal from what I've seen from their Chaos Chaos Clear, okay, how how strong is seventy percent of a Nile Harker? <laughs> really strong, really because strong. Because they they he in his party, Laffy is also in his party, so um, and obviously that Nile Harker just gaps everyone in terms of damage because especially like their their other their their their, their other members is, is Shocks and and the the Corsair and three supports, so. Um, I think the burst is, is is significantly easier to execute and and uh, more coherent with the entire class ever since they they changed the two minute skill uh, down to ninety seconds. So it's a proper three minute class now. Oh yeah, that reminds me. You can Jenny iframe in the middle of Corsair's key down, right? It's not even yeah. a key down. It's not even key down. You just press it once. It's like a circle. Well, just well, I mean, I, I, well, yeah, but like I thought, well. But the, I, I thought that was like kind of interesting that, like, I mean, it acts like a key down, but yeah, I guess mm -hmm. that you can still use skills in the middle, which is like so they, they, really they, convenient they, actually. They it it performs well in in okay, so it performs well in Kalos and and Kalin, not in uh, Saren, just because like the ship just loses damage when the boss is not stationary. So like, if you're hitting a dummy, dummy, the, the class's damage is actually quite nice. But when a, when a, when a boss starts moving, it, you just lose a lot of damage from the ships. Really? I, I feel like you don't lose that much damage. Like in noon, it's pretty easy to position the ship so that, like, she she usually won't be on the far right side of the map. So if you place the ships like near the center of the map, facing towards the left, like, it's, isn't it usually going to be hitting her? 
for noon and then for oh for, i guess that's true for sunset I, I guess she will be moving around a lot but i'm sure you can probably find a way to like because everyone's gonna be playing middle anyways not corners and she'll usually be in the middle so like there's the off chance that she just does one two three into the corner which doesn't happen that often unless someone's there mm. that's a good point like i feel like she really you don't really use that much damage in, as corsair in, in siren she she has like somewhat limited range of mobility. Like in Dawn, she can be wherever the fuck. Midnight I think I really saw. Matter. I think I saw that Corsair is that the percentage of their damage that gets boosted by six job in the end is quite low though. So the class like will fall off a bit once people have farmed more hexa. Yeah. Obviously, this will change once more skills come out. But for oh, now, they're 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 in the the brain scrambler boost note no, uh, mastery waiting room. Basically. Yeah, like oh, right yeah. now, there, there's so much other damage is missing from six jobs. So like, maybe they can perform well for now. But once people progress more hexa, they'll start falling behind until future patches. Basically, mm -hmm. it's a hurricane class too, so even better in Siren. That's true. I I, I don't know about the damage though. So this to me, this class <laughs> seems better than anything in tier four. Oh, one hundred percent, it is one hundred. Yeah, I, 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 I think it's like tier three class. Oh, I, I do think. Well, I, if I you say their damage is seventy percent of Nightwalker, then that's pretty respectable. Like that would be it is somewhere it is. In tier two. Okay, so no, 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 no so I don't know if it's tier two. That is considering. Okay, so that is considering you're three. you're literally hitting a dumb. And like in Callus, you're literally hitting a dummy. Oh, so you, so you think that, that like in a real boss, their their uptime would be much much lower as a result. Like in, yeah, in for example, like if you if you're looking at like uh, what do you say, um, Calling P one, Calling P one and stuff like that, because your 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 ship is like, I think it's like a fifth of your 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 damage. I see. And like. Having to re reposition it or or repositioning the, the 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 tag is just really annoying and 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 loses a lot of damage because then you have to stop attacking too. And also, okay. this is depend. This also depend on the, the fact that like you you have to hit your, your brain scrambler every five seconds or whatever. Okay, that seems reasonable then. I do think it's stronger than marksman though. Okay. Okay. You want to put it like so above not. zero or something? No, I think zero utility is just so much better than what Corsair can bring to the table. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Like while Corsair might have potentially better personal damage than zero, zero makes everyone else's damage so much higher. Yeah, that's true. Just because the boss is locked down. Everyone okay with that? I'm okay. I don't okay. know enough, so I think I can't really argue anymore okay mm. all right let's talk about Kane. how many archers are left one two mages here thieves warrior int okay we got a one less int class to make it fair let's talk about uh fire poison Okay, so right off the bat, it suffers just from like the other explorer mages early. Like if you have no legion, or whatever, it's it's gonna be ass. If you're low level, it's ass. But uh, hitting 260 is a lot easier nowadays than it has ever been, and you unlock all your node slots. And getting 60 legion is a lot easier than it's ever been as well. Just to get that right out of the way, right? Because that's like one of the big downsides of playing this class. But after that, like, what's wrong with this? It's only it's only a high APM class. A lot to micromanage. Uh, has very good DPS. Its origin is so strong. It is getting nerfed though, but it is really strong right now. It is. What? And it has always been a very scary solo class that's never really desired in a party. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I yes, think that the, the, the that thing is, party. right now their their burst damage is actually okay. Like, obviously they only get the origin every other burst. Mm -hmm. But like they cast their origin, and like it literally just drops like 100 t, t damage. It's so easy to damage cap on it. Yeah. In the party, mm -hmm. so it's it's like, I think their 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 damage in a party is still pretty solid. It's not as good as like a true burst class, but like mm -hmm. they they can still like output like a lot of damage off burst. So I think overall, the class is like it doesn't really suffer as much in party as it as it ever has been in the past, just because their origin is so crazy good. Mm -hmm. 
Especially if your party has, um, like, constant FD buffs. Like BAM or something. Or mech. Where you're just, like, super juiced all the time. It makes really good use of that. It has untouchable as well. Uh, granted, it's, like, the worst untouchable. It's so short cooldown. Or it's so short and duration. The, and the class is also extremely easy mobbing as well. Yeah. It's so Solid good at mobbing. One, uh, I think it's tier 1 right now. I agree. Yeah. There's a solid, solid tier 1. Yeah, because mm -hmm. it's also one of the best solo bossing classes in the game. Yes. Which yeah. is really notable. Yeah. This class requires hands, though. Like, for sure. Well, I mean, it's just like, I think any of the classes that rely a lot on off-burst DPS is like, you just need to be really good at sticking to the boss. And you need to mm -hmm. cycle, like, a decent number of low cooldown skills. So it's, like, not... I, I wouldn't say it's, like, crazy hard, but, like... It has like the sort of standard requirements that a lot of these sort of high off burst DPS classes have. Mm hmm. For me, I think it's like right under hero. Yo, I think it's better than hero. Really? I want to say yes. I think hero's uh, party uh, burst is more relevant than this class is. Because hero yeah, can play I mean, two or they... three and, have, and, and do well in both. Yeah, I think the issue is Hero's Burst is just way too much stronger than FP. And, like, okay. I think that, like, in solo play, like, obviously FP is strong, but I, I actually think that, like, um, it does depend a lot on the boss, where I think that, um, maybe, maybe this is sort of only relevant in, like, Super Endgame, but, like, I think that the one thing, I think the time when FP really starts shining is when people get to the point where their burst is too strong, that it overkills a phase really hard and then they lose all the damage in the phasing animation. And mm -hmm. I think that that's, I think, I don't think, I think that FP's solo damage is, I mean, it's good, but it's not like they don't start smoking other classes until people reach that point. And I think that like reboot is not really strong enough to reach the point where FP starts dominating other classes in terms of solo boss performance. We're just not strong enough to reach that point. Mm. And so I don't, I wouldn't say like, like, FP is obviously still one of the top solo bosses, but it's not like KMS where, like, they're so strong that FP kills everyone in speedrun time because everyone, when they burst, they just severely overkill a phase. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess. Yeah, you. we'll probably never reach that. You can, no, but I mean, you can, we you might. can, you can observe gonna... that on a smaller scale, though. You could take we're FPs gonna... and have people compete in, like, fucking H. Damien or something, and you could yeah, see I mean, FP we're... clear faster. Yeah, we're we're getting we're getting close to that point where like bosses. Oh, like, relevant Black boss, Ma I meant. Yeah, but like even like in like Black, I mean, I guess that you, you wouldn't even consider Black Mage as relevant. But I guess for for the sake of solo bossing, there's not much else to talk about. But like, I think that like yeah, actually here's one that actually is relevant: Normal Kalos. I think that like Normal oh. Kalos FP doesn't start performing until like people start like. Actually, I guess it depends because like right now there's a lot of classes where they're like in the threshold where like they can easily two burst a segment. But like one bursting a segment is like impossible. So like FP would that's actually a burst threshold where like FP would start outperforming a lot. But mm. I, I guess it's a little more nuanced than what I was originally going for. But um the sort of point is like I don't think F I, I don't think FP dominates solo bossing until you reach those thresholds where like a bur like a burst will like overkill a phase or something like that. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. I'm fine with where it is then. Yeah, this seems reasonable. Okay. That's fair. Um let's talk about Kinesis. Okay, I don't know too much about this. Admittedly I don't. But I do know that they're uh they're very strong early. Like for because yeah, for just early to mid game, they they perform really well. I don't know what their end game is like. I think they have a party uh, IED debuff. I'm not 100 percent sure though. I thought the ID for two is for themselves. Oh, is it just for themselves? I don't know. Yeah, if it's a party FD, I think everyone will know about it. No, it's uh... not FD IED. No, there is oh, an FD, there is an FD debuff, but the FD debuff is only for themselves. Yeah. Okay. 
I think this class. I don't. I don't. I'm not really sure how easy or difficult or complex the the PP management is. PP. Uh, is, okay. Is, so from my my understanding of the PP management, uh, if you're just hitting the boss all the time, you'll be fine. Basically, like you. It's it not seems that hard. to be. It seems to be easier than ever. Yeah, yeah it, I heard it, they changed it to hard. be easier. Yeah. Yeah, I honestly don't don't know enough about this class. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. The mobbing is definitely good. From from what I've like seen, like it's it has a lot of summons. I think it's also <laughs> so it's one of those classes that suffers a lot. Where if the boss moves, you're fucked. Oh yes, yes, yes. The, this this you you need you need a boss to be standing still. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the icosahedron doesn't move that fast, so it needs to stick on that boss. Are they changing the shape of that? <laughs> no way. Yeah, I I'm, I'm, let me look for it. I think they're changing the shape of it, like ironically. No way. No way. That's like the biggest nerf they could ever do, bruh. Origin seems to chunk. Yeah. They have a really good iframe too. Wait, it's With a three-minute class now, right? Or is it two? I think they they changed it to a three-minute class, right? Yeah, it's been a three-minute class ever since Destiny. Yeah, it's oh, a okay, okay. Class. They have very very good movement too with their uh, triple jump air stall. No fucking way. They actually changed oh. the shape, bruh. What the hell? Is that a dodecahedron? Yo, why? <laughs> what is this? That's funny. Oh. No, I actually fuck this class. Okay, these, this thing looks crazy, bro. <laughs> these chess pieces look crazy, though. It does look really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure where to place this class. I think there's just too much to not really know. It does seem like I I think it's like a I think it's a DPM class. I don't really know how good their burst is, but the origin looks freaking crazy. It it might be a similar situation to like um Thunderbreaker. Oh, I I think it's stronger than Thunderbreaker. Really? Like, even if the boss is moving? Oh. Yeah, never mind. Because both of them have long cutscenes, right? You mean Origin? Oh, yeah, yeah, long cut uh, Origin cutscenes, yeah. But it's bound, though. And the difference is that when... when See, see, here's the difference. When when um, Thunderbreaker's Origin is going, Thunderbreaker is not doing any damage other than the Origin. But oh, that's all, true, of, uh, all, all of Kazuza's damages are, like, summons. And like, they're already out. So this is not doing losing that much damage, except for like the 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 fucking I don't know the the chess piece hammering skill, whatever it's, it's called. But what's that skill called? Which skill? Their main attacking skill. I know uh... what you're talking about. I don't know even what it's called, even, though, even the, the hurricane skill, the ult ultimate BPM, whatever, that that thing's still going. Why why are you using origin? So like, it's fine to have a long cussing nuke nuke origin if your classes like Kinesis or Adele, because then you you don't you don't lose that much because all of your skill is still going. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, yeah, it's probably better than uh, what's it called, Thunderbreaker. Like I'm but... pretty sure it's like starting off with tier three, but I really don't know too much to put it anywhere else. So I don't think it's tier three. I think its damage is strong enough to be tier two just alone. I don't oh, think really? it's weak. Yeah, I don't think it's a weak class at all. I think we just don't know like many like super kinesis 
That's it. But I don't think it's weak. It's just because based off of the patches, like it just gets buffs every patch. Should we even rank it then? Well, of course. What the fuck? We've been bullshitting our way here this far. <laughs> okay. The hell? I mean, Why would we stop now? I think the only direct comparison is like Corsair because it, it also suffers the same problem where if the boss moves, it's like annoying. Yeah, I think the difference is that this origin, this origin seems to be doing a lot more damage than 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 Corsair's origin though, and just from the nature of the the skill itself, because you're not losing anything from from using this origin. I basically. mean, I'm. I, I'm down to put it higher than Corsair. I don't know if it belongs in tier two, but, but that's because we just don't know. I'm enough. down too. We could go conservative on it. Bottom tier two then. Or top sure. tier three. Bottom tier that's two. Tier three. Okay. That's tier three. Oh. Sure. That's fine. Above Kana though? <laughs> no, but we're looking at it from the whole perspective of like making okay, one, okay, leveling fine. up to. Also, Mobby is really good on this class, right? Really yeah, the Mobby is, is really it's good. very yeah. easy to one shot too. It's a super okay. strong Mobber. Okay. It's a mage, so I don't know. <laughs> mage, the mage perk is too strong. In GS. Mm. Our right, next. Okay, let's talk about uh, Mech. Three minute class. It's a pirate. Yeah, class uses is a pistol. <laughs> has 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 the ied and the fd part of utility has portals um it has the freaking like dee -dee 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 freaking spam thing yep. <laughs> so like me, 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 me. it's it's almost like a fake lord of the deep because it has like a hundred percent uptime like as long as you're near the boss I, you just keep the current hexa the origin is holding this class up because the mastery is actually ass I don't even know what got boosted. The Iron B or whatever. The 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 the, the, the bullet. The, the yeah, thump. the bullet, not the missile. The skill that you barely beep, use because beep, you're busy spamming the missile. Yeah. yeah. The one that just shits out in front of you. Yeah, the origin is like really, really interesting. Where like it's it it lasts thirty seconds, but like the first, the 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 opening explosion is hundred hundred million. Oh, one one million percent, and then the the, the remaining. 30 seconds like 500 500k weird um i'm not really sure how it's personal dps players what about its uh its support capabilities i know it has like a what 12 percent fd buff perma yeah the support uh, is nice it's on the weaker side compared to all the other supports yeah. yeah, it is 100% time, right? I, I think yeah, it is 100% no. time, yeah. You, I, I, it's, a, it's a summon, but you can replace it anytime you want. So it's like a little annoying, but not that bad. It's, it's also that, like, I, I think I think the support is the weakest out of out of them, and then the personal damage is also, also the weakest out of them. Yeah. Yeah, that seems correct. Okay, it's 12 FD and then 10 IED. <laughs> it's like nothing. The IED like basically doesn't exist. The one, one, one good thing I will say though, this is the this class is a really good candidate for third support just because the fact that like Dunware and 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 Bam don't stack with each other. That's why I run. I, I like running with with my. Yeah. The I think the mobbing has issues though, right? Like if you if you're low stack, like like so I think like. Oh no no no! The, the mob is still pretty good. I I I I, I know how I've done on mobs. Like it, it it's one of all, it's it's all one of all, it's also one of those uh, stationary farming classes. You you only stay in one spot. Yeah. This like, class, e even if you're low oh. stack though, like. Uh, I mean, you, yeah, you I, just saw, need I to... saw Max farming a find in Carcia, and so I really doubt it's Yeah, you, you just need to find a farm a map that you can you can just farm, and you don't move. Like it's a stationary farming. I see. Cause I remember like Alex was complaining, Giga, about like pre he, okay he pre 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 reboot HP remove uh, HP multiply removal or, or or after. I don't know. Maybe it was before HP changes. Yeah, after the HP nerve is really not an issue anymore. Okay. I remember so this is very. 
Ham, do you remember like Donald talking about a very specific threshold? You have to like seven shot with the, with yeah, with, you have with, to like, seven the... shot with your little bots, yeah. To, to be able <laughs> with to it, like, I do yeah. remember that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. But yeah, I don't think their mobbing suff suffers. I, I don't think I really don't think so. I think they pump good numbers in bosses as well, straight up. Yeah, has, I, I, don't I think, think it's, weak. it's. I think it might be like. I think it's a tier two. No, I, I agree. I, I think. Oh, really? Okay. I think yeah. It's tier one. Maybe maybe low tier one. I I I think with the amount of damage it brings to 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 a party, it's just high, just because it's a support class. I mean, you you all know like you, you all know how FD st FD st stacking works in this game. That's yeah, point. of course, it's not hard to play either. Hmm. I don't know. I don't like know. just a month ago, okay. So, just a month ago or a little over a month ago, like I, I don't think like this boss was like, like Chaos Cows was clearable without like three supports. Like when you when you're like a progging boss, like pro, party progging boss at, at min damage, Mech is still one. St Mech is hundred percent one of the top classes they consider. That's true. Yeah, that's very true. You just go with like okay. Let me let me let me lay down my foundation with the with the bishop, and then I found two other support, and I fill fill the, the three spots with three random DPS. There's, that's there's literally like, the logic that people build parties these days. There's only like four mechs though. <laughs> that were that were going to be doing C callers anyways, right? Mm. There's like Alex. There's what's toast. There's Dong Dong, and then uh, I don't know who the fourth one is. <laughs> And oh, the fourth I guess, one. Like Jen's mech, maybe. But yeah, I, I think it's a low tier one, like bottom tier I'm, one. I'm okay with like next to Buck. I think it does offer a lot. I don't think it's really bad at anything. Yeah. Good damage. It just, very, know, very, like... very good um, party uh, presence as well. Through mm -hmm. its burst damage and its support. Oh! Yeah, it's worth mentioning. It's also worth mentioning that they can, they can like in the the way that my party plays in, in Kalos, like Donald just tank tanks right air. Because, Why? Because of its burst being guy. Yeah, the the the, the burst is iframe. Oh yeah. no, I was thinking about like two two three tests that did two four. Oh no no no, no yeah. I was like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's talk about Wind Archer. No, Lawrence plays this class. Yeah, so I can talk do, about yeah. this. So okay. I think before before six job, Wind Archer was in a really solid spot, but I think their current six job is pretty horrible. Um, I think that there's a, a couple things that go wrong with it. No so trifling think, wind. Yeah, so no trifling wind is the the very obvious one. Literally, your strongest skill is not boosted so that's pretty big i think the origin is kind of mid it's not like particularly good or bad it's just does fine it's pretty average but then yeah like on that other topic like uh, so much of wind archer's damage is not boosted like you have all these damage sources which are com significant contributions of like trifling wind storm whim uh the cygnus phalanx guided arrow all of those do like pretty reasonable amounts of damage and none of them are boosted. Only the hurricane is boosted, which does like terrible damage. Um it does it the hurricane does do quite a bit more now because the hurricane boost node is quite strong. But this is sort of compounded with a different issue where like um the like how much like the the, the majority of the damage that comes from your hurricane is from your off burst. Because during your burst, almost all your damage comes from like Howling Gale, Trifling Wind, Storm Whim, and Vortex Sphere. So like the fact that your Hurricane is being boosted is like, it doesn't help your burst that much. So that's like a compounded issue with the fact that like not only is a, lo a low percentage of your damage boosted, the what is boosted is like primarily your off burst. So as a result of that, then like Wind Archer's six job is like pretty bad right now. Um, so. Yeah, obviously the class still retains very good utility with the dummy, wind walk, and the um, uh, the gale barrier. So those those make it that the class is like pretty easy to play. It's just 
the end result is the damage is quite bad right now because their sixth job is really bad. But you have a dummy though. I mean, the <laughs> yeah, I will say they have the best dummy in the game. Their dummy is crazy how good it is. Yeah. Because it, it, it not only does it like attract aggro really well, it also slows the boss, which is kind of kind of big. But yeah, I would, I would, I would like because of the damage issues with their sixth job. I would probably put it in like tier three. Like I think this this class was it was like sort of bar barely holding on before six job. Like it had like decent damage, but like really good utility. But now its damage is just really far down. So mm -hmm. I don't, I don't think it's in a good spot right now. Better than Ob yeah. obviously Dreamer helps us a lot. Adding the trifling wind core by itself is really big. <laughs> Because tri tri Trifling Wind is literally the top damage skill, so it's a big deal. But until then, I think the 6th job for Winter is quite bad. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. And usually a lot of these things can be made up with some sort of support, but it really doesn't have anything, so... Yeah, they can slow the boss, that's it. So it's like... Yeah, I, I don't know. It, 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 it would be like on the lower end for a tier 3, just until they get the Trifling Wind core, and then... Yeah, the trifling wind core by itself still doesn't solve all the issues because they even with trifling wind they still have a lot of damage that's not boosted but at least the situation will be comparatively better they can't even move during hurricane right song of wind i think that's that's pretty minor because the the hurricane has almost no startup animation so you can yeah. start and stop it and stutter step pretty easily and I so see. i don't i don't think that's a i don't think that's a major concern that you can't move it okay fair enough the movement's good too. That yeah, I mean, I think that the class is the class is great mobility. It's just right now it just doesn't have damage. It's it's it has too much that needs to be boosted still. Okay, so like you know, usual great kit, but like lacking damage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's all that, that that's the thing with a lot of classes though is like, it's fine to invest in those types of classes because they'll get their damage eventually. Like, it's not a big deal. All right, let's talk about um, Kane. Let's talk about a really, really good archer, a very strong one. Um, the mobbing is very active, from what I've been told. Yeah, from what it I've is. Seen. It's got a lot um, of different skills. I think that's like the main complaint I hear a lot about Kane. They'll just say like their mobbing is really active. Like they would prefer if you know, they had uh, easier or like less active rotations. I guess that would. That would be comparable, but I, I, I guess like you know, eventually with Solianus, it's like it's, it probably isn't that big of an issue. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think Solianus fixes like a fucking every class. Their their party bossing and solo bossing is obviously really fucking. And this, I mean, really strong. I, no. I think this is just the strongest arch in the game. Yeah, I think that they're... Yeah, because it's, it doesn't really... It's not really an archer, but yeah. Yeah, it's not really an archer, but like the thing is they they have incredibly condensed burst and their uh -huh. overall damage output is incredibly high. So like they're... I think for bo bossing, it's easy. Also, I guess most archers, they are two minutes. Kane is like almost the only three-minute archer. I guess Mercedes is there too. But then yeah. also Kane also like... Most archers don't really have good access to iframes but kane actually does so yeah. well isn't kane's not... just damage reduction or is there an iframe no it's an iframe it's an iframe, it's an it's iframe? iframe. okay okay yeah so that's, well, that that's another float, right yeah. yeah okay like overall this class is really really strong for bossing also this is one another class that doesn't have all the damage boosted yeah yeah because the, the execution full and power. the I don't even think Death Blessing is, is boosted. Hey man, it's indirectly boosted by the Origin. Mm. Yeah, the Origin boosts, for those who don't know, the Origin amplifies their um their Death Blessing stacks, right? So, just makes everything stronger. Do you want to put this like above Merc? Like one above Merc? Or even higher? I, I think it's higher than Shadower. I, I would put it around where Xenon is. Probably 
Yeah, I probably agree. One, yeah. Probably one below, like right right below Xenon. I think that this this class's burst is crazy. Yeah, and, it is. It but is. I think, but yeah. I think it's its utility is not as good as Xenon's with like the fly and all, which mm. just but they do bit. have dark sight though. Like they have force dark sight, not just dark sight. Like every dash is a force dark sight. Dark sight's not that relevant anymore. I mean, that's yeah, true. In, that that to be fair, you're right. That's true. It's not like what it's it used still to be. good. To have. I mean, the nice. thing is, it's like when you're when you're progressing through like C10E and Black Mage, Dark Side is still really good. It just it yeah. only falls off in grandest bosses. Yeah, figured I'd mention it though. It is really strange that it's a three minute class because it means it doesn't have I mean, the critical. I mean, this class is supposed to be a thief. I'm pretty. I'm pretty confident this this class was was originally designed to be a thief. It was, the, it was the design to be a thief, but then they're like, oh shit, it's time to release an archer. Let's change the kit a tiny bit. Yeah, literally. Exactly. Like, just, just think about like the 90 second, the 90 second theme. Replace Vicious Shot with, with Lazarus Roar. You, you, you will see this, this, this class in its full picture. Yeah. yeah. At least Vicious Shot plus Guided Arrow is a pretty strong combo right now. They've made Guided Arrow pretty strong over time. Hmm, yeah. But anyways, that that's a good spot. Yeah. All right, Blaze Wizard. Slept on class, bro. Straight this is fifteen percent FD, right? Yeah, it's, it's like it's yeah. like ten final damage and then sixty percent damage. So it's yeah. it's it's it performs sixty percent damage even with a bishop in your party. That's close to like. I think it's still five percent FD, isn't it? Yeah, it's like it's like five six percent. The class's support is mm -hmm. good. From what I've seen, the six drop is really strong. Yeah, like I see Blazers is pulling some pretty high damage. Mm -hmm. now. Yeah, that that TV person goes crazy or something. That that, that Blazers. The origin is very strong. This, no, this, this class of origins is very strong. Yeah, I think their their master core is also one of the special ones where it gets an enormous damage boost at level one, if memory serves correctly. More than eleven. Yeah, but Another, th isn't isn't this class? I I think this is this is also one of those classes falls in that category where like it has a lot of skills that that it has a lot of skills that contributes to total damage. So that, like if they only can can boost one at a time, they 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 just give it a, a stronger version of it. Yeah, the like the mastery core and origin are really strong to compensate for the fact that it's still missing a decent number of skills. Another yeah. really good thing about this class is it can play two or three minute with no drawbacks. Yeah, it's you a very can slot it in any here. party. Too bad there's really? like what the hell? Too, yeah. too, too bad there's only like two blazers on the server. So yeah, that's true. People people realistically won't be doing that. It's unfortunate because blazers is good. Like it's a good main. I don't know. People just still think it's shit or something. I mean, the nerf they Go got a long time ago, like was pretty severe. I don't, I don't know too much about the strength of the class, but I think the fact that KMS keeps nerfing it and stuff means that it's unlikely it was anywhere near as bad as people were saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Was that, it has self-door, it also has a teleport to, to a spot, It does have right? self Yeah, yeah, it has infinite self-teleport uh, to anywhere you set it, the, and self-door, yeah. That fireball that, like, would come back to you, that, that nerf was crazy, dude. Like you guys remember when people made Blaze Wizard farmers for? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Was... yeah Blaze Wizard like, farm was that... a whole meta. But that was like just like one map, and I don't know. It's a. Uh... This is a what D Cup one? Yeah, D Cup one. It's like the same I, as the yeah. Tengu drop down I, farming. Yeah. I'm pretty sure even today, even today, Blaze Wizard is still a stationary farm. Yeah, I've seen some videos where they're. I mean, you have to rotate a couple skills, but you're basically standing still. So yeah, that yeah. orbital flame goes crazy. Dude. So I think the mobbing seems yeah. fine from what I He's can zapping. tell. He's zapping. Oh, real iframe on a mage. Yeah, that's true. Yo, flash on too. Oh yeah, the it's like the it's like the thunderbreak. The, it's just like a yeah. cataclysm. Yeah, it's their hyper. It's it's called cataclysm, I think. Okay, where do, where would we put it then? <laughs> yeah. It's got flash. I mean, given that movement. given that the damage is no no longer sucking, and the fact that it has uh, it has like really strong party support, I'm pretty sure it's like. I think it's at least near mech or better. Yeah, you right? have to at least put it over a mech, I think. Yeah, yeah. You have to like at least put it over a mech. I mean, this class is just super slept on our server. People just not playing it. 
Because yeah. all the all the Cygnus Knights are overshadowed by Nightwalker and Dawn Warrior, even if they're good or not. Yeah. People just don't pay any attention to the others. True. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Alright, three Ooh. more to go. And then you're free. It's been almost six hours. Wow. Um Alright, Kadena. Um Origin is fucking strong. Yeah. Yeah? It is. It's very, very, very strong origin. Very strong class in general, though. Straight up. This damage. This class pumps numbers like straight. There's like, no that way that the mastery. The ma it. There's no way it has like master's fully booster, right? Like this class has way too many skills. No, it doesn't. No, it's like basically they their their first master core is like the, uh, like the I don't I don't the even brick? know what their first is. It's like no, it's like the, the it's like the base. It's like the basic attack where basically when you chain it into another skill, the follow up skill gets final damage. So this was oh, like a, I see, I see. So this oh. was like so this was like a good skill to boost because it means that it indirectly boosts all the other skills because the final yeah. damage boost is amped. So it's um it's like a like all things considered it's a good first boost because it boosts all the other skills. I heard that it's bugged, but I don't I don't I actually don't know what the impact of the bug is. Um oh. then then the then their second master core is muscle memory, which is like <laughs> That yeah, like, kind of the, the muscle memory boost by itself kind of sucks, but it increases the final damage muscle memory gives by one. Dude, with this it, really it was originally eleven. They nerfed it down to ten. Now it, with a master core, they're boosting it back to eleven. Yeah, That's it's sneaky, pretty. It's, it's a pretty silly situation, but I think that like overall, this this class seems like I think it's it's its strength is is fine. Uh, I think that there's some like various bugs that, and I don't I don't know exactly why, but like people in GMS can't perform as well as the Kadena's <laughs> KMS. I don't know That's if funny. this is like I don't know if this is like an issue with like a bug or funding level or like skill. I I have literally no idea. I don't know. But I think that like the what we've been saying is this class will sort of only go up because right now they have a like very, very small percentage yeah. of their damage boosted by six drops. Yeah. The bug is I FD mean, going to muscle memory while, instead while of weapon the... skills. One, of the, I think the two heavier skills they have. One, one of them is the hammer. The other one is the the, the brick, right? The bat, the bat. The yeah. bat. Yeah, the, the bat, bat and the brick. The bat is the, the strongest. The bat's the big arm. skill. Yeah. If you reset bat a bunch of times, you you will do crazy damage. Oh yeah, another thing is that this 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 class got a real eye frame. Um, in I don't remember it was Savior or Destiny. And this class got a real eye frame. That's for cooldown. What skill was it again? The the one that the key down with the the chains like flying out. It's like the Ashura skill. Yeah, but you have to hold it. Actually, oh, is, is it like the BT thing, like the BT spin and the the blaster spin? Rain of chains. Yeah, something like that. Second cooldown. I think this class is. It also has a thirty IED debuff on one of its skills. Hmm. It's like whatever, but oh, the, also also the only class that 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 is that is uh, hap not happy like okay with uh, venom burst. Oh yeah, but you don't actually use it. It's just for the passive. Yeah, it has shield as well nowadays. I I, I think shield's with, not with... as good as it used to be, you know. Yeah, they they nerfed it a bit. Yeah. I think I think with 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 the current situation where like it, it's a pretty strong origin, but not all this, and the mastery is like really lacking. It's missing a lot of skills. I I still think it holds up to like probably somewhere in tier two. I think it is. It should be where Adele is, is my opinion. Mm. Because if we look at it as its entirety, like it's not an easy class to play. Mm -hmm. Um. The model Fair. is also very active. You have some portal farming options, but it's, you, you, you know oh, yeah, the little farming, Maelstrom? farming is active. Like, Maelstrom's I, I, I think the farming is just active. Like, it's 100% really... uptime, but you, you always have to like place it down again. And from, from what I've heard is if you're not portal farming, this class is like unbearably active to farm on. Yeah. You, yeah. You, you either portal farm or you kill your hands. I don't, think it's, I don't think there's a way to get away with that. Like the with the how this class kits works, you you just have to farm like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it, where it's where it is right now, between like Bowmaster and Adele makes sense. It's yeah, just not easy to play. It has great personal DPS. Party play, I don't actually know how good the burst is when it's not Origin. 
Uh, it's not irrelevant burst. I, w I definitely want to say it's bad, but it's not anything exceptional anymore compared to other classes. Mm hmm. Okay. Next. I think this is fine. Let's do Ho Young. Uh, did Ho Young get the right things that even needed boosted? I don't think it did, right? First mastery? <laughs> no. I heard yeah, first, it, it got first like, and second mastery were, were, were bad or something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it didn't get what it wanted. Like, this guy's just getting fucked over right now. I, I think something that I've also... I actually only recently realized this is that Kadena's... Or sorry, not Kadena. Ho Young's origin skill is pretty poor. Like Yeah, I thought it was good at first, but... Yeah, I thought seems... it was good, but then once I looked more at the numbers, it seems like it's actually a pretty bad origin. The, the yeah. issue is... So first of all, it has... The, it runs into damage cap issues relatively early. But then also just like... The issue is the animation just takes so long to cast. And it's like, it's like the same problem as Hero, where you're running down your time when you're short duration burst buffs like last resort and clone rampage that mm -hmm. the reality is that like your origin burst doesn't do that much more damage than your non-origin burst oh, i think that's yeah. a pretty big detriment to the class's overall performance it's also the key down which is weird well i mean key down isn't that big of a deal because the boss just gets bound at the start but just like the reality is that like the difference between your origin and non-origin burst is like just not that big mm -hmm. i What's it called? Just the other day, I was filling for Crane's party on my Kana, and mm -hmm. I would notice like Crane with Origin, like almost like almost like ten seconds later than everyone else, just because of the nature of the class. Yeah, it's because you wanna like what, like the the sort of ideal way to play a lot of these classes is you wait for your teammate to bind, and then that's when you start popping your short duration buffs and then you origin later so like it, the same story would be true for hero where like someone else origins first and then that's when the hero casts their like ab sword illusion combo instinct whatever and so like that's why they they will end up origining like a couple of seconds later ho ying is like, the same word you want to wait for like their solo play is is sounds annoying then yeah all these all these classes where they need to pop a bunch of short duration buffs right before they origin is quite annoying for solo play however there is one so with saving grace where in solo play, like a lot of these origins, because it's instant damage, you don't care about binding after the origin. So what you can do is you can bind first, then buff up, and then origin or something like that. That that's what I see a lot of people do with these these origins. Yeah, like this is like a really common pattern for hero where like you don't you don't really care about the bind after the origin. It's a lot less important. So you bind first, so you can guarantee your origins damage. Yeah, well, yeah, the origin binds like ten seconds, and your your whole animation is eight second already. So yeah, but it's just like this is like a way to get around it for solo play. Because otherwise, uh -huh. it, it could potentially be really annoying with how long the origin setup is. Hmm. Well, yeah, the mobbing is very good. We, I think we all know this for sure. Yeah. Oh, of course, um, yeah. In any stage of the game, whole young's the mobbing. Is party good. utility. It's I like, also think they. Just... My my impression is Hoyoung has an extremely easy time one shotting with it does. how fast Crane moves through maps. It does. So, it like... does. It does in any stage of the map. Uh. And then it's party u bossing a uh, utility. It only has a twenty percent ID debuff. That's it. Yeah, I mean, but even the... even if even if their sixth job is poor, the class's burst was really strong pre six job. Yeah, so that's still, that that's, still gives it some value. It's one of the one of the more classic like bursty thieves at this point. So it's it sounds like it's going to be in tier two, but like where? Probably near the top of tier two. Just because it's it's yeah. overall burst is still quite strong. So it's just better, there, it's like where Wild Hunter is, like better than Wild Hunter, or uh, maybe higher. Because I think that the, the I mean, fact that like their like their individual burst is still like even though their six job isn't that good, the individual burst is still quite good. Yeah, mm -hmm. like so I would still rate it quite respectably. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. We want to hear or hear. Maybe uh, between Ark and Nevin. Okay, it, it's not an easy to play class, it's, especially the burst setup oh, is it's definitely, definitely not really annoying. It's definitely not. Mm -hmm. Like, is the burst setup more annoying than Evan? Well, I thought, sure. okay, okay, I think I it's more annoying than Evan. I played them both uh, I thought, at 250. I thought difficulty lies in like the prep, not not actual like 
No, it's it's all the prep. Yeah, it's all the getting the yeah, right buffs and the the debuffs and all that. It's more about like knowing what to do. Once you're man, actually like... bursting, you're fine. You just spam your cudgel and reset and and your wave. That's it. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay. okay. Last the moment, and least. <laughs> last and least, Kaiser. Can this class even Michael one burst Kaiser. gloom? Just gotta, just gotta put it at the bottom to annoy Zero man. Yeah, I'll go fuck. I'll go fuck. <laughs> right I, I, bullshit, AB. I bullshit. I bullshit my entire way here this entire time. I think I care now. So how are we feeling about this list? Are we actually putting Geyser there? No, no, no. We're not, we're not. We have to be fair. We have to be fair. Um, I mean, I guess it's fine. It's definitely, I definitely feel how ancient this class is. <laughs> oh, I mean, <laughs> that's like a whole separate <laughs> thing. Yeah, like this is the I most ancient class in the game. <laughs> it is the most ancient class in the game, straight up. Like that little blue tornado thing they use is like the weirdest fucking skill in the whole game. I mean, they update the way it looks, but yeah, it's... Isn't it getting boosted next patch in Dreamer? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it is. I thought it was just the swords to end the like. Oh the yeah, you're right you're right you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Oh, dreamer is gonna be interesting for them, but yeah, well. I think the 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 sword the amount of damage increase the swords got was kind of crazy, but obviously that's in the future. Yeah, I honestly don't know where to place this class because it has a good I mean, kit. It, it, I think, got... I think for 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 solo bossing, its performance is respectable. It is. Like it's 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 like it's pretty strong for solo bossing, but then the issue is that they fall off quite a bit for party bossing with the weak burst. Yo, the party bossing is not good. Not it. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 like the party bossing severely downgrades this class because the mobbing is good, right? Yeah, the mobbing the mobbing is quite solid. Yeah, mobbing is good. Is it is it like active or is it like? Well, what Kaiser's mobbing? Yeah. Like no, no, it's not that active. No, you just jump around, use your little sword thing, spam your swords off cooldown. It's not that hard. Because it has like the the homies you can summon, and then you have like the little snake you can summon as well. And yeah, the little have, snake like, the, plant thing. The the swords on your back they target shit, and then you can explode them too or something. Yeah, the swords on your back they made it a toggle too, so it's like you you have to like reset them that much. Stone dragon is ass. Well, maybe all your Kaiser buddies are just weak, bro. How about that? <laughs> well, I think the Stone Dragon, it's it's. I think it's probably better than the freaking Ho Young Ghost. <laughs> no, no, okay. no, no. The Ho Young Ghost is really good. Shit, the Ho Young Ghost is good, bro. Don't sleep. Nah, dude. Like, I'm no, no, no. okay, 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 okay. <laughs> so the, the issue with the Ho Young Ghost is that the AI is just trash. Yeah, it never yes, attacks yes, whatever yes, you the want. The AI to is attack. trash, but it's good. Like it never <laughs> does what. It, it never does what you wanted to do at when you wanted to do it. Bill is the type. five shots in Carcian. Yeah, I used to name the whole young summons when I was playing it. I named the tiger Phil, and Porcupine was the little ghost. That's the old ass meme, holy. Yeah. That was when Phil's you were fucking tiger. struggling in HMAG, dude. Yep. <laughs> Uh, All right, so like, like, is this, is this? Yo, a tier five shots two? is kind of good. Is this a tier three? I'm thinking tier four. Really? No. <laughs> I don't think they, no. Their 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 solo damage is is too good to play some. Yeah, they're just. I think it's like where blaster is maybe. Except it's easier um, to play than blaster. I think. I still have like little gripes about its origin just because like I, I think the origin not Gigot's wave waving is, is too costly. Oh yeah, it's long as cutscene too. Yeah. But oh, this class, at the same this time is movement. At the same time, like really your, your your dragon blaze and and, and your some your 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 buddies are still going. So Am I blind? Where's Blaster? Blaster is in three. the middle of tier three. Oh. I see. 
I don't think Kaiser is bad. I think, it, like you guys said, solo DPS is good. Its movement's really good, meaning its survivability is really good. It has a very, very good iframe. Easy to play for is most it? people if they're picking up the class as well. Solo is very, very respect respectable. It's just party it, versus. In a party, there's nothing exceptional about this either. That's the, that's yeah. like the big downside of this class. Also, you you want buff duration on this class too, right? So starting out, you're not going to be tr like transformations would be going to ass. Yeah. Or free rope lift node. Yeah, true. Yeah, but that free node turns into you spending like five bill trying to roll the right color. <laughs> <laughs> it's very important. It is very. It important. is very very important. Yeah, and then you get a you get a familiar that that changes your color anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, I'm willing. Okay, I'm willing to put a purple Kaiser as tier one. No cap. Purple? Yep. Guys, if you main Kaiser, what color do you guys color. run? Type what color you guys I run. run the, if you the watermelon Kaiser. colors, dude. Yo. Oh, green and red. That would be crazy. Green and black. Watermelon. <laughs> watermelon Kaiser. Okay. Let me just put. Let me just say this. If you're black and gold, then you're just a bot. Yeah, I know someone who's black and gold. <laughs> if you're black and gold, that literally that straight up is bot behavior. <laughs> yeah. All right. Do we do we want to move anything around in this in this in this list? I mean, I'll be I honest. Def I want to move Lara, but you guys aren't gonna let me. For the most part. It's fine. Yeah, no. No, 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 no. Stop. I feel like Dark Knight, Blade Master, and Phantom are always next to each other. Oh, man. yeah. I, I, think, I agree. I think that's just because of how the class are designed. Yeah, they're, I, I think that they're. they're I've noticed they're trends over the years. Uh, I'm sure Nexon tries to, like, they, they, they the way they think about those three classes is similar. So they try yeah, to me too. Uh, that's what I was saying. Mm -hmm. Like they right. they understand like they understand the power of those class. Like like they understand where the strength where those classes strengths lie. So they try to avoid to they they are very cautious about giving those classes numbers basically. Because yeah. with the with, with those classes those three classes of survivability and the kit that they have like the moment that they 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 just like overtune the damage a bit it becomes very dangerous. We've already seen that with, with, with DB for for many patches in the past. Yeah, but I don't know. Like, when when the damage cap used to be hundred bill, was it ten bill? Ten bill. Ten bill. All the way, like all that, all that entire like the last few patches of like the ten bill era, like DB dominated like so many patches in the year. Yeah. I mean that was just line story diff though. No, they they are making that, that that mistake again though. Yeah, but the point is they don't they they feel like they don't want these like sort of like this archetype of class to perform well, I guess. Yeah. Guys, DB is not as bad as you think in chat. Like, please, like, it's, yeah. It's honestly, really let's, not. let's let's honestly let's top fifty percent. Is it like top half the spectrum? From where we listed, it's not even. It's not that bad, guys. Like shade to top of T two. No, 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 no. I think I think some of the some of the value we're putting in shade is the expectation that this class is like getting Omega buffed in Dreamer. Oh, like, that's true. Like like yeah. getting buffed enough to the point where it's one of the best classes in the game, and that's like. I mean, yeah. Given that currently, big... like. Like this class is literally oh, no, getting like, not even boosted. Yeah, this class is literally getting like forty final damage in Dreamer, so it's kind of important that you factor that in. See, I'm doing more damage and clearing more bosses, slash giving more support and below okay. Lara. You, you, bro, you give the Lars a chance, out, bro. bro. Like, give the like, Lars a chance, bro. Give the Lars a chance. It doesn't even matter what, where we put CM right now because we know it's going going, going up to like top of tier one, tier one Yo, in this Dreamer. guy just wants me to move Lara down. I know him, bro. You can't trust these fucking thieves, bro. Like, you can't. Like, he just wants me to move Lara down so I look like an idiot, bro. Who? Chapaz, bro. Oh. He just wants me to move her down just to fuck with me. 
What was that sound? Just Hamza getting a freaking. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh. It's either I a mean, Facebook or a team. It's a Facebook message, it bro. It's a Facebook. I mean, message. I, I mean, I'd be okay with moving up CM because of how much they gain in Dreamer. I think that that would be okay. <laughs> But, uh, you know what? That's we, fair. We, That's we would fair. have to change the entire list. If well, we... no, but the thing is that like there are there are only like a couple of classes that get like a really. There are some that are very that. notable though. Yeah. Like 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 I think I think Shade and Cannon Master are like leagues ahead of everyone else in terms of how much they gain in Dreamer. Like I everyone agree. else doesn't even compare to those two. I agree. I don't know. Wait, I remember there was one other class that I instantly got like. Wouldn't we rank AB too then? Well, I mean, but it, the issue with AB is fucking none of us know how good the remaster is. I, I don't so, know anything about so the remaster. None, none, none of us could give an informed opinion as the issue. Oh, I have an AB. Well, but do you know how, <laughs> how the remaster even does? Because I sure as hell don't. They yeah. make mascot like a 1.2 second key down or what? Yeah, but do, yeah, but do you know if these how good these actual changes are? Uh, uh, from uh what all I was I... told. They became one of the strongest solo bossers, and then for party bossing, like they got slightly nerfed or something because I I, I noticed that their 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 culverts went up by around twenty percent. That's but that's all about all I know. TB is getting a good buff in Dreamer too, so then we'd have to like move everything up. No way I'm doing that. Yeah, guys, I'm not putting Lara at the bottom. You're not gonna fucking gaslight me into this. You're not, bro. There's no way. I'm drawing the line, bro. I think I'm Lara being higher than Canamass and Thunderbreaker makes sense just because it's a fucking mage. <laughs> like... Guys, Lara has river farming. It's not just about damage. <laughs> please, just let me have this, bro. Please, bro. Please. I go through enough fucking Lara torture every day. Oh, in Camus, in Camus, Arc, Arc's cover also <laughs> went over 110k after Dreamer. I see. Then, then it must be that their origin got way stronger. Because no, 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 no. The origin, origin didn't change. It didn't really oh, change. It's, it's the line division procs the the the. Yeah, yeah, the... yeah, yeah. But that's what I meant. That like okay, the yeah, origin yeah. is all, all like the net effect of the origin is much stronger. That's what I meant. Yeah, like the overall percentage of the origin did not change it at all. It's just the line split made it so that like it procs the balls and the and the new skill like the new I don't know like the throw blasting type of skill a lot faster. You know, I actually didn't realize that like even though the skill can store up to three hundred charges, mm -hmm. like when you actually burst. You don't even come close to using all the charges. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind oh, of no, weird. No, you, you use a, you, it, it's a lot closer now when with the line. Yeah, division. obviously it's more now, but like the current state is like you finish your burst and you have like two hundred charges left. It's kind yeah. of it's kind of funny. It's like why did they make the cap so high if you can't even spend them all? Now, even even now, like even after line division, like after after the burst, I have still like hundred and forty <laughs> packs left. Yeah, it's kind of, I don't, I mean, obviously it's not a bad thing to have spare, but it's just like, why did you make the cap so high if you can't even reach it? It's just kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Is Wind Archer actually worse than Lumi overall? Um, I think that like in party bossing, it's probably like Wind Archer might be a little bit better because the damage is more concentrated on burst. But like, I'm not even sure about that. Like Wind Archer is in a pretty bad spot right now. They just okay. are missing way too much damage to be boosted. All right. I think there's not much to change, but we should remind people what this list is even about. Yes, yes, yes. Do you want to tell them or should I tell them? You tell them. Okay, okay. Guys, so I know it's been it's been over six hours, and a lot of people came in and came out for the tier list. So this is a main tier list for the current patch right now. Sometimes we mention certain things that were going to come in the future patches because if they were relevant or if they're really, really, really big deals. But when we're talking about mains, we're not just talking about end game party performance. That's one thing we weigh, but we also talk about the entire experience of playing the class at large from creation to end game. So end game is a factor. Mobbing is a factor. Solo bossing is a factor. Um, party bossing is a factor. Everything. Um, difficulty to play the kit we try to factor in as much as possible into this into this tier list so i know some things might be look weird or if you look at other tier lists and be like huh what this and that 
consider what we considered. A lot of other tier lists are just end game performance tier lists, which is not the same as a main tier list in my opinion. If you want an end game performance tier list, it would be completely different. But yeah, that's what this tier list is. I mean, I think I'm fine with this. I mean, I'm mostly fine. There's only one class I have a problem with, but I mean, it's fine, I guess. What is it? It's a, he he it's needs Hyoto now. to be even higher, man. Yeah, to be honest, I don't like that you have this edge over me, bro. But all good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, me personally, I think that the current endgame Hyotos aren't doing a good enough job showing how OP Hyoto is. That's my I think the, the, the I think that there's well the first of all there's not that many of them but I also think that a lot of them are just like not as well geared or as much hexa progressed as like the strong people of other classes but like I am pretty confident that like a Hayato with like my gear and hexa could get over 85k in covert I agree I agree because I you could just compare on a smaller scale right like my numbers in covert just in a hyperion based off my gear like i'm gapping people that are like on paper way stronger than me so yeah well, i mean hi is whatever though drop I names think... drop names I'm just kidding like almost everyone bro true he's gonna drop names and we're not gonna recognize them anyway because yeah i just realized you're, right. that's why you're, you're actually right it's it's crazy it's a whole different like Dude, I'm like the avatar, bro. I'm like the bridge between the fucking earth and the spirit world, bro. True. I'll be quiet. Nice. I'm happy with those. This is fine. I think this is fine for the current patch, given all the context we've said. I think we gave every single class a fair enough time. Like, I don't think we really glanced over anything. I think we tried to consider everything, every angle. Hence why the video is so long. But yeah, I want to say thank you guys for pulling up. Um, I do appreciate you guys a lot. I really, really do. Even if we don't talk like every day or whatever. Thank you so much. But we do though. Shout out, bro. All right. <laughs> this guy fell, bro. We're doing it. We're running it back in six months. I'm down. I think the the issue is Dreamer is like it doesn't change that many classes like that much, and we already sort of covered the the biggest ones. So I, true. Almost like I'm it's down like for after that patch, like the one in the winter. You know I mean, we'll see. We'll see if the game's even still 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 around. <laughs> but I never know. <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. I think it will be, but you're right. We have to see. We have to see. Game will close down in six months. Thank you, Mamoon. <laughs> uh, okay, but survive until summer patch. Hits we have to. Please. We have to make a meso cap tier list then. Shad's number one. <laughs> no, we're heroic now. Reboot's a KMS concept. That's it. And Yo, yes, they will, this will be on YouTube. Like, we literally don't have Reboot reference anywhere anymore. Yeah, there's not a single... Guys, okay, Lawrence, you have Reboot coins, right? Do they say Reboot coins still in your ETC tab? I... I have no idea. I don't... I, I'm not on my demon right now, so I can't even check. I might, okay, okay. I might have a character with it. Yeah, check, like, one of your first ever made characters. They should have Reboot coins. Because that's, like, super legacy. There's still the Reboot Masterclass medal, by the way. <laughs> okay, oh, they didn't change that one? That's funny. <laughs> I also remember seeing that like the uh, the reboot potions, they have this pun that uh, in the description. Let's see, does this character have the reboot potion still? Yeah, it says a potion to reboot your insides. The uh, the pun doesn't really work it's anymore. Funny. Uh, I don't I don't think I have a character with it. Yeah, if I if I if I had a character with reboot coins, it had to be my demon slayer. But I'm I'm doing something else right now, so I can't check. I see.
That's crazy. What if they just deleted it? I mean, the thing is, like, most people, they wouldn't have the coins anymore because, like, I remember they, they had some event, like, ages ago where you could trade in old event coins for something. Oh, so I imagine, yeah. So I imagine basically everyone emptied out the reboot coins for that event. I don't use even the, remember what we were exchanging them for anymore. But this is, like, use the ago. Use the pet exclusion. You have the Let's coin porcupine? What does it say? Oh, yeah, you could do the pet search, yeah. I'm too broke to have that, though. It's still, there's still a reboot coin. Interesting. Oh, it's still a reboot coin? Okay. Are we talking about like the one that's like golden or the one that's like... Yeah, like, the gold one that like, has an R on it. Yeah. Okay. It was says there... like to celebrate the release of the reboot server. What was that coin where it was like... Uh, blue, like it's got a blue trim, but it's black inside. I swear there was another one that's like that. With, with also a reboot, reboot logo. No, but the V coin had a V, you know? That's oh, there's still a reboot job. ring. Oh yeah, some of the rings didn't get properly name changed. I remember seeing that. Well, like reboot Tenebris ring, does it say that? I th oh I no, it says heroic. I think most yeah, of the rings heroic got, Tenebris more, heroic Tenebris ring. No, most of the rings got changed, but I think well, I, I saw a screenshot that like one of them, they messed it up or something. I, don't, I can't remember exactly which one it was. Yo, they better change it. They need to change all of them. Oh, the reboot coins are reboot coins, yeah. <laughs> Yo, legacy. Dude. Yo, we're not safe yet, guys. Low key. It's still reboot. Heroic, Heroic mess up out. <laughs> Vengeful coins. I see. Oh, Vengeful, or oh, the Reboot Vengeful ring. I see. It still says Reboot. No, yeah, so That's one of the rings, they, they forgot to change it, I guess. Unplayable. Yo. Yo, Doom, Doom! I might have to Doom. I was supposed to be asleep two hours ago, dude, me too. All good, it was worth it. This is like Plato, Socrates, um... I don't know, Galileo. And uh, and Phil coming together to make a tier list. <laughs> Two months late too. Well, I mean, okay. it's because I mean we, we had good excuses we though. We didn't know a lot about Six Job when as soon as it came out. So that's yeah, true. that's what I told everybody. I was like, no, I don't want to make a tier list when I don't know shit. Like, I'd rather wait until I understood the landscape more. That's it. Oh, yeah, I knew Jay was going to link this picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is us. <laughs> Phil's the one with the hat. <laughs> well, I've never seen this video. I've never seen a video either, but I just this know This is like meme. the three greatest scholars of history, bro. Oh. Look at them. <laughs> 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 Dude, dead ass. I'm pretty sure, like, like COVID kids, when they grow up, like this, this is basically them. <laughs> is Roblox overrated? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it was Minecraft the greatest game of its time. Like, <laughs> these. <laughs> it still is, bro. All right, chat. W or L tier list. And then also type one if you sat through the whole thing. Put a one. <laughs> LCS. Stop, 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 stop. Dude, Ship has almost mind controlled me into putting it lower, bro. Like, leave me alone, bro. I fought I fought against the evil fucking Nightwalker, bro. L got jet in the tier list. What the fuck is that class? I'm sorry. I hope. I hope Lynn is good. <laughs> Yo, I hope the people I'm that are playing BT Lynn is good. get, get compensated. I, I honestly think. I, I honestly think if they're if if they're like hexa farming is delayed by literally like over half a year, that class better be good. 
They had, there's no way. Like, they, oh my god, please, bro, let Lin be good. Please, please. please. You know, like, how we have, like, Mitra's box for, like, like every Monday you get, like, an XP coupon or node stones or yeah. whatever, mm -hmm. right? I, I think there might be something like, like that for Lin. But, like, how much fragments do you think they would get? 5k. I mean, I think the realistic answer is they're not getting anything. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm with Florence. Is, Realistically, they're not like... going to get shit, but, like... I hope they do. I don't know. Five K is like more than like ninety percent of the players they can farm in like half a year. I'll be honest okay, with you. Okay, that that's fine. Like they literally couldn't do anything. The feeling of so, not being able to play the same. I mean, game I guess I guess the contrast though with the jet comp, they'll probably just get like, I don't know, maybe like a couple, like ooh, like I remember the jet comp gave like a joke amount of node stones. Obviously, yeah. it gave you like the the node conversion, but the actual compensation was like a joke amount of node stones. And you got some like growth potions, so it's probably gonna be similar if we're being real. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay, well at least totally. I hope the class is really good. That's it. Yeah. I mean the the we already got like the leak on the origin animation. That looks crazy cool. It does. So I think at least the art of the class will probably be good. Am I crazy or I don't think the origin was that crazy? I thought I mean, it looked it, cool. I, I I'm a sucker a for lot... seeing the character in the origin. Yeah, I think it's a lot better than like with the majority of the KMS origins. If I'm being perfectly honest, I mean, I mean, that that goes to the same with Moshan. Well, I, the Moshan one is I actually like pog. I don't, I don't disagree. The impact I think... frames, yo, the impact frames. It's like better than an anime, like straight up. It's like from a, it's I like mean, from the Dragon Ball Super movie. Yeah, like no, but, uh, just uh, literally all the non KMS origins are really nice. If I'm being yeah. honest, I mean, yeah. not all, yeah. all oh, of them true. are good. That's true. Yeah, I'll show Moshan's origin, bro. It's so cool. It's so cool, bro. It's out already, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I saw some. Oh my, god. oh my god, that's so loud. Yeah, I, I saw some cool. Moshan normal Kala solo video from TMS, and like. Oh yeah, yeah. And bro was just watching yeah, the whole time, man. I, I didn't know this class had like a zero bind. Yeah, it, it, the boss was just bound for like 50 seconds. There, I didn't know what they were doing, but it looked pretty cool. God damn. Do, Wait, do you need no. to bring this class to GMS just so I can have the link skill and the Legion board effect? It's a nuke, right? Yeah, yeah it's a nuke. Okay, okay. You know, all, all of us want that crit damage block, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, the, the, the link, link skill is crazy too. Block. I don't even know what the link skill does. It's it's arc it's a cadena no no it's arc link but it's boss percent. I see. Oh wow, that's really. But good. does it but, but does it have level three then? Because uh, Arclink is not very good. The only reason it's good is because no, no, no. I, I think I think it's level two is the same effect as Arclink's level three. If I okay, remember. so then it would only be good if it got a level three. Because our level two Arclink is not very good. No, no, no. Like no, he's I mean, saying like, it's as strong as level three Arclink oh, as level two. Yeah, because oh, okay, that's what I remember. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Then then it's probably pretty good. Unless I'm delusional, but that's what I remember. All I know is Rabbit has it at 120. So if he has it at 120, then it doesn't have a level three. Well, I mean, I think level, does TMS even have any level three links? That's a good question, actually. I don't even know if they do. I don't know which versions of the game have level three links or not. Oh, that's a really good question. <laughs> Why is there even a discrepancy anyways? Bro, because this game's there's weird, bro. Game's there's so a lot weird. of discrepancies across the non-KMS servers, actually. Bro, we have 13% pots, bro. Yeah, and then TMS doesn't have flame advantage items. That is so ass. Yeah, TMS is only it was crazy. Two, apparently. Weapon jump is still really good over there. <laughs> yeah. Well, lack of flame advantage items, like, even though it means your weapon attack is lower, it also means you have way less stat, which makes weapon jump, like, comparatively better as a result. Yo, like, Moshe's ink colored scheme looks so cool. I agree. Yeah, I like it. It's very unique and looks cool. Paint brush, like paint strokes. Whoever is, mm -hmm. whoever is designing the non KMS Origins did a very good job. For real. <laughs> Bro, the non KMS classes, like Hayato, Kana, uh, soon to be Lin, and Moshan, like, they all look really good aesthetically. Mm hmm. So they got good artists, but then the developers are not as good, evidently. Yeah. 
But I mean, that's like that's legit like the reason why I play Hado, bro. They got good artists. It's fun. You it's think pretty? Lin is still going to use a, a scepter, or is it going to be a new weapon type? I think it's going to use that thing they're holding, like that lamp thing. Uh, didn't we already learn about this? I feel like it got leaked, but I can't remember. Oh, I I have no idea. I don't. Lin I don't recall. May. So, I mean, regardless, I like whatever you're staff. holding, they, I'm I'm pretty sure like whatever you're holding is going to be properly transformed to. I mean, transforming to like new weapon, even if you get a new weapon, right? They got something called a memory staff. Yo, I gotta I gotta go to the Hennessy store to buy a a scepter before it gets legacy, dude. True. Scepter. Wait, you guys are all playing that? I'm playing uh, it, hundred percent. I I I I plan to make it my hyper burning dreamer. Oh, oh. Yeah, they... is it gonna be hyper burnable in dreamer? Uh, that's a great question. If it isn't, then I can stop and pick something else. <laughs> well, I'm definitely gonna get it to like at least two twenty. I need to understand my... this for sure. For some reason, my BT has a potable badge. Oh wait, do we I learn about it? It's so funny. Which one, the GSE? Yeah, go okay. ship. So I will, I don't know. And I already got it like episodes and stuff. So I will probably play it a decent amount, but. <laughs> Do I already know the link skill? Lin with uh, badge. I, th I think we, we, I think we learned that the link skill is same. They oh, confirmed. Lee? Really? Really? Yes. Oh my oh God. God. We, there we, is a but we don't, but we don't know if the uh, Legion block is the same though. Whoa. Wait, that's so good. Thank God. Wait, the, the Legion block is so ID important. Anyways. Well, I mean, ID yeah. is a pretty good Legion block. Let's be ID's, real. It's better than just it's, that. It's not. Uh, I could part ways with it. Okay, DB. <laughs> I lose ID and stance, bro. Anyways, the link skill is so good. Oh my, I'm so happy. That crit rate matters so much. All right, wrap it up. All right. Fine. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't know why that made me giggle so much. I think it is bedtime. It's 2 a.m. Again, thank you all three of you for coming together and helping me with this. It does really mean a lot to me. So thank you so much. And I think we all did a great job with this. Mm -hmm. And if you want to see everything and all details, you want to yell at me, watch the YouTube video. It'll go up sometime this week. Um, and yeah. And then obviously... Um, Make sure to watch Tummy on Twitch. I'm going to shout him out again because he streams a lot. I'm not the only person who streams. Watch him. He has good streams too. Lawrence has a YouTube channel as well. I'm going to link his channel if you want to watch him. Um, he has some fun videos there. I watch his videos. He's one of the few people that I'm still like sub to. Um, there's that. And then Phil has no contact information. Don't bother DMing him on Discord. Don't fucking message him on Twitch. Leave him alone. Yay. <laughs> Alright. Thanks for having me. I'm a uh, hop off. Alright. Of course, bro. Have a good night, you guys. Peace. See you guys later. Good Peace. Night. Thank you to my wonderful members Blazefire, Shooms, Ujju, Shagad, Ravi, Grim4K, Koga, Pablo, and Pico Nier. I appreciate you guys so much.